my superstar. Jolly thank for T1. You beautiful soul here.
Tara, you need to help me convince Coco slash Evelyn that Die Hard is a Christmas movie. There's no other answer to this debate. Die Hard is a Crimbus movie, okay? We're watching it this Sunday in Discord. If you don't believe it's a Crimbus movie, you're gonna come watch it and you're gonna learn. It is the Crimbus movie, okay? All right? There will be no discussion. It is Crimbus movie. Excuse me, the production value and the loading opening. Hello. Thank you. I worked very hard on it. Thank you. Thank you. I fussed over it for quite a few days. <laughs> I'm neutral in this. If Tara says it is, then it is. Thank you. Thank you. Are we watching it though? No, listen, I'm sorry I canceled last minute the last time. I'm, I apologize. I apologize. I'm not canceling this Sunday. We're watching it. 3 p.m. Central. Maybe I'm a little bit biased. All right, I'm willing to admit that I might be a little bit biased in that my oldest brother watched it every single Christmas. And so it may have inherently ended up as a Christmas movie for me. But you cannot deny the Christmas themes in it, okay? It's also been so long since I've seen it, so I'm very, very excited to watch it again. <laughs> I now want to deny that it's a Christmas movie just to be antagonistic. Even if it really is one. At least deep down you understand, Izagi. If you want to play Devil's Avocado, that's your prerogative, I suppose. But um, it is a Christmas movie at the end of the day. <laughs> Renardi! You had a professor train an AI to determine if it's a Christmas movie, and it totally is. What a valuable use of that AI's existence, honestly. Devil's Avocado, Devil's Advocate. How do I always type in my password wrong? My password is not this complex, bestie. Like, hello? At least once per login, I type it wrong. Did I do it right? Okay, I did it right. Holy shit, dude. What's wrong with me? I promise I'll not make you cry by giving you bits or subs. Better wait till next payday, non. If you're gonna drop anything, it better be next payday. I'm not taking your whole ass paycheck. You generous, generous being you. Whoop. I hate overlapping audio. It drives my brain insane. There we go. Ah, hi guys. Happy Thursday. Hope you guys are feeling good. <laughs> you know what I meant? It just threw you through a loop. <laughs> It's a dog, no, whoa, what's the other? It's a doggy dog world, let me tell ya. So glad to be in this happy place. Let's go, Serena. Even though we're gonna be crying, we'll be together. Also, guys, look at my gunbreaker. Is this not the most important thing that you've ever seen? It cost me way too much money. I just I just got it all off the market board. Um, but it's the most important thing I've seen all week. And it's my it's my dwarf gun <laughs> gunbreaker. <laughs> Feeling great almost at weekend, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. I thought about dyeing it, but the blue and the yellow look so good together, like baseline. So I didn't dye it any colors, because it just looks, it looks great. It looks great like this. A dwarf from the first? It is indeed. What server am I on? Should I stay on Animantoys? I guess there's no reason to. Let's go home. I want to go home. Back to Marwen. It does say to insert coin for player two. Renardi, you can be my player two any day, okay? Love you. Love you. Hope life's been treating you so well. Your poor bank account is currently at 40, negative 45. I don't know if they're gonna add on overdraft fees. I think depending on the bank account you have, I think you can be protected from overdraft, but I mean, you'd have to check with your bank with what kind of like thing you have set up, right? Next paycheck is Friday. Okay, I refuse to accept anything from you until Friday then, okay? Because you spent a lot on my channel. It means the world, but sheesh. Hi, IK. Hi, IK. Enjoy your mating. All right, now we're good. Whoop. Uh, correction. It costs other people too much money. Because uh, by Tara's stories, he just gets money for existing in Final Fantasy fourteen. No, I bought these ones. I bought these ones myself, okay? I realized I have to take a very proactive approach to some of the things that I want. Otherwise, they're just going to end up in my inventory. And I'm never going to know how. The worst state. I just want cool art on my body forever. Catnip's tattoos are very cool. Can confirm. Can confirm. They're very sick and nice and cool. <sighs> okay, what's up? What's first on the on the on the on the list? 
Somebody mentioned something about a twinning. Where do I go to unlock a twinning? I just want to get that unlocked so I can do it whenever I'm ready for a break from uh, the healer role quests. Whenever I need an emotional pause, we'll stop and we will do that. How do I type in the free company? Slash FC? There we go. I did it. I did it. I would never change my chat color. Monstrous. Hang on a second. Zimmy! What you doing? Uh-huh. Why are you doing that? Why? <laughs> oh my god, this cat's gonna find a way to turn off my computer. Hi, Sith! Give me one second. Zimmy. Zimmy, my little kitten. What are you doing, bud? What are you doing back there? Uh, if he keeps at it, I'm gonna have to kick him out. Tara, where's your frog wizard? Listen. Listen, catnip. Have you not heard of our lord and savior, the fat cat? Have you not heard of our lord and savior? Whoops, that's the wrong button. Have you not heard of our lord and savior, fat cat? Because it's literally perfect. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. It's literally perfect. Hi, Liddy. Welcome in. <laughs> Shows him here. We riot. Well, where he is currently, he's like... He's sticking his paws in all my cords. And so I'm very anxious about grabbing him right now. Cord management, we don't know her. I have none of that. Um, so if I grab him, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> I'm gonna grab him. Zimmy. What? You know you're in trouble. Listen, listen, you know you're in trouble because you're ducked down. Come here, come here. Come here, come here, you little booger. He, like, he knows he's in trouble. He started ducking down when I stood up. Look at his little bean. Look at his little troublemaker. Are you gonna shut off my computer? Are you gonna are you gonna shut off my computer, huh? Is that is that your plan today? Hey? Why won't you look at me, Zimmy? Why do you hate me? <laughs> Zimmy, for those that don't know, is the basis of 90% of my emotes, because he's got his little mustache. He's got his little milk mustache and he's a precious baby. Maybe he wants to be part of the stream. Okay, no, actually, oh, there he goes. Um, whenever I start talking, he was actually like sleeping on my lap. The minute I start talking for stream, he's gone. Internet guy is working, what did I miss? Uh, Zimmy trying to turn off my computer. He didn't miss too much. Just Zimmy trying to end the stream. Um, but no, he'll be sleeping on my lap. The minute I start talking, he's gone. He's absolutely gone. He's not about it. He does not like me streaming. Ezrin, my other cat, will come and visit, like, once a blue moon when he deigns it to be. Otherwise, no. Also, channel points are a play on Zim and Timbit, since Tara's Canadian. Yep. Timbits, Zimbits. He's a cute. Uh, okay, did anyone say where I go for the twinning? Next to Dosselgate Crystal. Okay. Twinning! Brupo. No rant. Thank you for the hydrate and the stretch. Sloppy. Um, the docile gate. Where's the docile gate? Is it inside the Crystarium? We'll just go to the Crystarium. Twinning dance party. Jolly, thank you for all the redeems at once. Boop, boop, boop. Zimmy, you need 1.5 million zibits for that. And yet he's done it for free, I think twice. Little rat. Um, Minstrel from Another Mother. The Aspiring Skywatcher. By the time you hear this... This one I know is the raid, in the middle of nowhere. That one's definitely, definitely the raid. Scientific method. Dosselgate is in the Crystarium. Is it? Is it you? I don't know what this is. Grim look of determination in her eyes. The Wi-Fi there sucks. I mean, you should be focusing on the class, no. Not that I'm gonna scold you, but <laughs> you should. Uh, Minstrel for another mother gives you sh Oh! Extreme, like, of like the 5.0 fight, extreme? <laughs> I took vacation off work for school work, not mod work. Enjoy your time working, Kevin. Side dungeon, a very fun one. Hello. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you... Yes, I thought so. Sir Terabellum, correct? You've been keeping very busy if all the rumors are to be believed. Hmm? 
Why are you staring at me with such intensity? Pray tell. Have I said something to offend you? Is this? <laughs> Dude, you can cross the rift. You of all people. Judging by your cryptic comments, I gather I bear a resemblance to someone you know, but I can assure you that we have never met before, you and I. Don't believe me? Then let us be friends. The more you learn about me, the more you'll come to realize how different I am from this other me. I'm a wanderer by trade, but a minstrel at heart. A keeper of tales, a singer of songs, a preserver of forgotten truths. Yet in defiance of my itinerant nature, I have elected to remain here for a time to compose new works. You being a traveling sinner, I'm sure you've seen your share of adventures. Such stories often serve as the base sort of inspiration. Perhaps I could persuade you to regale me with one a, uh, a tale or two. Should I pay attention in class? That's the tough one. No, you should. You should. It's just homeroom. You should still pay attention. Come on. Also, someone, hi. Welcome in. Uh, Titania Innocence and H. Also, redacted times three or something. Got you. It's the minstreling wanderer instead of the wandering minstrel. I love it. <laughs> I love it, dude. As a sinner of the world, you must surely have all manner of exciting experiences to share. I pray, I pray you regale me with your finest, that it may inspire me to write a song that shall echo into eternity. <gasps> Titania. Titania. I'm all ears, sir. I gotta go be an adult and study for a work test so I can hopefully have money again. Pepe hands. Renardi, enjoy your lurk. The most esteemed of all fey folk, the venerated ruler of the pixies in the kingdom of rainbows. What tragedy for Titania to go forth in defense of their subjects, only to be corrupted and transformed into that which they fought to defeat. A mad monarch once beloved, then feared, finally set free. There, tis done, and you should be the first to hear it performed. For love of the fey folk, the king fought light and fell. Pure spirit corrupted, enthralled to light's spell. Four treasures did lead him unto the castle door. Four treasures did free the king from torment evermore. I can only imagine the horror that must have gripped Titania in the moments before the transformation was complete, knowing that the very people you had sworn to protect would soon suffer and die by your hand. It's an all too familiar tale of to those of us who have struggled to survive in the wake of the flood. We can hope that the knight's return is of comfort to their soul, should some aspect of it endure. I sure hope so, dude. With the passing of the light, the Fae now dance beneath starlit skies, where they where they uh, where before they mourned, they now rejoice. You made this possible, my friend. I look forward to hearing more of your adventures. There's one thing that I need to go check personally. The dancing plague. Cool. Uh, there's one thing that I need to go check personally. Um, and it's because I thought about it when we finished 5.0. I don't know if the Sin Eaters are like completely dealt with now, but there's just something that I need to confirm. Uh, I think it was an Amarang. I did unlock Dancer. Yes, I did. I want to know more about old Titania's story. We only got like a, like a taste of it. Like a, a like a little morsel of it. Ali. Ali, what are you doing here? Sir? No one told me you were back. Well, never mind that. You should try speaking with Halric. That's exactly why I'm here. I've come to believe that some miracles simply require an inordinate amount of stubbornness. That goes for your case, for Halric's, and I'm hoping for Gabu's as well. Halric! Where? Where's the little bean? Where's the little bean? Dancer is a great class, actually. Um, so I wanted to talk about Dancer. Um, it was really fun. It was really fun. It was really fun. It was bordering on more fun than Red Mage. And maybe it's just because I've played a lot of Red Mage and it's shiny new class, but um, it's very fun. Oops, I did my steps wrong. It's very, very fun. Um, it's very, very fun. Terry, you can unlock the pixie jobs to help levels jobs 70 to 80. It has good story too. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, Rando. 
I have the road to 80. I have level 80 monk. I have level 80 gunbreaker. I have level 82 sage and I have level 82 red mage. I'm not really having a problem, but I do want to do the pixie stories. So I need to get uh, Dancer to at least 70 then, if, that, if that's the case. <laughs> Dancer has simple but really satisfying rotation. It's mostly like you're just pressing two buttons and then occasionally you're pressing a lot of buttons and it's kind of very, yeah, satisfying is the best word for it. Machinist was your main until you unlock Dancer. Dancer's just, it's so good. And it's got utility too. Like you have like emergency heals for you and your dance partner. It's just, I don't know, I really liked it. I really liked it. How about pig mount then? Is pig mount from the pixies? Cause uh, I need that. I need that for sure. <gasps> what do you mean gasp? Talk to me. <gasps> Talk to me Ulrich. Uh, I'm gonna hug him. I'm gonna hug him. Well, what does Totten and Pawnil have to say? Ah. The light is gone, I feel peaceful. But all Hallwork has to say is gasp? Bro, I wanted more. <laughs> Bun Boy Dancer incoming? Is this is this how it happens? You start leveling Dancer and then you want the the um the cultured glams, we'll say. Um, and then you switch to Bun Boy. Hashtag proc classes for the win. Black Mage is all procs as well, right? Back back mage. Black Mage also has a pretty simple rotation just with procs. As far as what I've seen from Valora leveling Black Mage. I think it's a testament to how the game is designed that every class is fun and viable and each one does uh, things different, but similarly enough to feel unique. So true. Porksy Mount is from Pixies. Tank from Dwarves. Great Serpent Mount from... Well, I want to do all three. Okay, well, I want to do all three because those are all great. I love the fact that Ali's just here. I'm mad though that Halric didn't feel like talking to me. Halric, I literally came here to check on you. And all you have to say to me is gasp. Rude as hell. Rude as hell, honestly. Okay. Um, I should probably try and stay somewhat focused. No, that's not what I want to do. I should probably try and stay somewhat focused and unlock the twinning and then do some uh, roll quest. Black Mage's procs only at level 50 or so. After that, it's about rotating fire nice dances. Got you. Focus? Hi, what that? It, oh, we don't know her. We don't know Focus. I think twinning unlock is 8.510k. 8.5. Oh, it is this one. Okay. By the time you hear this. Excuse me, a word, if you'd be so kind. We of the Crystarium Guard have a request to make of you. Our researchers are planning to enter the Crystal Tower to learn more of its history. However, there's a problem. Now, what I'm about to reveal is strictly confidential. Were word to get out, panic would spread throughout the citizenry. Our scouts have reported that ferocious beasts and bizarre machines roam the hallways. Until we can eliminate these threats, none may enter. Strange ethereal readings have also been detected. We suspect that the phenomenon are linked. The Exarch has ordered us to seek your aid in making the tower safe for our researchers to go about their work. He mentioned that you are better equipped than most to face the dangers that lurk in the tower, though he elected not to go into detail. Is this true? Then your prior experience may prove beneficial. Come, let us proceed to the entrance. I also want to go into the Crystal Tower um, to see my boy. I don't think I've seen my boy like post 5.0 and I need it. I need it right now. Do, 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 do. So I want to enter here really quickly. For Black Mage, you lose brain cells every time you drop your stances and every time you have to move. Black Mage is everyone adjust mechanics. <laughs> Valora's already getting into that mindset as well in playing it. She put down her ley lines and she was like, adjust, adjust, I'm not moving. <laughs> The internet died for a bit. Welcome back to the land of the living, Nan. I'm praying for your internet. The little engine that could. Your internet guy just got finished. You're all set up again. Hell yeah. <gasps> oh, sir, what brings you back to the first? Another adventure, mayhap. What's going on, buddy? As to be expected, the recent changes in Norvant were invariably, uh, invariably accompanied by some disarray, but the people have embraced night with joy in their hearts, and they go about rebuilding their lives with optimism. 
Your fellow Scions have returned whence it all began for them to lend a helping hand during this period of transition. Alphino is in Yulmore, Elise at the inn at Journey's Head, as we discovered, and Ishtola with the Knights Blessed. Thancred and Reen continue to be guests of the Crystarium, though of late they are often afield on some matter or other. Ah! The raids. The raids is what they're doing. I had instructions to summon everyone hither should you return, but busy as they all appear to be, perhaps the reunion can wait a little while longer. Rest assured, I continue searching for a way to deliver your comrades home, so please, take your ease and enjoy some time to yourself. SHOW HIM YOUR WIND UP GRAHA?! What in the world is it? This is the cutest thing! This is the cutest thing in the world! Uh, <laughs> Hi, Kia, welcome in! A gift from Sataru, you say? A mammoth inspired by a certain Archon, created to fund the expedition to the Circus Trench. Passing strange, I never had the pleasures of meeting Tataru. That being the case, I can only assume the idea for the subject matter came from another. Could it have been Master Galuf? Or Kryle, perhaps? No, wait! Rambros! It must have been Rambros. Behind this, his somber countenance, there hides a playful streak. I can fair see him grinning as he imagines how I would react should I stumble into this mammoth sometime in the future. If truth be told, I know not how to feel when I behold it. But if nothing else, it tells me that they are, well, Rambros and everyone. For that I am glad. That is so cute! Graha, I love you. I love you. I'm so glad you're not fucking dead. <laughs> Minion interactions are always the best. Was there another option? <laughs> what the fuck? One of the options is just call him Grahatia. How strangely that name rings to the ears. Long as I have been the Crystal Exarch, it has ceased to be an act. This is very much who I am now. Yet when you speak to me, as the young man I once was, he cannot help but stir within. And then the old days come flooding back, the days when we sought the truth of this tower together. You were an inspiration to me then, though I did not think it possible. You've become even more of an inspiration to me now. God, I love him so fucking much. Why is your name not Grahatia? We know who you are! I love him. I love him so much. He's so precious. You speak his name and his young man rises- Oh, ew! Ew, Jolly! Don't- do not loot Graha. Graha is perfect, okay? Exarchatia. <laughs> oh, hello! Hello, gamers! Do, 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 do. I take it your preparations are complete. Listen carefully. You are to lead a party of elite troops into the tower and respond to any hostility. Or, uh, with lethal, with lethal. <laughs> I can't talk. Hi, Strobe Machine. Welcome in. Once the way is clear, the researchers can begin their expedition. Our main objective is to identify the source of the ethereal disturbance. The tower cannot be considered safe until we do. Should you encounter any opposition beyond your capabilities, you are to withdraw immediately. I wish you the best of luck. The twinning. Ugh, now accessible. He has held the title. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. He's gone under the guise of Crystal Exarch for so long um, that it's just part of who he is. It's just his identity now. All right, I have a question. Do the reacts help to boost you, or is that just feedback for you to post for you post stream? Uh, you mean on YouTube, Kenneth? You mean the YouTube series? How's MSQ going? Oh my God, Strobe! I don't know if you were here for it. But we did 5.0 on, uh, when was it? It was a blur, Friday. It was a 10 hour stream and we went until we finished 5.0. Holy shit. Oh my God. I don't have words. 5.0 was incredible. Now we wanna do all the roll quests. I have every roll at 80, so we're ready. Um, we're ready for all the roll quests. And we did the level 74 healer one and they showed Ardbert for like a split second and I got choked up. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna survive the roll quests, honestly. No, no, like beside the follow button on my end of Twitch, there's a rea there's a react thing. I can do it every five minutes. What is that all about? A react button? Like you can react to the stream, question mark? 
I, I, I need to look into this because this is new to me. Let the streamer know how you feel about specific moments throughout the stream. We'll share your reactions with them anonymously. You can react every five minutes, learn more. <gasps> Wait, that's so cute. The fact that it's anonymous too? For all my social anxiety gang out there that just want to like say some kind words or whatever, however, how, however it works, can do that without like the anxiety of like being, being public. It's new, it's below your stream, it's only for stream summary later. That's so cool. That is so cool. It has a hype funny love, what? And oh no, what? That's so cute. Each option is attached to an emote. So I imagine when I'm looking at the analytics later, it'll be like, Broom. here's like what people reacted to. I'm gonna gaslight Terra in the reacts, oh my God. I hate that I've fallen for almost every single one of you guys' gaslight in this game. I thought you were on Adamantoys, so I stayed there. I hopped to Adamantoys to queue up with my friends, because most of my friends are on Adamantoys. So it's just easier to jump to them. Um, should we do the twinning now? Or should we do a little bit of... Maybe we do the healer roll quests, and then we'll do the twinning. Because I'll probably need a little bit of an emotional pause. With... Just by judging how the caster one ended, we'll do it that way. I want to do all the roll quests. We'll probably, they don't take too long. We'll probably finish them all today. Um, so I'm gonna need to take pauses in between. The twinning sounds like it'd be a good break after the healer ones. Do the twinning, you want me to do it right now or should we save it? Do, do, do. So like when you're watching a stream summary recap thing, it'll show when your viewers reacted and what they reacted with. Wait, that's so cute, Strobe. That's so cute. We need to coax your friends to move to Mato and Terra. The server needs more population. It'll happen. It'll happen slowly. Even when I first moved over here, Limza was like empty. It was creepy. Limza was completely empty. And now when I go to Limza on Maduin, there's like, I see more and more people every time I visit Limza and it's cute. I was hoping to do twin twinning with you. I'm not off work until five-ish central. Yeah, we can kill time then. We can kill time. I think it was Rando's idea to even run twinning in the first place. Dion, I was just informed of that. So when we finish all the roll quests for Shadowbringers, another quest unlocks. Somebody literally told me that in DMs today. Because they were like, oh, what's the plan for stream? And I was like, I'm going to do all the roll quests. And they were like, oh, did anyone tell you you get another quest line after that? And I was like, no, what? He needs to do all the Heavensward raids too? I thought we did all the Heavensward raids. We need to do Stormblood raids. Because we, um, we did the Red Bills, right? Should I buy the DLC for five? How are you liking it, Azula? Because you're still on the trial, right? You're still on the trial? How how are you feeling about it? I will just say, if you're enjoying A Realm Reborn, holy shit, you're going to love everything else. Hi, Jolly. I really like this outfit on you. He's a cute one. You should see the one um, for after all the Crafter Gatherer role quests. There's crafter gatherer roll quests? Oh shit, I've been slacking. Zervan trial. Oh right! The trial, the trial, the trial, the heavens were trials. Right, right, right. We we missed one. I think we could easily slot that in. We could even do it unsynced if we wanted, right? We could kill a little time by doing the heavens were trial, getting you the extreme mount. Could. Could, could. I, to be perfectly honest, I wanna jump into healer roll quests. This is now unlocked, we can do it when we're ready, but I really want to jump right into it. Because I've been thinking about it like all day. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta hug all these cuties before I go. Hi, Lynn. There's a hug for you. Hello, hello. Jet, here's a hug for you. And Bermund, have we seen you? Have we seen you before? <gasps> Wait, were you in a red mage before? And now you're on warrior? <laughs> Thank you for headpads. Thank you for headpads, gamers. Yeah. Yes, you were on Red Mage. You, the, ro the plate itself looked familiar. The plate itself, I was like, wait, I've seen this row. Do we want to do Terra? Yeah, I want to do roll quests. I want to do at least the healer roll quests, because we have a lot of roll quests to go through today, and I know I'm going to be crying. So I'm going to need things to like pull me out of that mood. And the twinning will be good for it. Um, the... What's his name again? Zervan? The Zervan trial would be good for it. 
And there's probably another optional dungeon that I've missed, or like a hard mode or something. Paid for 30 days so you could join a free company! You're enjoying it more now that you can ride your burb around. Like the sylphs, they were cute? Okay, yeah. So if you're enjoying any part of Heaven- or of Heaven's Word, if you're enjoying any part of Aroma Born, everything else you're gonna love. This game has seriously one of the best stories I've ever experienced. Um, I went the wrong way, didn't I? No, I didn't. We're good. Give yourself little breaks throughout the day. I'm gonna need it. If- dude, just the sight of Ardbird choked me up. I'm gonna need pauses from these, for sure. You know, I want an emote that is just crawling into the fetal position, <laughs> just sitting there. Well, Playdead is close. Playdead is close. You're so distracting, Tara. Catnip. Catnip, do your, do your heck of work, you cutie. I rewatched a couple Endwalker cutscenes the other day and cried like a baby. I'm so scared, Dion. I'm so scared. If 5.0 was any indication, I was in a dungeon. I was doing roulettes because I was getting my monk and my gunbreaker to, uh, to 80, right? And somebody brought up like story stuff. It wasn't spoilers, but um, we were just talking about the story and I was like, I just finished 5.0 Shadowbringers. And they were like, my condolences. <laughs> and then they were like, but be warned 5.3 is worse. And I was like, how, how can it be worse? <laughs> how could it possibly be worse? I'm terrified. In all my time playing, I've avoided the Aroma Born and Heavensward tribal quests, except the Moogles, because the dance, yes, yes. I've been trying to catch up on them lately. How are they? I'm I'm assuming they can't nearly be as good as, like, the, the later ones. Wait until 5.3 and 6.0? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, dude. Goop, goop, goop. Ah. Lolly ho! Looks like you've been training hard. If only I was in my Gunbreaker. We're literally twins. Oh, but his gloves are better than mine. And same with his boots. Oh well. In fact, your muscles are so much bigger, it's almost like there's three of you. I love our drunk little dwarf buddy. Heavens with tribes are a trauma, not the emotional kind. Oh god. The Sahagan quests are very good though. Others not so much, gotcha. Okay, question Tara. Answer Jolly, what's up? Stormblood one is actually a pretty great one for the same reason as Hildebrand. Oh, speaking of Stormblood, uh, the upload's probably going to go up tomorrow. Wait, today's Thursday. Yeah, probably tomorrow. The upload will go up tomorrow morning. I, a few people in the comments to my Sukuyomi reaction, because I said at the start of the video, I'm probably not going to up upload anything else from Stormblood. And people were like, what? What? Why? And I, <laughs> it was partially laziness. I'm going to be honest. It was partially laziness and partially I just really want to get into Shadowbringers uploads. I really want to start editing those videos because it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. You guys were there. Um, but in going through, I basically did um, a highlight video of all of 4.4 to the end of Stormblood. So much happens. So many different things happen. I really want to say Stormblood was great, but post Stormblood was genuinely incredible. And I forgot. I thought that a lot of the things that happened in Storm uh, post Stormblood happened in Shadowbreakers because of how closely tied they are to each other. It's crazy. It's crazy. Stormblood gets a bad rap. Uh, yes, I'm joking, as you know, but you do seem stronger. I don't suppose you came up with a clever plan for stopping Sophrosine while you're at it? No, I don't even know how to do that. Don't worry, I have another test in mind that'll get us some information. Then we'll be better set to think of something. I also think joining a free company will help me stay motivated when ARR drags. And it does drag. Who it does drag is the way. Uh, there are tribal quests, a lot of repetition, but I kind of want the Death Mask from Rumbleborn Tribals. Uh, and the Allied Dance from the Heavensward Tribals. Allied Dance. Uh, I have a spare Fantasia on my main cat boy. Should I use it to become bun boy for the funny hahas? Okay. Cat boys have... My opinion of cat boys has changed. I'm a simple man. I'm very easily influenced by things that I love. And a certain red-headed cat boy has definitely changed my opinions of cat boys as a whole. <laughs> Want the ally dance so bad, but your patience for tribe quest is low? It's brain rot. It's brain rot. It's like doing WoW dailies. If you do every single tribe in an expansion, there's an allied quest line after. That's so cool. ARR drags because it basically set up everything that follows. It's arguably boring, but necessary for greatness that follows. So true, Diod. And that's what I tell everyone. Like, it's dry. 
it's dry as hell. You're gonna need a massive glass of water to go with Aroma Born, but if you pay attention and you at least log some of the things that happened in your mind, the payoff for it later on in the game is oh, so good. So good. They dropped it on Shadowbringers though, the allied quest that is, really? <laughs> Sweetling, no, Sweetling, no, you would, no. It was out of pure love. It was actually not a, a horny reason. It was a wholesome reason that I like Catboys now. Uh, we'll be killing Seed Eaters again, but this time you're healing them. Well, trying to anyhow. I don't expect it to work. Sin Eaters ain't like us, or like any sort of normal creature. But by seeing your healing magic fail to heal them, we should learn why it won't work. Then maybe we can figure out what's so different about Sofrasin. I've heard from folks passing through that stray Sin Eaters find their way to Amarang pretty often. Meet me at Mordsuk. Be ready for carnage. I died today. I got on a work call with someone I don't know. He shared his screen to demo something, and his wallpaper had crawl! No way! Dude, finding 14 players out in the wild is like seeing a dog walk on hind legs. It's so cool. I mentioned it once before, but uh, I went to a restaurant for breakfast and we were talking about 14 at the table. And one of the servers walked by and was like, are you guys talking 14? Like Final Fantasy 14? And then we just like, <laughs> we just like shot the shit for like 30 minutes about 14 and it was so cool. They were super, super chill. I don't want to go work today. I want to watch you. There's always the VODs, done. I know it's not the same as live, but there's always the VODs. Be ready for devastation. I always am. Kaishir was also a good Catboy. Genuinely true, Evelyn. Genuinely true. Kaishir underrated Catboy. I don't think he was that underrated. I think most people enjoyed him. You've liked Catboys because Joe Cat plays one? <gasps> I forgot about Joe Cat. I love Joe Cat in his Monster Hunter days. Go, 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 go. You know, I heard the liquor here ain't fit to drink, but it's not half bad. Gets the job done with a real kick. Oh, I know what you're thinking. That Giat, always oh, drowning one ale or another, you think to yourself, and so good at it too. I'm uncontrollably jealous. I just can't take it anymore. And you quietly weep on the inside. I'm sympathetic, I am, but my drinking is important. No, indispensable. Dwarves get fiercer the more they drink. Really fuels the fire within. I can see you don't believe me. Fine. You leave me no choice. I'll show you. I'll go on ahead and dice some Sin Eaters in the- He's gonna get his ass kicked. And <laughs> the times it takes you to finish this, Mord Swill here. Just gulp that down and come find me southeast of here, you'll see. He's gonna be fucking dead. He will be fucking dead, man. Monago. Monago is a good bean. <gasps> Joe Crap! Argon. That's like, them's fighting words right there. <laughs> Are you guys talking about the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV? Yes. <laughs> Terrible to open the floodgates to people asking him to react to Joe Cat 14 stuff. You know what's funny? Um, who is it? I think it's Ponto has a react button, like a react redeem. I want to add that to my stream, but I keep forgetting. Between all my editing and stuff, I keep forgetting to add extra things to the stream. Um, and one of them is that react thing where it's like, I know that there's a lot of great 14 media out there on YouTube. I just don't know where to find it without hitting spoilers. So I want to add that button so you guys can find funny things, funny haha -ha things that aren't spoilers that I can react to and enjoy with you guys without killing myself in spoiler land. I'll have you know, Tara, that's a persona of his. Jo oh, Joe Crap is a persona of his? Wait, that's fire. Half finished bottle of alcohol, apparently purchased by Giat, sits on the mat. The lo local concoction within is deep brown, and from it wafts a stench that can only be, be described as atrocious. Drink the board spell? Oh, hell yeah. Just finish the MSQ then? Imagine. Imagine Terra doing MSQ. You hold your nose and gulp down the remaining liquid. At first, you taste only the scent of a spring breeze with a whiff of sheep's dung. <laughs> You then note the aftertaste. It's the flavor of your favorite fruit, with a hint of feet. Ugh. Amazing! You finish! Of all non-mord customers, only you and Dwarf ever drink so much. I am also Dwarf, though. I just didn't have the money to, uh, to put on all the Dwarf healer gear. I would have done it. <gasps> Wait a minute. I need to open Universalis. I need to open Universalis. This is important. Universalis. I just realized something. Give me a minute. Uh, Dwarven... Is it Mithril? 
Dwarven Mithril Helmet. Do do do. Uh, maybe it's not Mithril. It might just be Dwarven something something. I need the helmet. Do 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 do. <gasps> Dwarven Cotton Petatasos of Healing. It is. Uh, Dynamis. 36,000 on, on Seraph. That is not bad. I will do that. This is important. For the rest of the dwarf quests, I should look the part. Hey? Okay. I need to go to Seraph. I need to go to Seraph and buy that. You're just not alco alcoholic dwarf? Yet. Yet. We're moving to Seraph. Hold on. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Might be cheaper on another DC. Let's just check the Americas. Mm, actually, no, the cheapest is Siren, and it's the same price as the one on Seraph. So yeah, not even not even that much cheaper. You can buy it from a vendor in the Crystarium. <gasps> to the Crystarium! Because I actually have two of the pieces. Terra's Dwarven. It's, I want to be a Dwarf Buddy. I want to be Dwarf Buddy with my Dwarf Guy. Um, from the merchants, right? Oh god, I don't know which one. We'll figure it out. Because I don't need the high quality. I just need one in general. Check the tooltip for the item, and if it's available from a vendor, it'll say shop price XYZ. Ah! Oh. Hi, Argon! This guy? Armor? Uh, purchase, Disciple of Magic Gear. I think it's level 78. It's cheaper! Boink. Okay, really quickly, really quickly, we gotta go to the inn. <laughs> Imagine staying focused literally ever. Because <laughs> the thing is, I've opened a couple of the coffers on my this, on my this, on my healer. So I have a couple of the Dwarven pieces already. I might not have like boots and stuff to go with it well enough, but we can we can throw something together. It'll be okay. Oh, <gasps> I have Peloton now. Uh, boop. Retire to in room. Yes, please. Shop price section of item tooltips has saved me from buying price gouge dies so often. Wait, there's some du- Uh-oh. Spade, that's such an important tip. I didn't know- Oh, no. I've probably wasted a lot of money on dies. I didn't realize you could- Oh, boy. Well. Oh, well. Dwarven hat of healing. Dwarven chest piece. Uh, we just need gloves to match this. We'll figure that out in a second. Dwarven leggings. Um, these little boots aren't bad. What about, nope. Actually, this this boot matches way better, the clown boots. And what can we use for gloves? Those would be perfect, but they're casting gloves. Too bad. Teco, nope. Mmm. Mmm. Eh. These aren't bad. Bow, bow, bow. Most of these are th red mage, like thaumaturge, caster. Hmm. I mean, these little like ring things aren't bad. I can also filter by. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I didn't know that. I uh, mm, oh oh boy, that's embarrassing. Uh, maybe these gloves are better actually. Fits the white aesthetic. Yeah, I like these better. Okay, boom, bam, bing. Go to our healer, glamour plate, and boom. There we go. Oh wait, the eyes are off. There we go. There we go. We're ready. We're ready, you guys. 
<laughs> Tara, I question you sometimes. Listen, listen. I can't read, okay? <laughs> Don't feel bad, Tara. I found that out after a year. Okay, good. <laughs> Thankfully, I have you guys here to save me from myself. All right, back to more two. Back to the mission at hand. If an item has a yellow text, when you go to put it in the glamour dresser, that means it can be put in the armoire instead. If something is in the armoire, can it be applied to a glamour plate, though? Because that's my problem. <gasps> yes, it can. Hmm. Okay, that's huge. I probably have some things in there that could go in the, uh, in the, uh, in the other one, the armoire. <laughs> Tara is the, I'm all, I'm here already, so I might as well type of person as he buys items at like times six the vendor price. Yup. Wait, he's not dead? Hey, I'm proud of you, bud. See, your average cinder is no match for me. Not with the power of tradition and alcohol on my side. But as a matter of fact, I put down another before I got round to this one. But, er, I did the job a bit too well. Really mangled the thing. It was pretty gross. Flattened in all the wrong places with bits poking out and the like, so I got it out of here. Anyway, you get the idea. I drink a lot, I kill stuff. You have to admit, it's an effective strategy. And now that we've got our Sin Eater patient, you can try out your healing on it. Go on. Oh, what? Oh, never mind. The only issue with the armoire is you have to toggle the UI back and forth. That's a minor thing. There's a button at the uh, bottom of the dialog box while editing plates. Got you. You guys are glam lifesavers. I can get so much room back. Yup. That's a, that's a small thing. Yeah, flipping between. As we thought, nothing. Did you figure out the why of it? I think it was never really alive to be. Well, I mean, they were though. They used to be people. We'll just say this one. You're right on that one. Seniors may look like people or beasts, but it's like they're just pretending. They're not truly alive. Only the light drives them, keeps them going like winding an automaton, and healing magic ain't for restoring life to something that didn't have none to begin with. But if Sofracine's power ain't like the healing magic we know, what is it? Sin Eaters aren't really alive, they were, but not now, yeah. I also wonder why it don't come and revive this one. Is it just too far away to take notice? Then again, I never heard tell of it appearing at Holminster Switch, neither. And so many Sin Eaters got killed there, you'd think it would take note eventually. So why only resurrect some Sin Eaters and not others? This is all too much thinking, not enough drinking. To the Crystallarium! <laughs> Buggy. <laughs> Dwarf interacting with Dwarf. I didn't know uh, this is what it took for my life to be complete. I also really like the healer hat for dwarves. I think it's really cute. Um, to the Crystarium. There's also an armoire icon in the top right of the tooltip that will be lit if it can go in the armoire. Oh, I see it! So it's the... It's the top right most one. Do I have anything I could go in there? Nar, I have nothing. <gasps> don't look at my... Don't look at my... Don't look at my armory. Don't look at my armory. I just realized I had my armory open. You guys are gonna yell at me. Don't look! Don't look at this. Do not perceive me. Most equipment can't, only special. I wonder if the um, um, the one we got from Stormblood, like the Stormblood Imperial armor can go in there and it's wasting spots in my glamour dresser. Lurk till hum from work though, see you in a bit, Golsip. Now your armor is fine, but it's pretty bad too. <laughs> I literally dread any time that I have to open my armory because I'm so scared. Whoop, hi Dolly. I'm literally so scared to open it. The more I watch you, the more I want to switch to Lala. Aren't they precious, Diod? And who else could look like a dwarf? Other than the dwarves. Go, go, 
Well, uh, the more it stuff's all right, but this here is fine ale. At least that's what my body tells me, and I always listen. That's how I keep my muscles primed and my spirits high. Speaking of, would it kill you to relax a little? Being so serious all the time can't be good for you, and the silent staring just makes you seem morose. And we won't kill so- I wonder? Dude, wait a second. I doubt it's coded this way, but do you think the dwarves would have a special interaction when you're wearing a dwarf helmet? Too bad I can't go back in time and talk to them again. Because you know how a lot of times they'll say to Lala's, where's your helmet? What if you're actually wearing a helmet? We won't kill Sofacine any faster for not drinking, that's for sure. Nothing comes easy to sober folks. It would be really cute, but I doubt it. And that's why <laughs> Argon, yes. <laughs> and that's why I need a few more in me before I can really get to work figuring out why Sulfur Scene does what it does. I keep feeling like I'm missing something obvious, but hmm. You game plus when you're done. True. You think they do, Spade? I'm shook. Lally ho! I'd ask if you're here for a drink, but I know you ain't. You've got that serious look about you as usual. I've got my usual here too! My fifth round of it, in fact. Ha! Why so few, you ask? Well, I stepped away for a while to do some research. Uh, but that Morin bloke kicked me right out of the cabinet of curiosity and banned me for life. Spill just a wee bit of meat on the books and he chases you out with the fury of a thousand floods. That man could use a drink if you ask me. Why were you bringing alcohol into the... You know what, it's fine. What's the glare for? Don't tell me you're siding with him over me. We're supposed to be partners. And after I worked so hard to find us new information on Sofracine, drank so much, sat with those dusty tomes until not one but both of my buttocks went numb. Yeah, that sounds like you. <laughs> I know, ain't I great? And I have the most magnificent beard. Anyhow, I did get some new information from a reliable source, a drinking buddy of mine. Sofrasine was seen recently at the Raktika Grave. <gasps> Lahi! If we do <laughs> some of our signature eater slang in the forest, there's a chance we'll draw it out. I figure that sitting around thinking is getting us nowhere, and research can only take us so far, so why not? Maybe fighting it together will teach us something that we could learn otherwise. Hi, Mac! Welcome in! Apparently, Giat does, but maybe you saw that already. We did see the Where's Your Helmet already from Giat. The Tall Dwarf reminds me. Have you seen the Tall Fuath? I don't think I've seen the Tall Fuath yet. I mean, in Stormblood, if you're a ninja during a certain moment and wearing non-artifact gear, Yugiri will mention how well you blend in. Wait, that's cool. She tells you off because she said ninja gear would be too conspicuous. <laughs> If you're wearing ninja artifact gear, she gets at you for wearing such obvious stuff in an enemy area. That's hilarious, dude. Uh, Max said, I stopped by the counseling team, offer them my Chromebooks to fix. How does the screen get broken? Asks one. I demonstrate. Place pencil inside Chromebook. Oh, shit. Slam shut. Fuck, Mac. Rest in peace. <laughs> There's a random quest in Numo Town to see the large Fuath. Hell yeah. We can't kill it, but the two of us should be able, should be more than capable of getting a few whacks in uh, and making an escape. I've fought it before and come away fine, mostly. So that's the plan. Meet me at Slitherbow. We'll go a pummelin. A pummelin we will go. A pummelin we will go. Hi ho, the lolly ho. A pummelin we will. Hey, you got the hammer on too. Let's go, Argon. Yay! True dwarf. <laughs> True dwarf right there. Do you know what's funny about the tall races? The tall races look so strange with the tiny dwarf helmet. Like, it's very clearly designed for Lala's because of how big our heads are. But it's like tiny, <laughs> tiny little dwarf helmet on the tall races. <laughs> uh, two. Where am I going? Raktika Slivo. Oh my god, your witch outfit! Tara, no, it's my dwarf outfit. Becky, it's my dwarf outfit. Thank you for the hydro, by the way. 
Mac, I love you. Enjoy your mostly lurk. Do you know Lahi? Lahi? There you are. I didn't mention it earlier, but I've been here looking for sulfur scene before. I know most everyone in Slitherbow, actually. Sure, they seem an odd lot at first, what with worshipping the darkness and all, but once you get to know them, share a few You're drinks. My super not bad for the fucking gooey 13 months war. Lilith! Lilith, I love you. Thank you for the 13 months, you beautiful soul. Hope life is treating you well. I think it's the rest of the outfit. There's really broad shoulders on the fending one. Really? Like, this one here? <gasps> You're right. As compared to this one, this one, like, healer one has, like, a loose drapes around the front, whereas the, the tank one has big poof, so it makes the head look tiny. Love me, ah, I love all you guys. Make a fine wine, too. Shame you can't get it anywhere else. Anyhow, they've been helping me out while I enjoy my... The local spirits. Seems that Sophocene's shown itself in the blind forest of Yixmaya, east of here. Let's get out there and slay a few Sin Eaters each, like we did before. See if that brings it to us. Holy terrifying with those red eyes. But by comparison, it's just more fitting on a, on a Lala. I, then again, it's meant to be a Lala, but... <laughs> I like that you're in character, Argon. But why would you love me? Um, because you're choosing to spend your time with me and hang out and vibe, and that's why. Uh, to the... This way. To the up. To Yixmaya. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. We're getting scammed out of our nighttime lahi right now, because of mount music. I hope it's daytime by the time we're done here. I need lahi. I need like two minutes of lahi in my life. Do you know... Lahi? What a legend, dude. Oh, fuck, I forgot we're fighting. Sloppy! Truly. In the dwarf armor with inner strength on, it looks really good. Hella angry dwarf. Shadowbringers was something else. It, dude, I don't want to leave this X pack for two reasons. One, I'm going to lose my sprout. <laughs> That's the biggest reason. Number two, I've just been loving every fucking minute of this. Whoa, Eucrasian Dosis got a new animation. Yo, Eucrasian Dosis looks sick now. What the heck? Don't worry, you have three patches to go through and a raid. <gasps> the near raids are open to me now, aren't they? We should do the near raids. Even though I probably won't use any of the glamours because Lala. Um, but otherwise. And who is that dwarf? Happy. <laughs> right, that looks good. Well, not good. But well, you take my meaning. Now we settle in and hope Sulfur seems feeling char charitable today. Okay. I think there is some near glam that would look good on Lala. Oh, maybe like the, um, oh, what's the male? 9S? Maybe some of the 9S stuff? Terra 9S glam. Yeah, I forgot about 9S. I picture near all I picture is 2B and like the leggings and like the chest piece. 
We took it stage to 90 and get Numa. Giant laser beam that also heals your whole party. <gasps> the hyper beam, right? I saw someone use that. It looks so cool. Where is it? I'm nearly out of wine. <laughs> Not Giat just sitting here sipping wine. Oh, there. Don't forget, we still need to find out what it does. So make sure you're watching, not just walloping. Aye, aye. I want to cosplay 2B to be hot. I also want to cosplay 2B. Watch closely. Wait for it. There! Bro... This quest chain is gonna kill me. Why doesn't it fix the other one, though? Well, makes our lives easier, I guess. Charge! Um, I can tell this quest chain is gonna kill me because I fucking know the reason that Sofrasine is resurrecting the humanoid ones is probably because, like, oh my god, I'm gonna take a wild guess. Her fucking brother died or something, and she was trying to resurrect him but got too there too late or something. And that's why she compulsively resurrects Sin Eaters now. Because all of their behaviors in their Sin Eater form is based on, like, trauma. Oh shit, I have to heal Gian. Gian! Here, have all my adders gall. <laughs> smile, smile, smile. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's over. Oh shit, she did it again. How does it do that so fast? Well, Swift cast is like a one minute cooldown. Right, divide and conquer then. You take Sofrasine. Let me cardio you. I don't know what you what you said is true, but smile. <laughs> Three hundred potency, three twenty potency. Okay. To be or not to be, that is the question. It is to be. To cosplay to be is to be. Here you go, have a numa. I killed her. That was easy. Sage is so fun. Yeah, it is. You just shoot laser beams. You just shoot laser beams. And healing happens. Did we do it? Nah, we didn't do it. By the way, for curiosity, do you know if there's any event quest related to World of Final Fantasy? I don't know, to be honest. <sighs> of course not. Healing magic is so annoying. Er no offense intended. Time for... Yep. Uh, no, I don't want to know your backstory. Sir? Oh, not again. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I changed my mind. For the record, White Mage AoE is the only healer AoE that is not a gain on two. Really? So this is the Guardian. You excited, Lamet? I- Why is she- Hold up! Hang on, my immersion is broken. Why is she wearing the Fending helmet? She's wearing the gla like Gladiator, Marauder, uh... She's wearing the tank helmet. I'm- I'm- I'm out. I'm out. Continuity? Ruined. My immersion? Ruined. It was a different time, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Also, Valer, when did you sneak in here? How you doing? <sighs> you don't pay for herself. We need some work on a new bun boy. See if I like changing it, changing your cat boy to it, or just remake Graha. I just, I love Graha so much. I, yes, of course. I've come this far, and I will claim the legacy of Ranka. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, earth damage. We've got a heal. 1300 potency. 
Uh, restores HP of all nearby party. Ronkin Asuna. Ronkin Renew. Okay. Easy enough, easy enough. Yeah! Oh, that's up! Oh! I thought... Oh! I wasted my 180 cooldown. Oopsies. I thought... I thought it was a heal over time. <laughs> that's embarrassing. Dude, I thought Ardbert was the tank. I forgot that this party runs two tanks for some reason. Most cursed party comp. By the way, guess who has a beautiful chocobo? Ah, uh, is it you, Kuroneko? Three tanks sometimes. <laughs> dare you call them- Ah! Dare you call them cursed? I dare. Oh, you're paralyzed. Oh, too late. I don't know what's coming, but it can't be good. Waiting for the damage? There it is. Doom! God, oh, my strength is being drained somehow. I need you to heal me. But you have Doom! Oh, full health clears Doom. Got it. You know that three tank, one heal, one DPS meta? I wish I had AoE damage. Not Silva being like, I could use some help. Literally dying over here. By the way, when the time comes, I will ask your help to get the Rathalos mount. If you don't have a problem with that, I do not. Oh, oh I'm about to get doomed. The Codex of Darkness. Oh! oh boy, I wish I had Ronkin Renew right now. I'm I like how it's just an owl sitting on a chair. Everyone all right? All's well. Now let's get what we came for. The lost restorative magic of Ranka. Cursed magics. Can you sense the power in it? I like how at this point they didn't have the full party together. Because who the fuck is this? Also, who the fuck is this? These two were not in the full party. It's based off the Diverger mobs in 11. They uh, just added some variety to the model. Burbs, zombie, summoning demon boy, etc, etc. Of course, as you do, as you do. Yes, there could be no mistake, Silva. This is it. And I... My only path is forward. Oh, wait! Yes, the Miko was in! You're right, Rando. She's just not in her full, like, artifact gear. She's the one who poisoned Alize. You're right, you're right. I'm just so used to seeing her in full, like, bard artifact that I f forgot what she looked like. <laughs> Wise guardian, in the name of the royal house of Ronka, I implore you, grant me your knowledge. She's not high enough level for artifact armor in this flashback, right. <laughs> Blab it. I 
I did it. The spell is mine at long last. I can save my sister. Oh yeah, of course. I said brother, didn't I? Oh my fucking God. And you will. We'll meet up with Brandon and Nilbert. Oh, Nilbert. And we'll see you home. I said fucking brother. Of course it was a sister. Uh... You misgendered her sister? Shame. Was it because of the beard? Yeah, it was because of the beard. Since your prediction was technically incorrect, you were definitely way off the mark. <laughs> hey, oh, he of inferior beardliness. Eggface, Hobson, get it together for stone's sake. Wait a second. Inferior beardliness, is that him technically acknowledging that I have a beard? Because I love that. New desk crawls towards completion. Just on first coat of sealer? Hell yeah, Von Buki, let's go. Seeing into the past is a nice trick and all, but could you maybe, oh, I don't know. Wait until we're not in mortal peril next time. Driving Sofrasine away without pulverizing you in the uh, in the bargain was no mean feat. If I weren't, well, me, we'd both be dead right now. Hope you learned something worth the trouble, at least. Something about a dead sister. So Lamet was after a spell from old Ronka. That could be the secret of Sofrasine's power, but it's hard to know for sure. Whatever Lamet did to pry those secrets from out of the ruins was right complicated by the sound of it, and she took the power with her. I love Giat, me too, Serena. There's a quest in Tomer Village where the dwarfs talk about how it's difficult sometimes to tell what gender a dwarf is until after the beard comes off. <laughs> I like to think dwarves have a fluid concept of sexual attraction and gender. Me too. Me too. So close, I can smell it. Wait, that's the sealer. Uh, make sure you're well ventilated, Von Buki. <laughs> we need to think on how we can confirm what you saw. Maybe find out what that magic actually does. Yeah, so we're a nice mug of ale. No, mead. No, ale first, then mead. Giat's such a good bean. We were there till daytime. I'm so happy. La <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> so the dwarves are like the one tribe uh, in the Azim Step. Azim Step. My brain has holes in it. I can't place it. Lahi! I'll praise the Lahi! Oh, 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 you're talking about the, um... Basically the non-binary aura. I can't remember their name. I can't remember the name, but I love them. The Dotharl! Thank you. Yes. God, we fucking love the Dotharl in this house. Sadu's clan. <laughs> Cat dad. Uh, taking all bets. Is he gonna have a slutty plate? Will it be a slutty plate? Mm, no. Oh, I was right. Wait, this is so cute. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like Hroths go one of two ways. There is legitimately a 50-50% chance that when you click a Hrothgar's adventure plate, it's gonna be Speedo, like bikini, or this. No in between. No in between for Croth players, and I love it. It's always a gamble. Non-binary, so no one or zero? Exactly. Exactly not. When you attach the concept of a person's soul as the thing that is to be loved, the flesh doesn't matter and all is right in the world, Bilar, I cannot... Genuinely, my wish for the for the human race is to be to reach that point, where you don't need to identify as any sort of sexuality, and you're just more focused on the human. The, the human that you're interested in, rather than their, their their plumbing, or so we'll call it. Ah, nothing goes down so well after a fight the nail. Ain't no higher truth in this world than that. 
don't give me those, oh, there goes Gia, waxing philosoph philosophical about the ale again. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing this for your own good. It's plain that you never had a proper education. Terra, I forget, you've seen my adventure play, right? Sorry if you have, my memory is garbage. My memory is also garbage. There's a 50-50% chance that I have. Or if I did, I forgot. <laughs> Let's start normalizing loving the soul rather than the flesh. I wish, I wish. It's like this. You pick the right booze for the right job. You've got your ale for before and after physical fights, of course, but you've also got mead for reading, wine for singing, and your hard liquor for those times when you need to tell some Hobson to go stick his head in the forge. Me, I'll be switching to the mead. I am thinking I might find something about what happened to Lamet's sister if I look through my village's old annals. And hopefully, I can get my hands on some historical records of Ronka, more and be damned. I don't know what you'll be getting yourself into while I'm at it, but you make sure you bring the right drink for the job. I'll let you know when I've got something worth pursuing. Okay. It's hard to be uh, sexually attracted to only soul, in my opinion. There, there, I agree, there does have to be aspects um, how do I word this? There has to be, to like, for some people, not everyone, there should be at least one thing that like physically attracts you, because that's what starts it, right? Um, is one thing that you really latch onto. Like for, for a lot of people, it's eyes. It's eyes, for some people, it's like stature, for some people, it's physique, for some people, it's hair. You know, it could be, it could be anything. But there, there does need to be rooted some physical attraction if you are a physically sexual person. If not, then, then they, then they fall for the soul entirely. <laughs> Let's normalize no more gender. <laughs> I just want to normalize, cause like me personally, my whole journey with my sexuality is, a few years ago, I just stopped gatekeeping what I thought my sexuality was. For the longest time, I was like, I am gay. I can be nothing else than gay. I only like boys. And then like. Basically, TikTok happened, and then I was like, "Oh, oh shit! I don't only I don't only like boys." <laughs> I'm like, I kind of it's kind of woo, it's kind of all over the place, and I just stopped gatekeeping it. I'm just like, if I if I like it, I like it. There's there's no there's no more to think about. <laughs> Who here has read the Left Hand of Darkness? Not I. Arrowy solidarity. Y'all are cute. Y'all are precious. Go 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 go. There you are. I need leash, lesh mead. You heard me, lesh, but more ale, much more. Wait, you aren't a waitress. No more gatekeeping, literally. Hi, Molly. Speaking of gatekeeping our sexualities, or stopping gatekeeping our sexualities. Hi, Molly. Hello, you beautiful bean, love you. Oh, I know you want to say something, but you won't. You think that'll uh, just encourage me. Well, maybe that's what I want you to think. Or maybe, <gasps> you know, you know that's what I want you to think. All this time I thought I was annoying you, but actually, nah, can't be. All this rubbish about lost civilizations must be getting to me. I've read a dozen histories, and I still don't know nothing about that magic of Lamets. What I did find, though, is where we should have gone if we wanted to see her sister, and it's in Tomra. What do you say? Come, come and visit my home. I'll be waiting for you when you get there. Tomra! We love our ACRO siblings. Yes, we do. They matter too. They're in LGP. Yes, they are. Hell yes. Um, where is it again? Calusia, right? Yeah, Calusia. You couldn't find your Fanta and thought you deleted it. Oh my God, imagine deleting $10 USD. Wait, how much are Fantas? They're $10 USD, right? Or. $8.99? There's something like that. Almost $10 USD. Imagine deleting $10 USD. I would cry. At first I thought I was attracted to girls. Then I thought I liked both. Then I found out I was attracted to gentle persons. Yes, I've had here. And there you go. My m philosophy is think less, love more. Easy. Um, I may have forgotten to tell sir how to get here that's unfortunate come to think of it i ain't sure he can get here the tunnel's only for dwarves and sir where'd you come from like i'm staring him right in the fucking face while he was thinking to himself <laughs> so it was you folks that got the ladder moving huh i can't believe you managed that and didn't even tell me just when you think you know a person yes yes that's a joke anyhow the place i want to show you is just over there follow me 
My internet doesn't like me watching streams. It never does, Jolly. I pray for you every day. And yet, even still. Oh, this is a fate, isn't it? Those mobs look cool as hell with their purple wings. Scree! I'm just attracted what'll give me a hug. Um. Huh? Am I blind? Speak with Gia. Where is Gia? Oh! Oh! Oh. What, what was a Sin Eater doing down here? Jolly, did you get that freeze right after Molly came in? Because if so, I think that Twitch is plotting against us. I don't see any dips on my end. Might have been Twitch. Might have been Twitch. Nothing to worry about. This monstrosity came flying at my face rudely, I might add, when I unsealed the old tunnels. But everything's under control. Don't their bodies dissipate, though? As you can see, I gave it an old-fashioned dwarven decking. Uh, a dwarven decking? Sorry, I ain't at liberty to explain further. It's forbidden to reveal the secrets of the Dwarven Decking to outsiders. And anyway, I brought you here for something more important than that. Let me explain. We don't use it no more, but before the Flood, Dwarves lived in this place. Only the sick ones, mind. In those days, there was an illness called Stone Blight. Turned your skin to stone, bit by bit. It was just a matter of time. A few months, or a few years, until you were petrified completely. No one knew where it came from, but they did know that it was contagious, and so they they locked them all up here in the Blight Warrens. They needed to keep it from spreading because there was no cure, not back then. Monk ass, dude. It just got way more dark. And they were probably like, no, we can't let you in there. Oh boy. My journey's quite opposite. Firstly, I didn't know what I was. Then I realized, definitely straight. Nice. <laughs> Not me feeling incredibly tempted to change the gender of my main character. Jolly, didn't you just switch to a bun girl? Is this common for bun boys? For bun boy, for bunny players, I should say. Do you just flip back and forth? <laughs> I found I only make characters I'm attracted to. I uh, I flip. Either they're they're cute and goofy like my Lala, or I'm attracted to them. <laughs> Sampled the options in college. <laughs> Zagi, I love you. <laughs> Fanta addiction is nothing to be worried about. It's like par for the course, right? <laughs> Lamet, it. was it not enough to leave without permission or to return unbidden? Bringing these strangers into our home? You knew full well what entering the Blight Warrens is forbidden. How many of our traditions must you trample before you're satisfied? But her sister! If you so refuse to respect your heritage, you have no place here. As head of the council, I hereby banish you. You are no longer a dwarf. Be gone and never return. Be gone! Have you lost your wits? Lamet just cured your people. Her sister and all the others. She left your village to find a way to save them and she did. She did what no one else would. Your words have no weight here, outsider. This is a dwarven matter. Silence. Silence! I will not be silent. You have no idea what we... What Lamet has been through. That's enough, Artburn. Whatever my reasons, I did break our laws, and I did so knowing that this would be the result. I will accept my punishment. I leave my dwarven pride behind today. And that's why she doesn't wear her helmet. Lam it. If Lamet is leaving, so am I. That looks like Pippin. 
You probably didn't think much of us after you shoved us in there to die, but it was awfully hard to breathe. We all took off our helmets. If Lamet's going to be banished for breaking our traditions, then I should be too. As the young lady says, none of us is perfect. It ain't right that Lamet should be the only one punished for it, especially seeing as she was saving us. It really looks like Pippin, this, this dwarf. Right? Like, so much. <laughs> I just think of it as paying an extra $10 a month for the game, Ike! <laughs> See you Fanta once a month, eh? <laughs> Hell yeah, Becky. Hell yeah. Want to change your main character to a small piece to reflect the pastime from playing. A small piece? Your whole- Huh? Confusing. Pippint. Dwarvent. So my question is Odd Eyes or no? I like Odd Eyes, but I know Odd Eyes have a, has a reputation. Turns out I wasn't just Giet's sister. Odd Eyes, but only if the colors are complementary and not extreme. Agree, 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 Buller. Pippin's Reflection. That's exactly what I was thinking, Sith. That's exactly, exactly what I was thinking. Pippin's Reflection in this world. Variety is the spice of life, they say. Dwarf equals Dunes folk, I guess. Oh yeah, literally all their eyes are Dunes folk. Not a single Plains folk in the bunch, eh? Ah, oh, I bet you that other tribe is Plains folk. I like his chubby little cheeks. Oh wait, the Lamet is a plains folk. Oh everyone. Oh wait, this one's a plains folk as well. Literally everyone else is dunes folk though. I love Lala so much, you guys. They're so fucking precious. So there's a whole squad of exiled dwarves somewhere. Are you sure you're alright with this? We could go back. We could. What? Pummel the elders with your axe? I know you're not that fledgling adventurer who got knocked, knocked flat by Hobbs anymore. You could probably defeat even our strongest warriors, but forget it. We have more important things to worry about. We still haven't found what caused the illness in the first place. If it really is the Shadow Keeper again, well, you know what we have to do. If this is what it takes to save our world, I will give up my home and more, Ardbert. But, and anyway, it's not all bad. I don't think I really understood before how beautiful it is out there, how nice the wind feels. It is nice, isn't it? And for what it's worth, I'm glad you're here, helmet or no. Ardford, thank you. We did everything right! We did everything right! And still! All that's going through my mind right now. Oh, for fuck's sakes! A betrayal! Oh. This is why she earned a Crystal of Light. They are pulled full grown from the ground. Wait, are they? Wait, are they actually? There's a 13 year old in Idleshire that looks the same as any adult. Wait, are we actually pulled out of the ground like potatoes? Curse you, sudden but inevitable betrayal! <laughs> hey, Hobson! Uh, ugly! Uh, look, I'm running out of insults here. I'm starting to feel bad. Just wake up already! <laughs> Finally! Well, that was harrowing. But as soon as you started doing your thing, that sin eater decided to rise from the dead. Though I suppose that's mostly my own fault for not dealing it an extra blow. Double tap. Always double tap. Or two, just in case. Anyhow, what did you see? 
I knew it. I knew that Lamet was the one who cured Stone Blight. It had to have been. She saved all of them, and they they exiled her for it. And the the head of the Council of Elders. Oh no, Giot's faith in the dwarves is shooketh. Ha! Ha! I can do this all day. I love the dwarves. We do not know how Lalafell are born. We can surmise that since they are human, they are birthed like other humans, but Lalafell are called Popotos for a reason. Because we are potatoes. We're pulled out of the ground. <laughs> the, <laughs> the female Lalafell lays its eggs in the ground, hoping a young 13-year-old Popoto will be plucked when the time is right. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't want to picture none of that. Third time's a charm, they say. That doesn't mean I can't see physical attractiveness. Search an image of Miguel Bose, Spanish singer. And oh god, he's gorgeous. I'll take your word for it. I trust you, Kuronako. At least I'm not a fan of the hair. I can change that piece back. Yes! Hair tattoos, thankfully those are all changeable. You can't change your voice with, uh... With, uh, what's his name? Jacques? Jondeline? The hairdresser. You can't change voice, right? You can change tattoos, you can change hair, and that's it. Lalas have bellies, so they are born in the same way the rest of us races, yeah. I like to think that Lalafells are like little people in real life. I think that's basically what they are. Jean Delane, thank you. Oh, sorry, I I suppose I wandered off. Got caught up in my own thoughts. Actually, could you give me a moment? Or maybe a while. I just, I'm not sure what to think is all. I don't want to keep you from your other work, so see you later. Dude, gets depressed. Yeah, you're okay, bud. Oh, hello there, sir. <laughs> Laliho would be the proper polite thing, but I'm gonna insult him and see how he takes it. Hopefully it'll cheer him up. Hey, you hammer-brained Im imbecile! Your, mo your mother was a hobgoblin! Some of that may be accurate, but my mother was definitely not a hobgoblin. Are you sure you ain't getting her confused with your own mother? <laughs> Hammer brained. I never thought I'd see the day when you took to friendly insults, partner. That really helped. Thanks. I was so busy dwelling on the business with Lamet that I almost forgot the news I had for you about Sofra scene. Hey, welcome in, by the way. Thanks for that follow. I love the music change. It's so hopeful. You remember that Sin Eater I killed in the Blight Warrens? Well... While you were gone, Sofrasine showed up to revive it. Seeing that convinced me. Of? I mean, you remember how I was wonder uh, wondering why Sofrasine don't revive every Sin Eater we take down, right? Wait. 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 Oh no. I might have realized why. There's a few things I'm thinking about. I don't think we've seen a dwarf without their helmet. And all those dwarves left with Lamet. But we haven't seen them anywhere. So it stands good reason that all of the dwarves that left in exile got turned into Sin Eaters. And that's why Lamet is reviving them because she still wants to protect them. That is my current running theory, and I don't want that to be true because that's devastating. <laughs> well, we learned from your vision that the dwarves that Lamet cured of Stone Blight went into exile of their own volition. As you can see, the village was spared the worst of the flood, but the folks that left, well, probably weren't, which means... So for scene is healing the same people Lamet did. Right. It's the only thing that makes sense. Those poor souls couldn't go back to the village, so they got caught in the flood. They became Sin Eaters, and so Sofrasine is still saving them even now. Oh my god. And that gave me an idea. As we figured before, Sofrasine ain't alive, 
but Lamet wanted so badly to heal those dwarves that it's still following suit, like a reflex its body can't forget. The last time Lamet saw those folks she healed, they were helmless, leaving their home for the last time. She probably never forgot the sight of them, and so Sofrasine goes around healing helmless dwarves to this day. You see the solution, right? Helms! <laughs> Wait, he like put, <laughs> put helmets on the Sin Eaters? Incredible! That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard! <laughs> it sounds too simple, I know, but it'll work, I tell you. Sofrasine is healing helmless dwarves on pure instinct. Anyone wearing a helm, he won't think twice about, seeing as it don't actually think at all. Now, whether clapping a helm onto Sofrasine will keep it from healing itself, I can't say. It'll depend on whether the thing sees itself as just another helmless dwarf. It don't seem to have too much in the way of self-awareness, so I think it's worth a shot. Fortunately, we won't need to wait to find out. It came around not too long before you did, so if we kill the right sort of Sin Eaters, it should still be close enough to notice. Let's get to it. 90% of the world became Sin Eaters, so odds are, and I haven't seen a single helmless dwarf throughout this. So it, it like, it, the pieces of the puzzle fell into place. Oh fuck, I don't have flying here yet? What? I've been slacking. I've been slacking, dude. What the hell? Oh right, I've been I've been doing duty roulettes in my spare time. It's not my fault. I googled it and it said that Lala's are born like dwarves are from eggs. No way, Becky. Like, is that actually like confirmed? Confirmed? There's no way. Look on the bright side. Maybe some Ray. Did your name color change? Ray, I don't like change. Ray, I don't like this. Ray, I'm uncomfy. <laughs> also, Yumi, hi, welcome in. <laughs> Maybe some of them just died. Oh yeah, that's the bright side. Maybe most of them just died and only some of them turned into Sin Eaters. <laughs> There's no official confirmed answer, okay. <laughs> no flying, you bum, I am a bum. <laughs> I don't know why I, I keep forgetting that we're gonna fight things. Wow, Phlegma Balls does so much damage. Easy 10k. I love the ca class quests. We're gonna try and do them all today, Demi. As provided I stop getting distracted. <laughs> and we will take emotional breaks as needed. We have the twinning unlocked and we still have Hildebrand, worst case. If it becomes really dire and I am like inconsolable, we will do some Hildy. Level 82, yeah, every single one of your damage abilities as an 82 Sage get upgraded. It's great. Because you learn, what's the trait? You learn Offensive Magic Mastery 2. So every single one of your damaging abilities gets upgraded at 82. It's crazy. Job quests. I think roll quests is what they call them, right? Some people have said they sprout from the ground. Some people said they're born in secret and kept hidden because they are so small. If there's one thing I ask of the game devs, it's show me a baby Popoto. I need a baby Popoto so bad. It would be like the size of my like legs. It would be so cute. So you say you don't like change. Non? Why are you like this? Oh, and Zervin. Yes. We also need to do Zervin at some point today. Crazy? You mean you crazy? Yes. Stormblood had the last job quests. Afterwards, they became rule quests to conserve writing, cutscenes, etc. And truly, it meant that they could put more work into um, the few rule quests and make them more fleshed out and interesting. I loved the caster one, the one with Nalbert. Oh, that one was fantastic. Triple triad. I can, I can, I can have a little, I can have a little triple triad, right? As a treat, just a, just a little, just like one, just like, just like one. Fallen ace, three open, just like, just like one match as a treat. I can have a little bit. I can have a little triple triad as a treat. I deserve it. I deserve it. I've earned it. Oh, oh my 
my god, Lady and Lord Chai! It's not a good card, but it's just so cute. Um, is it my turn? Uh, let's just start with a corner Asinian. Why not? Tara can have one triple triad match as a treat. Thank you. I fucking love triple triad. <laughs> I unironically love it so much. Oh, you fuck. Have to go, Non! Non, have a great day, okay? We'll catch you next time. Triple Triad is an okay pastime. It is absolutely my obsession. <gasps> is this... Are you race changing? Are you fantaing? Is this to say goodbye to the cat boy, Jolly? Do, 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 do. So, got some very sad news to share. <gasps> if it's super heavy, hike, you could drop it in my DMs instead, as we try to keep like really heavy talks out of the channel. Um, oop, I misplayed. That's okay, I'm still gonna win. I wanna go to an IRL 14 event and approach people in line and make people play Triple Triad with you. <gasps> oh, it's Lady and Lord Chai, worth it. I guess that's what I get for playing against a grown-up. I'm sorry. I definitely rolled this poor kid. Alright, I'm happy. Bye, bun boy. Assuming you're fantaing. He is a cute bun boy, though. Uh-oh. Amogus. <laughs> Tin cans. Why you like this? The chais! It was worth it. It was worth it. Wait, that owl pet is so cute? It kind of looks robotic, though. Can I, can I beckon it off your, off your shoulder? <laughs> hello, hello, burb. Put Elden Ring in for the first time since I don't know, maybe June. Went to fight Moog. Thought you could win. What he wasn't realizing is you had three. Po Hike, please no trauma dumping in my channel. <laughs> Hike, that's so sad. No. 3.9 million runes gone. Oh. Such devastation. Truly such devastation. That's so painful. Oh. Oh, pain. 3.9 million. Bro, you're farming that area for hours. That is the that is the um that is the rune farming spot as I know. Back when I was streaming it, people were telling me if I ever, if I'm ever desperate for runes to go like to that area before Moog. Bro, that's painful. Literally the worst feeling. My condolences on your <laughs> horrific loss, hike. I've never related to a mob more. I am in fact a scree gnome. A scree gnome. All right, yeah, let's do this. I promise I won't cry. And now we wait. Once Sophocene shows up, we'll test out a helm on the bait first. That'll also save us from having to kill it over and over. All right. You did all your room farming over there as well. How many hours of murdering sleeping frogs is that? <laughs> Easily 30 hours in that area. Ugh. My heart, my heart hike, it's broken for you. This feels familiar. Ah, at last. A bit less toppling over on your part this time, if you please. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. Wait for it to be distracted with healing the other one. Then we strike. Sleep resistance, bro? Now, charge! 
Let me put Cardia on you this time so you don't fucking die. I'll give it a bit of a pummeling, then you put it to sleep with repose. That'll give me a chance to slip the helm on. I doubt it'll take to napping mid-battle, unless it's nearly ready to drop. Wait for my signal, you hear? Aye aye. Nothing I can do, completely unavoidable. <laughs> you had to equip Repose in the middle of battle? I always leave it on. I've actually used it in the world a couple times, and I'm getting very, very overwhelmed. Let's get that ugly mug of yours covered up. Ain't that a sight? <laughs> It's a Dwarven Sinner! Repose seems so useless to you? Oh no, I think re Repose is very useful. Ah, Z City! Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. We're in trouble here. I got you, bud, I got you. Thanks for letting us to accompany you on your journey and thank you for all the times you make us smile, Tara. Z City! Don't be sweet to me, you'll make me cry. <laughs> I appreciate you. That's so kind. Oops. Lucky for us, I brought extra helms, just in case. Oh shoot, I overlapped. So it actually ignored the revive. Like, real? You're taking a lot of damage, have a Tarakoa, just for you. I hope they do mention something DLC-wise for Elden Ring. All we got was PvP, right? Like PvP arenas. I was up to Ordina and Farah Mazula and just stopped playing. Wait, you never finished the game? You never, you, you never ended up finishing up the game, Izagi? Of Elden Ring? Ah, these ones maybe trying to protect it? Does some part of them remember? No, this is so sad. Ugh, I hate overlapping these AoEs with him. Nothing I can do. To date, I've never finished a FromSoft game. I just lose interest near the end. Well, shit. Oops, I have to put you to sleep. Oh, I could be using my Toxicon charges. I keep forgetting about them. Does anyone else sign up for MSQ Roulette just for an opportunity to show off their glams? Or is it just me? Demi, I always do MSQ Roulette, but I'm always terrified that it's gonna be Praetorium. There was one time I was doing it with a group of friends for Poetics. We literally alt f 4 the game during Nero's monologue just to make it go faster. Because it, it takes, it takes so long. <laughs> Whenever I see the Praetorium, I'm ready to cry. <laughs> By the way, did you know the free company got a medium? I did, I did, I did. I did know. Oh, can I put you to sleep? Can I? No, fully resisted. Okay. Have we started decorating it, Yumi? I can't wait to see when it's decorated. Did I ever see the original Praetorium? I think I did. I think I did, Izagi. Because I played back in like 2.0, like eons ago. The most divorced man in the world relitigates his relationship with his ex over speakerphone. <laughs> Never finished Elden Ring either. I was terrible at it, but played it enough and had enough fun that I got my money's worth. At the end of the game, that's all that matters. In any game, in any game, as long as you had fun and feel like you got, hold still, and feel like you got your money's worth, then boom, 
The game did its job. Wah! Ah! I'll take my helmet off. She can use my helmet. Uh, yep. Oh yeah, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Oof, thanks. The helm got it even worse than I ju did just then, and it was our last one. Do you think Giat's gonna take off his helmet? I hate to say it, but this ain't gonna stop as well. Uh, this ain't going as well as I'd hoped. If we had even one more helm, I could try again, but. I mean, I have a helmet. Wait! We do have one more helm! Just the one! Hi, Cedric! Welcome in! Dude! Can't use his last helmet! I really like Dark Souls 2. It's a little janky, but really does the weirdness very well. Plus a lot of fun build weapon stuff. Dark Souls 2 was fun, I just liked the other ones better. I liked all the Dark Souls though, I am such a Dark Souls fan. You're home? Welcome home, Golsif! If school ends at 3.30, when do you think the secretary should leave, folks? Uh, 3.45 to finish any paperwork, I'm assuming, and then go home. There's no way this works. Gian is... Oh my god, I fucking assumed. I fucking assumed... Oh no! In 2022? I fucking assumed! Uh oh. Ooh, wow, that's not a good look for me. <laughs> Holy shit, that's not a good look for me. <laughs> Shame! Bong! Shame! Bong! <laughs> you accidentally called Giet she earlier and had to cover up. <laughs> Fuck, dude. They made her seem like a boy. Hey! Hey, listen. Ladies and, and, and our non-binary entities can be alcoholics as well. It's not exclusive to males, okay? <laughs> to be fair, she, uh, she did use the male Lala death pose in the first quest. That's right, because the males like plop completely over, right? Ah. Well, well, looks like it's time to take this eater down once and for all, together. Ladies and gentlemen, I love that. It was a red he red herring, as it were. I still need to buy the play dead emote. I love it so much. Get pawned off her gender to buy more boots. <laughs> I love them. Where's my Asuna control two? Okay. Looks like I was right. No healing for you. Oh, right. Lamet was a big damn hero. No surprise that she knows a few dangerous tricks. Be helmed. Dwarven helmet is preventing the use of certain restorative actions. As if this works. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't get over this. The unfortunate thing about the... Oh no. Oh no, Buller. I wish I wish you had not bequeathed that knowledge on to me. Why would you tell me this? That's something I would have been better off not knowing. You are my super <gasps> Womp high. Womp high. Hi, Prey. Prey, oh my god. 17 fucking months, are you kidding me? Prey, I love you so much. Hope your day's been... Hope your day's been great. The ear tips are too dark for female, I think. On mobile, so can't tell 100%. 100%. Ah!
You don't scare me. I have a giant hammer. Oh my God. They, she scares me a little bit though. Like I'm a little scared over here. Almost there. Almost there. Nice. I'm good. How is you? I'm real good. Male Lawless have dark ear tips. I didn't know that. I never noticed. Two assumptions in a row. Tara, what is wrong with you? I'm sorry. <laughs> Need to have pronoun checks from now on, Tara? Uh, yeah. We have the pronoun extension in our channel that a lot of people use. Exclamation mark pronouns, by the way. Um, so shame on me. Absolute shame on me. Ha! Take that, you pasty bastard. I love Giat. What's that you got there, sir? Oh, it's the stone from Ronka. Some kind of crystal. Oh, oh. Tradition wouldn't have saved her. That's why I left. Hi, Ian. I left and I traveled. I met Ardbert. We found our companions and together we searched. Are you her? Lamet? I. Listen, I called you a disgrace before and. My journey was not an easy one. To save my sister, to save them all, I faced a thousand thousand foes. I know, I understand now, and I'm so... But as I did, I learned how wide this world is, how beautiful, how cruel, and how much I wanted to protect it. Perhaps... It should have been easy for me then, to give up my home forever, for a greater cause. It wasn't. It hurt so much. But you bore it. You forgave them. You survived. Doing these after 5.0 sucks. <laughs> yes, it hurt, but I survived. Because they were there. Because he was there. <laughs> Dude. I didn't, Buller. I didn't. <laughs> Does Tara know that Lamet was in love with, Ar with Ardbert? I did not know. She's at rest now, Tara. I know, but it's still so fucking sad. <sighs> oh my god, I can't- I can't read this. I can't read this. My voice is gonna crack the whole way through. <laughs> I, oh my god. Okay. <sighs> Ardbert, you stubborn idiot. You sweet boy. You never did understand what you meant to me. Leave it to a Lala to go for the hug. Oh, man. 
I can never switch off of Lala, you guys. I can never switch off of Lala. Leave it to a Lala to go for the hug, dude. <sighs> I feel a lot for her, let me tell you. This is painful. You said you wouldn't cry. I lied. I lied, okay? <laughs> This whole quest line was shaping up to be goofy, and I thought I was going to be okay by the end of it, but fuck, dude. I want to catch up on something I missed in chat. Yumi said, There's a little bit of playing with the medium. When Giat takes off their helmet at the end of the quest, turns out to be female, the player character isn't surprised. Even if the player is expected to be, the player character would have probably determined their gender almost immediately upon hearing Giet's voice, but the player doesn't actually hear a voice. Since Giet is a masculine name, they act in a traditionally masculine manner, and it's deliberately to trick the player. That's so cute, Yumi. But the, but the, the Warrior of Light's like, yeah, okay, mm -hmm, yeah, that's normal. <sighs> They get your expectation up for the funny, then hit you with the feels when you least expect it, yeah. Healer one was your favorite? Well, because it was so comical the whole way through. And then they're like, Gah! Gah! right in the heart. Lamet's quest line is very emotional. She's very popular for this. Understandably so. I love the Nile Bird. Uh, that's the only one I've done so far, is the caster one, because I'm a red mage main. But this one was fantastic. This one was fantastic. Emotional damage! Definitely, Kyo. Oh, man. Rest well, Lamet. You were the best of us. Sloppy! Oh. <gasps> Hi, Ray. Such I need- I need hug. Give hug. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. <laughs> oh. Sloppy is where Hydrate used to be. It threw you off. Tank one's also really good. Should we do the... I've already partially started the melee DPS one. Or physical DPS one. Maybe we should finish physical and then save tank for the last one we do for tonight. However, do you guys want to do the twinning? I think I do need a little bit of a break <laughs> from them. These. Um... We should run off, we'll do the twinning, and then we'll do the uh, physical. I think I'm on level 76, oh no, 74 physical is what I should be on. <sighs> Wanna do twin in K, hashtag do the twin in K. We did it, I can hardly believe it. This calls for a drink at the Crystarium, don't you think? If that silence is you wondering if I wanna go home, well, I can't. I showed you my face, didn't I? Broke our rules. So I'm thinking I'll give Lam its way a try. Live proud as an exile, just like all the other folks that she saved. Ah, don't make that face. It's nothing that a little ale won't solve. My eyes hurt already. <laughs> My eyes hurt, you guys. Oh. Oop. Thank you, Ray. Oh, man. Okay, back to the Crystarium. Oh, Ray, this armor is beautiful, by the way. Damn, I didn't get a good look at it. I love the little scarf. Ah, uh, no 20 for me. Tara, you better pay attention in there. I will, I will. You guys said there's a lot of lore in there, so we'll go slow. We'll go slow enough for Tara's brain to latch on. My eyes hurt the expansion, totally. <laughs> How? Oh, that's so mean. It was so goofy and fun the whole time through. Like, yeah, they were revealing some serious topics, but it wasn't nothing that I couldn't bear. And then that. And then that. I didn't know that Lamet was in love with Ardbert either. I mean, who wouldn't be? Let's be real. Ardbert's such a good bean. Gosh, that was great. Ardbert is my hero, mine too. Got one more opening in the party. Send your DMs to Vani Stormwind. Ugh. Time for some of the best dungeon music in the game. Gonna go straight on my playlist, I'm sure. Go, go, go. Ah, that's the stuff. Er, can I help you? You're staring. Really staring. Do you know you're doing that? I'm glad you're here, Helm or no. 
probably gonna yell at me for being sentimental. Ta looks like you finally figured out how to tell a joke. That's, uh, n now's the part where I stare all misty-eyed into the distance, right? Anyway, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. Firstly, well, you've been following my along my crazy plans this whole time, but I never really said how much I appreciate your help with Sofacine and Lamet. Thank you. And I think you deserve to know something else, too. You know the elder who exiled Lamet? That was my great-grandfather. He's remembered as the greatest warrior of our kind. I always wanted to be just like him, to be strong, honorable, protect our traditions. But Lamet, she saved so many from their suffering. Us dwarves might not even be here today if she hadn't cured Stone Blight. And he took away her home forever. It's hard to see that as anything other than cruel. Tradition is important, but it's not the only important thing. Kindness, empathy, love. This world and the living, breathing people in it, they matter more. That's what I learned from all the folks I shared drinks with, from Lamet and from you. Oh. And I intend to keep learning, here in this city, with my face plain for all to see and my head held high. So you know where to find me next time you want to share a drink. I know our job is done, but you'll always have a place at my side, you hear? That was great. That was great. Matt. That was great. Achievement unlocked. Speak for the honorable. <sighs> Drunk dwarf. Would you like to be my hus dwarf? <laughs> I would join by the time I log in, someone else will have joined. Yeah, it looks like we have full party. <sighs> I did have some feelings for Ardbert when I started to get to know him better after his edgy phase. Pretty much, when did I? It was post Heavensward for me, wasn't it? I think it was. It was during the moment of um, really learning what they went through that I was kind of like, huh, okay, okay, I see you, I see you. And then obviously in Shadowbringers when you start meeting him in the inn, that's when I was like definitely, definitely in love with him. Twinning! We did everything right. Every time I see his face, is it wrong? Every time I see his face, that's all I can hear. Because it's true. They did everything right. And still, everything went to hell. Oh. BGM 100? Boom, I did it. Dance party time? Hell yeah. Um, I guess I can heal it. We can leave the rolls as is. I don't mind healing. Sage is fun. Although, is my item level too low for it on Sage? Oh no, I'm good. Yeah, I can heal it. This is first time for twinning. Yes, it is. Also, for Thancred, so far I already have a soft spot for him because of who voices him. Uh, he's Lua, keep in mind, after Aroma Born, the voice actors change. So don't get too attached to their Aroma Born voices. Because I think every single Scion's voice actor changed. By the way, what do you think of the Thaumaturge quest? I haven't uh, played Thaumaturge at all. Oh shit, it's the twinning! BGM 300%? It's already maxed. It's already maxed, you guys. And still, and still it came to this. What? Welcome back to the Crystal Tower. Dude, what? This is so sick. This is so sick. By the way, get ready for the most mediocre healing you've ever received.
Why is this melody so familiar? What is that melody? It's so familiar. Hi, Isabel. It's the Crystal Tower theme. Oh, dude. Jolly, you scared the shit out of me. I threw two Adder's Ball at you because your health made me panic. It's a remix of several themes, Omega and Crystal Tower. So cool. Holy shit, dude. Servo Mechanical Minotaur. Enforcement Droid. There's another set of themes mixed in, but it's a spoiler if you guys tell me can't. I think my music can go higher, and I want it to go higher. We're blasting it. We're blasting it. Cap, that would have been cool. That would have been really cool for the for the dwarf tribes. If anyone tries to argue about Gia being a girl, you can just look at the quest text. You speak to Gia, who confirms what you suspected, having broken her people. Taboo by taking off her helmet, she no longer feels as if she can return to Tamra. Having seen how inflexible Dwarven uh, traditions can be, and knowing how much they need to get, you know it's not your place to disagree. So you follow her to the Castarium instead. So cute. Shit, Prey, are you still here? Prey, I saw you redeem Kiss on the forehead 11 minutes ago. I'm sorry, I missed it. I'll wait for Prey to type in chat and then I'll, I'll give him that kiss. Careful not to disturb the cages. Aye, aye. Alpha? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something about this feels strange. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It stood up! It stood up! Also, there's swords over my head. Oh, I see. Takes turns smacking us. Boss theme, hurry up and kill it. <laughs> oh shit. Whoops, I just high mudded myself. Thank you. 
Honestly, we do be falling though. Oh boy. Nice. Uh, this is actually probably an upgrade for my monk. I don't have the poetics. Wait, I already possess one of these? How? Oh, maybe they share an, an item pool with other dungeons. No, stop playing well. I'm sorry. I don't feel like I'm playing well. Iron, oh, wait, wait, this is important. Ironworks data log 2.5. Our only hope lies in the crystal tower. Though it did not yield its secrets easily, even opening the doors was a monumental undertaking. Without the Founder's data logs and the Noah reports left by the sons of the St. Koinok, we would never have stood a chance of succeeding. None of us were prepared for the spectacle that awaited us when we first stepped into the tower. To be surrounded by the marvels of a lost age took our breath away, and there, at its center, we found him. Graha? Wait, is it about Graha? It is my fervent belief that you should always see what happens when mechanics are failed. I feel like if you play enough of the game, you see the failed mechanics whether you want to or not. You know what I mean? Over the course of playing. Obler may maybe if Terra wasn't healing. I'm not good at healing, listen! I don't know if that was an attempt to gas me up, but I'm not <gasps> Data Lock. Does Dark Knight have some self-shielding? Because I keep seeing big shields pop up on Vermond. Kinda. Darkest Knight does it? Cool. Please stop giving me your highest damages, but you are my darkest knight. Dark Spread and Butter is a beefy shield on a 15 second cooldown. That's so sick. Our research into the Emperor's throne is almost complete. As we now understand the methods used to open a doorway to the World of Darkness, otherwise known as the 13th. However, this is only the, the beginning of our plan. Even if we find a way to the first, it is already too late to prevent- This is... This is what Graha was talking about. To Uriange. It's already too too late to prevent the Eighth Umbral Calamity. For that, we must travel not only to another world, but to another time. Thankfully, the data logs gathered over the years detailing battles with various primals pointed us in the right direction. This is the logs from when they were trying to time travel. Hi Spaz, welcome home. I love you. <gasps> is that a I think so. Yeah. Love you. 
<laughs> Love you. Oh shit, they're pulling, they're pulling. Ah! Spes brought me Borker. It's a 25% max HP shield. Nice. Definitely makes your healer's job a bit easier. Means I can throw out more Toxicons. Yeah! I've never been able to play Sage at this level of gameplay. I feel like I have so many options and so many buttons. I like it. I like it. Sage fun. Sage fun at something other than level 50. <laughs> I feel like I have so many different options for mitigation. It's crazy. If you like buttons, you should play Paladin or Scholar. Scholar, too many buttons. I've been warned. Mithridates. Mithridates? Is it Mithridate? Need to get laundry? No problem, Ray. No problem. <gasps> There's a lock? Oi. Where? Oh, I didn't even see it. Bless your heart, Bourbon. Aren't Mithridates like a healing consumable? A consumable? Consumable in uh in uh like other Final Fantasies? Like, don't they cure bad things on you? Panheima and Horos are the big extra ones. I forgot about Ho Holos. Rex and Magic Barrier. Damn. Panheima. Yeah, I need to use these. I was not using them in the previous fights. 15 second duration, 30 second duration. Oh, and then the, the damage mid is 20 second duration. Damn, that's so cool. Most things are dull at 50. Dancer, minus losing dance partner. Dancer actually feels really fun at 50. That's the only experience I've had with it so far. Just as we thought the pieces were in place, well, we came to the realization that traversing time and space has its difficulties. It is one thing to possess the technology necessary to enable such a feat, quite another to actually perform it. The interdimensional rift, as it was called in the Founder's data logs, is what I can only describe as infinite chaos. To navigate it would take expertise far beyond our ken. There was, however, once a being capable of exactly that, the one known as Omega. And yet, despite all of the research carried out, the mystery of how it was able to cross the rift remains unsolved. Something tells me they solved that mystery. Because, right, the whole thing is that Omega and the dragons, by extension, are not actually from the source. They came from another world, right? They're technically aliens. At least Sage always has its dance partner. Yeah. Agree, anything I might queue into lower levels, you use Dancer. It feels fleshed out. It feels nice. Those don't look friendly. We're gonna pop this. Okay, they just explode. Mithridates, not a hard fight. This is pretty easy. Whoa, oh my god. I'm sorry, you're gonna get hit by this. Wait, why isn't Cardia on the tank? Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. I don't know why. I can't tell you why. I don't know why. <laughs> I know I started with Cardi on them. I can't tell you why it's not now. I thought you were memeing me. <laughs> Good thing Dark Knights have a lot of self-healing. Right? It's fine. 
<laughs> Greedy healer. <laughs> Listen, if the heals die, then everyone dies, okay? I was just prioritizing keeping myself alive. Also, hi, Terry Lynn. Welcome in. I've done this dungeon so many times, I've never been able to read lore, so this is awesome. The perks of going in with a full group. Also, this is just so cool. Jolly. Jolly, why? What's wrong? Is it because of my cardia? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm being scolded. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. Grand maximization. Something tells me. This looks like a concept more than a creature. Something tells me they had to dig up Omega, figure out how to traverse time and space. I don't even recall what happened to Omega's body at the end. Terra does need it though, I'm being bullied. I want to be very careful I don't miss a log. Whoop! Flanborg. into the pack, Jolly! Oh god. These donut attacks are stressful! Oh god. Hear me out. Dance partner Sage for extra tank healing. I think Cardia is always a flat value of... Artificial Enigma. They made a pseudo Alexander? They. They. Crystal Tower plus Omega plus Alexander. The lengths that they had to go to to bring Graha back. Is insane. Wow. I like this this slower version of this theme, by the way. Dumb dad joke. Dad walks into his son and says, Hey son, are you twinning? Oh my fucking god, cat. <laughs> Look at the walls. I saw Omega's eye. There's one of the Crystal Tower raids. That's Nero. Standing outside the Crystal Tower. That's Omega. Oh, 
Is this also part of Omega? Like one of the, the last few things, like when you fight the gender fluid? And there's Alexander back there. Wow. There's the Ironworks outside of Alexander. Wow. They truly sacrificed themselves for someone else's hope. Yep. Wow. To traverse space, they needed Omega. To traverse time, they needed Alexander. To power it, they needed the tower. To change the hope for the future, they needed... I wonder if you can get caught in that when it freezes time. I would imagine you could. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Nice. Well done, well done. Nice. It just does damage. It would be so cool if you actually get frozen in it too. Like you get punished for getting caught by it. Wow. So an Ironworks amalgamation of three honestly terrifying entities. Wow. Cool. They explode for party-wide damage in Bone Sack if you go into Frozen Laser. Yikers! And we've disabled it. Well done, us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Carby! Carby's scuffing up the screenshot. <laughs> this little Carby! Get out of here, you little bean! I see you got your beard. I did indeed. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Well done, well done. That was fucking cool as shit, dude. Uh, maybe I should read this. I don't know if I have good rings and stuff on my uh, gunbreaker. Looks like he nudged it out of the way. <laughs> Is there any other... Oh, too bad there's no other lore. Crystal Tower treasure coffers? I noticed that, yeah. So cool. Thanks for coming, gamers. Oh. There's a little more lore in the quest, got it. Excellent work. Not only did you reveal the cause of the ethereal fluctuations, you were able to remove the threat entirely. Thanks to you, the researchers have already completed their preliminary observations. Their findings were somewhat surprising. The Crystal Tower appears not to have been created by the Ronkins or any other known civilization. Its origins are veiled in mystery, much like the Exarch and yourself. Forgive me, it is not the time for idle speculation. We have, however, recovered an artifact, though its purpose is unclear. It may yet be purely decorative. An artifact? Have you ever encountered anything like this? Yes, I have. Yes, I very much have. has come to carry out our plan. This will be my last recording. With the tower activated and the temporal displacement apparatus online, all that remains is to throw the switch and pray. I'm sorry. I truly am. I wish there was another way. But you are our best chance of success. Our only hope. Your gift will allow you to become one with the tower and survive the journey through time and space. Were our technology as advanced as that of the Oligans, perhaps we could have gone with you. Alas, it was not to be. But when you are fi I'm gonna cry. <laughs> when you are finally reunited, all, all of the hardship, all the sacrifice will have been worth it, I'm sure. Just promise me you'll spare a thought for those you leave behind, and we'll be thinking of you too for as long as this world lasts, though I fear it will not be for much longer. This is Biggs third of his name, 18th president of the Garland, 18th president of the Garland uh, Ironworks, signing off. May the 12 be at your side, Grahatia. <sighs> oh, man. This theme, a world divided. It's, dude, it's so good. It's so good. This song is just like instant tears. It really is. <laughs> Oh, man. A person's voice coming from a machine. To be honest, I cannot make head nor tail of it. Do you have any idea what that was about? Even if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Yeah, I can tell, <laughs> I can tell you know more than you're letting on. Very well. I will not begrudge you or your secrets. Though one thing was clear, even to me. The people who left that message were facing a great catastrophe. They placed their faith in the Crystal Tower, in much the same way we have done ever since the Flood of Light. Oh. Our prayers for salvation were answered when you and the Exarch returned the night to us and freed us from the Terror of the Sin Eaters. I sense that this was all made possible by those people from a long forgotten, uh, from, from a time long forgotten. We should do our utmost to learn more of them.
Perhaps the researchers will uncover more of these messages. In any case, you have performed admirably in service of the Crystarium. We, meet, we may have need of your strength and guidance in days to come. Until then, fare you well. <sighs> Squeenix, you cowards! Give us the orchestral roll! <laughs> Ugh. That was great. That was fucking great. And dude, oh my god, I'm realizing now. I I stopped and did all the raids because I wanted to. And this is just oh dude, Final Fantasy is so good. It genuinely rewards its player for exploring so much of the of the content that they have to offer. Like it's such a rewarding feeling doing Alexander, doing Omega, doing the Crystal Tower, and then seeing all of that combined in this moment. Like, <sighs> Final Fantasy does that so well, and it's genuinely amazing. <gasps> Hi, Lynn. <laughs> Dude, I love those dancer weapons. What are those? Blue Spirit Glaives. Those are nice. <sighs> Someone in your free company gave you the orchestra? For that song, Rando? I went through all of Shadowbringers with them, so I'm attached. They're really nice. I love how much things tie in. Stuff you do in A Realm Reborn and Heavensward still impact Shadowbringers and Endwalker. And it's it's just, it's truly rewarding to your players when they do that. We doing Zervan now? Let's finish the physical, um, let's finish the physical role quest and then we'll do Zervan. Cause Lord knows I'll need another little break. <laughs> I love how you just pop out of existence, yeah. If only there was an option to lay your hand on the machine and quietly say mission accomplished, friend. Dude, if they did that, that would be sadistic. That'd be that would be absolutely sadistic. Okay, let's go finish physical roll and then oh ew. I forgot we got some upgrades. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look very good. Boom boom boom. Uh, well how should we glam this? Let's just put on our little our little street urchin look again. Oh, where is it? There it is. There we go. Looking better. <sighs> Dreams Aloft is one of the few songs that doesn't have an orchestral role, and it's an absolute crime. That's the one we were just listening to, right, Mist? It's been around since Aroma Born, I think. Heavensward at the least. Half of physical and then tank is left. Exactly, Linny. And then we're done with the role quests. Well, that's not true, because you guys said there's an extra one that pops up after all of them. Yeah, since the Dreams Aloft, it's beautiful. <sighs> it's so nice. Oh, Kyo, thanks for stretch, by the way. Ooh. I think what we will do, actually, is right before we jump into these, I think we'll take a little break and I'm going to eat my burger. Because I'm a little bit hungry. And then we'll and then we'll finish physical. I, I want to see what level we left off on for the physical roll. Sorry if I miss you talking about which song. Still at work. We have a big event this weekend, so your boss is talking to you. Rip! We were talking about Dreams Aloft, Rando. <sighs> 74! Oh yeah, so we barely scratched this one. Well, we did the 70 and 72. We, we scratched it a little bit. Why the Lala doesn't slash stretch? Did we? Well, oh, I don't know how to spell stretch. That was so cute. I need to get some foodies. Yeah, we're going to take a quick little, I don't know, it won't be longer than five minutes. We're going to take a little break. Um, go get food, refill your waters, um, maybe stretch, maybe get up, walk around your house a little bit, and we'll be back. And then we'll probably cry some more. <laughs> Tell you're going to die. You have level 70 gear. Do I? I'll be fine. Level 60. Okay. How's my poetic situation? 
Um, we'll buy some poetic. We'll buy the weapons and we'll buy uh, like two pieces of poetic. And then uh, we'll be fine, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I'll get some poetic gear for my monk. All right, be right back. Whoop. Oh, why? <laughs> Mac, Mac, your timing was great. What the fuck? Uh, and instead you got horny uh, chat. Yeah. Did anyone see her just like vibrate intensely? And then Arthur was like, uh, sure. Come on. And now God she's gone. Damn hillbillies. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell just happened? I'm Celeste squishing. I'm Celeste squishing. I can't do it as fast as she's doing. Wait, I'm doing squats. Wait, I got, wait, I got scammed. I scammed myself. I scammed myself. I was doing squats. Oh, goodbye. Later, nerd. You fool. Where is he? Where's the DJ? That gave me such bad heebie fucking jeebies. <laughs> oh! The knocking one! The knocking one! How does the knocking one scare me more than frickin' the screamer? Frick your knocking. Frick your knocking. <laughs> Can we get a laugh counter? That was great. I don't know if that was meant to be scary, but that was great. Ow, please help me. Please help me. You're okay. Please help Wait, me. Where are you? Please help me? Where are you? <laughs> Mate. I'm dying to poison. Oh, you guys no. are feeding. Why didn't you help me? Hoopst. Hoopst summon. The pinchy one. <laughs> the elder one. Lobster. He has arrived with his big Meaty claw. You can't hear shit. It's by design that you can't hear shit. We're free. Oh, my fucking God. We're just gonna place one right between the eyes. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Guys, you can't see this. Don't look! Mm. Hey. Hey yourself. Mm. <laughs> oh shit, they're moving. Ah! Don't look! Don't look at this! I think Lava Land is my better option. I say, as I fall 10,000 million miles and kill my dog. Come on, dog. No, no, no. It's over, 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 it's over. It's actually over. Okay, boss room. All right, Satan, let's fucking go, dude. Hello? I got one last giant nut for you. I got one last giant nut. You've used them all up. Goodbye, me. I lived as I died. Hard. What? Oh, I hit. Oh, I hit. Oh, are you kidding?
If it's not legal, you can't do it, okay? And fall in love with Donald. Donald not healing you. You're on one HP and Donald is like fucking lightning spell. And then he heals himself while he's at like 75%. Fuck you, Donald. Fucking heal me. I'm dying. I'm dying, Donald. Cast your heal magic on me, you fucking duck. Sorry. Sorry, green. I definitely ate it. Puppies? Puppies? Not friendly! Not friendly puppies! I also don't leave the house, so, you know. <laughs> no pressure. I know we put a lot of pressure on phone the last time. <laughs> when I... We're drinking alcohol. We're doing it. I took my liver break. Captain! Hello, hello. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ow! I forgot about this guy! Holy fuck, he's gonna kill me. Then people can get out their frustration. Oh no. Alright. Perfect squat music. I heard there was a secret way that David Wayne and it pleased the way, but you don't really care for music, do we? It goes like this, the way, the way, the For whom weeps the storm? Hello, Ezra. Guys, I'm being visited by Ezra. I don't know if you guys can... Oh, yeah, you can see his little tail. Hi, Ezra. Why are you visiting me lately? You usually never visit me. You're making me a liar. By coming to see me all the time now. Hi. Eh. Whoa, what is this camera angle? Hello? Okay. Hi, little buddy. You're just barely out of sight. Lift your little, lift your little head. I went to lift him up, and he climbed up on my shoulder. Hi, Bean. What a good boy. What a good boy, dude. Thank you for the hydrate, by the way. Cause yeah, I love you. Yeah, you really like that mic, huh? Hi, Razor. Hi, buddy. Hi. Okay, you sit there. Get comfy. Get comfy. We're going to cry, okay? Freedom from privilege. There he is. Sir, come to rejoin his bosom companion in the great hunt. It is well that you have, for I have obtained new information concerning your sighting of Andrea in Calusia. The fiend has transformed yet another deadly mark, a great bear in this instance, into an even deadlier... Okay, you're moving the mic, buddy. <laughs> into an even deadlier eater. And so it falls to Reek and Sir to slay the newborn eater and continue their pursuit of Norvan's most notorious virtue. To Calusia and to glory! What's up, buddy? Have a kiss? Have a kiss? You gotta come to me, though. You gotta, you gotta meet me halfway. You're thinking about it. Can I have a kiss? No. He's not into it. He's not into it today. Our journey will never end. Where are you staring, buddy? There. there. I went all the way to you. Are you happy? Are you a happy bean now?
Damn, I still don't have flying here, do I? <laughs> I should stop being lazy! <laughs> Let us brook no further delay and commence our search. Separately, as before in Amarang. If you catch the eater first, I grant you leave to kill it without me. I trust you won't be uh, you will not be disappointed if the reverse were to occur. Surely not, surely not. I myself will be most put out if I happen to lose to you a second time. And so on that note, may the best hunter win. No! Gear! <gasps> Jolly, thank you. <laughs> that was about to end disastrously for me. <laughs> Let's get some gear, shall we? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, what are the biggest upgrades that we can get? The pants. I think we can afford the chest piece and the pants. So I think we should go for that. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's kind of cute. You know what? I might not even glam over it. It's not bad. I don't hate it. What the? Those are really cool. Oh my god, it's just a screw. There's just a screw on the end of it. It's like a scythe, but then they just hold it from this rather than the, the back of it. Interesting. They weird tonfas, yeah. And it's just got fucking screw bits on the end. Jesus. Kinda cool, actually. Whoops, I didn't mean to screenshot. You're so right, Ray. Cripplerker gear is straight Bloodborne vibes. I didn't like the healer. I didn't like the healer gear, but I actually really like this. This looks really cool. It also kind of suits the hat. Really interesting. Okay, now we shouldn't die. Item level 450, that's, that's all. That's, that's okay, right? That's fine. Oh, about to open some big bottles of wine. I have such a wine craving. I think I still have a bottle of wine in the fridge. Maybe tomorrow. Corkscrews, time to bust out the wine. Oh my god. Although the helm is actually ring finger Leonard from DS3, is it actually? <laughs> Literally, literal meaning to the term putting the screws to someone. Whoops. You never tasted a good wine? I used to hate red wine, but I love it now. White wine is a bit on the sweet side for me. You survey your surroundings, find no trace of the bear you seek. Yep. I can't get over how calm all of the night themes are. It's like truly a reward for bringing the night back to a region. No! If you have the points, you can get the Makai Fists from the Gold Saucer. He needs to get them from the Garo event though, if I remember correctly. You can get diable ones from the event, but the gold saucer ones, you can get non di <gasps> diable ones. Wait, they're exactly the same as the gold saucer ones, but you can change their color? It would look so cool in green. Are you kidding me? Wow, I want that. They're easy to get? I want it. I want it. Hate to say it, sir, but seems we're late to the party. Landbird and his mates slew the bear before we could. 
So it's true then. You've cast your lot in with the boy, you poor daft sod. But I don't understand. The Eater was a newborn. How could you possibly have learned of it and gotten here before we did? Well, see that's the problem with relying on hired help. They're loyal to your coin, not you. And you're the only one willing to open... Uh, and you're not the only one willing to open his purse. What? Money didn't solve your problems? Unbelievable. Can always run CC for you. Is CC. CC? I don't know what CC is. But more importantly, Reek, what's this I hear about you hunting Andrea? With with help, I mean, rather than all by your lonesome. Oh, it's from Crystalline Conflict? Oh, God. For oh, God. I have a distinct memory of you storming off in a huff, saying you don't need me or anyone else to finish the job. Tell me I'm wrong. Do as you like, help or no, you've no chance of beating me to the prize. Cause unlike you, I'm not all talk, and neither are my mates. CC's the quickest cues. Frontlines and CC will get me there? Damn it, dude. I knew I should have been doing my frontline uh, roulettes. Huh. Speaking of mates, how much did it cost you to buy his friendship? Do tell. <laughs> Piss off, Landbird! Why are you still here? You got your mark, didn't you? You should choose your friends more carefully, sinner. When it all goes wrong, don't say I didn't warn you. Hey, I'm a loyal little bean. Rude ass. You have questions, I'm sure. As you may have surmised, Landbird was once a comrade of mine. I took him into my service that we might hone our skills, battling Sin Eaters in preparation for facing Andrea. However, I soon came to see that he was not all that capable of a hunter, so I dissolved our working relationship. Unfortunately, he did not take it in stride, and instead resolved to recruit new companions that he might beat me at my own game. It would seem that his fortunes have improved greatly of late, so much so that I fear we can no longer afford to dedicate time to tracking lesser eaters, must devote our undivided attention in the pursuit of Andrea. As such, we should get uh, we should be getting back to the Crystarium. But before we depart, I have one other matter to attend to in Yulemore. If I might trouble you to accompany me... Ah, but of course you will. Let us be off. Next week, Rival Wings should be active in the Moogle Tome event. So I can get more Moogle Tomes for PvP. We'll be quick either way uh, to next few days because of the Moogle Tomes. <gasps> right. All right. I'll dip my toes back into PvP. I've heard Monk is disgusting in it anyway. Are you still here, Ezrin? Hi. Hi, buddy. Um... I should dip my toes back into PvP, not only for more uh, cosmetics, but also for uh, tomes. Just go in frontline as Monk and Prophet. Okay. I just need to learn how it works, because I know the classes are quite different in PvP. Red Mage is like weird. Red Mage is very strange in PvP. It's the same, but also has like three buttons. It's, it's bizarre. Monk is nigh unkillable in the right hands. Tank defense and melee damage. Wow. You guys are making me excited for this. Monks give me cancer in BVP. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> ah, everyone's back to business. You'll love to see it. <gasps> I can have a little... I can have a little triple... I can have a... A little triple triad as a treat, right? I've been good. I've been a good boy. Oh. Wait, it's plus swap? Oh, I hate swap and I hate- it's gonna take my onion night. Watch. Ah! Shiva! You fuck. I hate plus. I don't understand plus. I hate this. Get fricked? I hate rules. Just let me play card game. Let me play card game. Stop making this hard. You didn't give me your card! You have two of them! Give me one card. Please, I asked for so little. I can come back later for the other one, but I want at least one before I leave. It's Dedian! Oh, wait, hang on. I got a really card, really good card from them. Thank you.
Is that innocence? Oh my god, it is! <laughs> oh no, innocence is hot. Ooh! Ranjit! Ranjit's gotta be a good card, right? Oh shit, it's Ranjit! Something, something, punching hands and kicking feet. Yo, Ron, whoa. Ah. Uh, Ranjit is a very good card. For a four star? With corner nines? I'm gonna have to rework my deck. Goodbye, Shiva. Relationship with Shiva ended. Now Ranjit is my best friend. And back from foods, what'd you get, someone? Opponent pulls out a manalus dredge from MTG. You get a starter deck. <laughs> I think my triple triad deck is pretty good these days. Even better now that I have Ranjit. Sir, allow me to introduce you to my father and mother. Father, this is my traveling companion and dear friend, sir. He and I have resolved to hunt a particularly deadly sin eater. Indeed, I cannot overstate how terribly dangerous this eater is, that to pursue it is to court death itself. However, when we at last triumph over the fiend, all of Norvrant shall sing our praises. Won't that be wonderful, father? So long as you do not sully our good name, you are free to hunt whatever core you desire. I can do without all the petty details. Now then, how much do you require this time? Out with it. Ah, oh, never mind. Just give the boy my coin, pour coin purse, would you? I am sure it will suffice for his trivial pursuits. That is why you are here, is it not? Another handout? Don't play coy. You've never been good at it. Wow, this chess piece is super Bloodborne. Bloodborne aesthetic incoming! You know, I honestly don't know why I came here. Keep your coin, father. We're leaving, sir, right now. He's got a shitty dad. Uh, wait. He's got, he's got daddy issues? Our Catboy has daddy issues? Hello? Hello, Catboy with daddy issues? It's, it's free real estate? It's literally free real estate? Your favorite uh, triple triad deck is the corner eights. I think I have all corner eights. And then Onion Knight and Shiva. Shiva's also so good. Shiva's so versatile, which is why I like her for four star. But I might replace her with Ranji. I don't know. We'll see. He's not gay, though. Says you. Says you, Buller. Terry, your character is a child. Listen. Listen. When I am playing, I don't imagine myself the Lalafell. I imagine myself the Terra, the human. And then I forget that I'm playing a Lalafell. Even though they're cute. Every character's gay if fans get a hold of them. True. He's not the child, though. Technically speaking, he's not. <laughs> Forgive me, sir. I would forgo the wine on this occasion. Father's lackluster reception has put me in rather dow dour spirits. As you may have gathered from our exchange, I am a free citizen of Yulmore, owing to my parents' considerable wealth. Ooh, company actions. Nice. Uh, owing to my parents' considerable wealth, I have enjoyed a relatively privileged upbringing. Privileged and unbearably boring, which is why I quit the city and resolved to become a bounty hunter. I am no fool, though. I am well aware of my fortunate circumstances, which is why I elected to conceal them from the people of the Crystarium. People are wont to jump to charita uncharitable conclusions. I feel as though you and I have established a rapport, though, and so I thought it best to bring you to my confidence. I pray you refrain from telling others. Now then, since Landbird has decided to turn this into a race, we have no choice but to oblige him and slay Andrea before he does. This calls for a veritable army of hired hands. Alas, in a fit of frustration, I refused Father's coin. Without additional resources, we have no choice but to conduct the search by ourselves. Moreover, I am rather embarrassed to admit that I cannot- uh, I can pay you only a token sum at this time. B but I trust that will not deter you from joining me anon. I was never in this for the girl. Really? I, I mean, uh, of course you weren't. Perish the thought. <laughs> I 
Listen, Tara, every minute of every day. <laughs> Mac keeps bugging me to make listen merch because I cannot stop. I cannot stop saying listen. All characters are pansexuals. I will state again. Did Yoshi P not say that canonically the player can ship themselves with whatever other character they want? Sir, my friend, thank the gods you're here. Ever since we parted ways, I've been exhausting myself, running all over the Crystarium, questioning anyone and everyone, hoping someone might have seen Andrea, but at last, or alas. So you haven't gone outside even for a bit? Well, of course. Surely this is the limit of what a man of, with meager financial resources can accomplish. But never mind all that, for it but recently dawned on me that the vision you beheld in Randa Ray's past could, o could hold the clues for which we have been desperately searching. When you first described it to me, I felt as though I heard it before, and I had. My wet nurse had told me the exact same story when I was still a boy. It was a tale of a courageous hunter who together with her comrades embarked on a quest to slay a notorious mark, a great horned beast. Graha plus Warrior Blade is so popular for good reason. For such good reason, are you kidding me? The only two characters I will specifically agree on being obviously gay are Nero and Sid, maybe Graha. Graha for sure, if the Warrior of Light is male. Otherwise, Nero and Sid for sure, for sure. Um, they came upon their quarry in a desert. Wait, I always refer to the Praetorium as the interactive movie with daddy issues and extreme gay sexual tension. Oh my God. <laughs> so, last time I did Praetorium, uh, I was in a random group of players like uh, in duty roulette. And, we, and somebody called it like Garleans of our lives, like days of our lives, and I lost it. I was like, that is the most accurate representation of this, of the Praetorium that I've ever heard. They are so dramatic. Graha is adventure sexual, literally. Graha is player sexual, yep, 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 yep. By the way, Tara, Dougie Bravo is what Jim and I are calling the thing. Dougie Bravo, also pray you redeemed a kiss like three hours ago. Mwah. There's your, there's your forehead kiss. I forgot to give you it like eons ago. Sloppy. Plus the Warrior Light is closest to canon. Until Squeenix made Nero and Sid grow old together in the alt timeline. That's so cute. That was for you? Too bad I gave it to you instead. They came upon their quarry in a desert, and there attempted to lay it low. Alas, the beast had a singular strength, and the hunter a fatal weakness. And so in ensuing and so the ensuing struggle uh, her comrades were killed, leaving her, the sole survivor, to swear vengeance. Would you not agree that your vision is a perfect match for this tale? It is. You were sad you deserve forehead kiss? No, I give to you instead, Bray. Then there can be no doubt. Renda Ray is the celebrated hunter, the hero I so admired in my childhood. After that tragic day, the hunter resolved not to rely upon others and instead slew the beast by herself. She somehow found a way to compensate for her weakness. Anyway, my recollection of the tale is likely riddled with errors. We should ask Miss Olvara to recount it in full. She was a bounty hunter herself before she entered into our service, you know? Also, in light of all this, I should share with you an interesting theory concerning all the virtues I have heard from a fellow hunter. Apparently, each appears to be driven by particular memories, moments that forever changed each of these fallen heroes. Makes sense, doesn't it? Renderay being a hunter of notorious marks in life and, and in death. I don't know why it never occurred to me before. But if that is indeed the reason for why she behaves as she does, then the more we learn about Randare's adventures, the better our chances of predicting where she'll turn up. All the more reason to go and see my former wet nurse. Miss Olvara lives in Gate Town on Kalusia. Let us be off then. I think Game Awards uh, in like less than an, than an hour. I don't give two shits about the Game Awards. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really don't. I've never cared about Game Awards. It's very cool that uh, people get recognition for the th things that they've made and the beautiful games that they've made, but I just, I don't care. <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry. Uh, I almost finished sorting my Pokemon boxes and actually skipped some unacceptable behavior. <laughs> I would rather watch you do role quests and random Final Fantasy things. My heart, my heart, Dion. You have it, you have it right now. That's the sweetest thing ever. Um, Bravo Becca, you guys know by now how much I love her. She was talking about streaming the, the game awards, but uh, I think there's, 
is there drops or something for the Game Awards? But she was like, they've only given them to like select few streamers. Nobody can, like you can't just all opt in like you can on some drops events. It's only a select few. It's the Twitch favoritism. And I was like, ew. It just made my, it made the, the idea of the Game Awards even grosser in my mouth, which is not necessarily the Game Awards fault, but it's weird. Bungie's doing the same thing with Destiny 2. Only a few people, like a few select streamers, have the drops, which I don't get. I don't get that at all. Boop. If it's drops, let everyone do it. Totally. If somebody is streaming your game and by extension giving more, like drawing more attention to your game by streaming it, let them turn on the drops. Like, what's the problem? I don't get it. Sir. This is Miss Olvera, the wet nurse who raised me for particularly the entirety of my childhood. She was bonded to my family and lived with us in the city at the time, but when I came of age, she was forced to leave. <gasps> and she wasn't turned into meal? Wow, amazing. Ah, you've grown into such a strapping, strapping young man, but I can't imagine you came to Gate Town just to pay me a visit, my little reek. Not in front of him, if you please. But to answer your question, we did in fact come to see you. There were stories you told me as a child of a courageous hunter. Was that hunter by chance the warrior of light, Renderay? Of all the reasons you could have you had. Aye, those stories were of Renderay, the greatest bounty hunter of her day, the legend so many aspired to become. Less so after the flood. It was still fresh in everyone's minds when I was younger, and for all the good they had done in life, none could deny the chaos they sowed in death as sin eaters. But despite all of that, me and my mates still looked up to her. We knew all her feats and swore to preserve them, if secret, in secret if need be, that she might inspire future generations as she had ours. So years and years later, when you wanted to hear tales of adventure and heroism, I couldn't help but share with you the ones nearest and dearest to my heart. I only wish I hadn't had to change all the names. Then it's true. The hero who I looked up to as a child, whose tales of daring do drove me to take up the bow, as you had, to pester you for training that I might become a bounty hunter. It was her. Miss Olvera, Sir and I are hunting, Andrea, and we believe that one of the stories you shared with me may help guide our search, namely the one about the great horned beast that killed her friends. Will you tell it to me again? Wicked white. Is that... Oh, my little reek. Very well. Even as a young hunter, Renda Ray's incredible hearing was unparalleled. She could track her quarry through a forest by the most minute sounds of their passing, from moms away even by some accounts. Even the most subtle and stealthy beasts never eluded her for long. A misplaced foot, a snapped branch, eventually, Renda Ray would know, and her aim was always good and true. As she grew older and honed her skills further, she set her eyes on bigger prizes. She became a hunter of notorious marks, and together with her comrades earned fame and fortune. Oh, I got you, Waffle. Okay, okay. The older I get, the more convinced I am that big corporations don't understand simple logic. So true, Diod. Oh my god, so true. To be fair, Bungie doesn't do a whole lot for the community-wise. That makes sense. Like, for Destiny, there's no good side, honestly. I enjoyed Destiny 2 when I had my little hyper fixation on it. Bungie are very iffy with their community, and the community is so horribly toxic. Oof. I think Becca's been having a good time streaming 14. Or not 14, but uh, D2, not 14. As the reputation swelled, so too did their egos. Only the most dangerous game would suffice, and so they resolved to hunt the scourge of Norvrant, the devourer of souls, Balamquits. But what Renda Ray did not realize was that her greatest strength would prove her undoing, for when she faced Balamquits, the beast roared with such force that it brought her to her knees. Helpless, she could only watch as it claimed the lives of her beloved comrades and fled. I think 14 is gonna win again. That's gonna be exciting. If anyone is watching the Game Awards, by all means, tell me if 14 wins things, because I wanna know that. Otherwise, I don't care. <laughs> after buying the hunters and, uh, after burying the hunters and vowing that she would one day avenge them, she took to the road once more. She met Ardbert and his fellow warriors of light, and for a time, she accompanied the fledgling heroes on their adventures. <clears throat> To them, she was a breath of fresh air, 
a vibrant young woman who savored every moment and found joy in the simple pleasures. They knew not of her fallen friends or how their deaths weighed heavy upon her still. The party wandered the realm, performing many great deeds and growing ever stronger, as did Renderay. While in Calusia, she even devised a means to defend against the powerful roar that had been her downfall that fateful day. The where were the eels guy cried about it? What is the context of this, Kyo? Where were the eels? I don't know this person. Zooms the fuck on Silva. That's my girl. Ray, listen. During the healer quests, she smirked. She smirked an evil smirk. I don't know if that's our girl. I don't know if that's our girl. I'm being honest. She seems like kind of a shyster. She probably betrayed us. Nobody in the middle of a party is just like, like, for no reason. Unless they're doing evil shit. Like, come on. And then, while engaged in an adventure in Raktika, Lahi, a rumor reached Renderay's ears. Balam Quit's Scourge of Norvant, Devourer of Souls, had been spotted wandering the Sidia swamps. It was a golden opportunity, but to seize it would be to face the beast alone. She could not wait for Ardbert and the others, nor could she ask that they forsake their sworn duty. But perhaps it was just as well, for the memory of her defeat still haunted her. The courageous hunter had allowed a, a single fear to take root in her heart, the fear of losing her new companions as she had her old. Sylvia, Silva, ain't I a stinker? Yes. We're gonna find out why eventually, I'm sure. Cause like, she's, she's showing up in every single one of these role quests, but she's barely been dealt with? So it was that Renda Ray ventured forth in secret, resolved to slay her hated foe, Balam Quits, alone. And with all her strength and guile, the legendary hunter did just that. Vengeance claimed, she rejoined Ardbert and the others, never spoke of the terrible battle betwixt her and the dread beast. From that day forward, she was Renda Ray, the warrior of light, and the deeds of her and her comrades would be celebrated forevermore. It's strange to think that the woman I admired when I was young would become the Sin Eater I swore to slay. What she became doesn't change who she was. Even if the tales were a little embellished over the years, they were rooted in truth. She was, and will always, be a hero to me. And to you, I hope. Thank you, Miss Olvara, for everything. I promise I'll visit you again soon. So, sir, remember that theory I told you before about the virtues being driven by powerful memories? If Andrea is reenacting the journey leading up to her confrontation with Balam Quits, then the uh, the one that took from her took her from Amarang to Calusia, then her next destination must be Raktiga Greatwood. The <laughs> Kingdom of Rainbows, Ilmeg. <laughs> Can tell they're not paying attention if they choose that option. Right! That was where she laid low the beast at last, in the city of swamps to be precise. And so that is where we shall go. Let us away. Now listen, Reek. There's an awful lot people don't know about Renderay, or the world for that matter. So wherever you go and whatever you see, remember not to take it at face value. Don't just accept what others tell you as good and true. Listen to your heart and decide for yourself and be safe. There's nothing else you can do. Listen to your heart. Sir, was it? It was such a pleasure to meet a friend of Reek's. His parents never hesitated to provide him with all the wealth and opportunities they could, but when it came to love and support, well, all I can say is that it's a miracle the boy turned out as well as he did. One can never have too many friends or too much support. That goes for you as well, I should think. True! Uh, shit, where are we going? Raktika lahi! Oof. I'm happy Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and Stray got nominated for Game of the Year. <gasps> cat Game! Cat Game was so good. God, I loved Cat Game. I want to play through it again, like off stream at some point, and try and go for the beat the game in under, what was it, four hours? Three hours? The speed run. I want the speed run achievement. You know, considering he's a total asshole. <laughs> she said in less words. 
I know they won't win, but as a fan of them both, it's the small things. Appreciation where appreciation is due. You love to see it, Jolly. Who else is in the game of the year category, Jolly? Out of curiosity, like what are, who are all the nominees? Terry, you won't believe the amount of foaming from the mouth people were doing over Stray getting. <laughs> oh, I was one of them, Jolly. You clearly don't recall. St I was foaming at the mouth um, to play Stray, I think is what you mean to say, or what I thought you meant to say. Uh, God of War Elden Ring. It's done, all sorted by number. Proud of you, Izagi, proud of you. It's Genshin, Sonic, God of War, Elden Ring, and then Stray and Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Weird that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 made it on there. I've never played, so I can't speak for it, but like, you don't often hear people talking about Xenoblade Chronicles 3. When I was little, oh, Nighttime Raktika, I love that piano. When I was little, Miss Ulvara seemed so much bigger and stronger than me. Though, to be perfectly honest, the way she carries herself even now bespeaks a confidence I cannot help but envy. But never mind that, we have a virtue to hunt. Let us commence our search at once, and keep your weapons at the ready, my friend. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 was so good. I haven't played a single one. I wish Endwalker would be nominated for Music and Game of the Year. Weird that Endwalker wasn't, considering it came out this year, did it not? Heh, <laughs> about time our luck t took a turn for the better. There she is. Oh, headache with pictures. What, now? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Greatly enjoyed it, eh? I saw someone mention the Game of uh, Game of War. God of War shouldn't be on it because of how close it released to the Game Awards. Could say she's a sun eater. Cause of the type of Miko she is. What what are the what are the types of Mikos again? There's Sun Seekers of the Sun and Is it just Seekers of the Moon? Are they both Seekers? I don't think they are. God of War came out, like, a month ago, right? I, it's still technically this year, though, Jolly. Keepers of the Moon, that's what it is. Thank you. I wish you were all here with me, but I know it's better that you're not. We have a score to settle, you bloody bastard. And this time, I'm ready for your tricks. As she puts in some earplugs. Boom, boom. Oh shit, oh, 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 it's making me, oh, okay. 550 potency. Uh, damage over time. Off GCD cooldown. Self heal. And interrupt. Okay, here we go. Oh, can't interrupt that one, okay. This is a really cool mob design. I guess I don't need to be moving. Ow. You're getting scammed and you're sad about it? What happened, Prey? What happened? They don't usually get added, though, if they come out a month before the awards. Somebody paid them off. It's a it's a scam. It's an absolute scam. Somebody bribed the Game Awards to put God of War on there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hang on. Let me interrupt that. Yes, yes, just like that. Oh, so she learned how to interrupt, is <laughs> is what I'm learning. Her secret trick was learning to interrupt the beast. There's a Heavensward special boss fight with this model, Curl Regina. 
Curl Regina George? From Mean Girls? Uh, it would be unfair if they added God of War to the next years, given how good the re Woo! given how good the reviews are. Oh, I got a Vuln stack, how embarrassing. I think that's why people are upset that it's added to this year's, Dion. Imagine soloing a special fate. Renda Ray, Renda Ray was built different, right? <laughs> she pulled a Monster Hunter and equipped earplugs. God, earplugs, best quality of life um, uh, skill in Monster Hunter. So good. You just get, it, like, honestly, earplugs in Monster Hunter is low key like an attack up buff. Because monsters roar so much sometimes. And you can just be attacking during all those roars. And tremor resist, yes. Uh. What the? Where's this coming from? Woo! Gah, I won't let it end like this. We won't, gods damn it, Renda! Hardbird! Made in the nick, I see. Are you hurt? Don't worry, I've got you. Dude, what do you mean? The lone wolf just had to do it on her own terms. I, well, I was never good at indulging foolishness. Don't, don't tell me you followed my trail. I'll tell you all about it after we kill this bloody bastard, I. Her true secret power, friendship. Something's wrong. It's shrugging off our attacks. It's coming for me, Renda. Keep your distance. Gather round, Albert. Lend him your strength. Yeah, don't make the black mage move. Let the black mage sit there. They do what they do best when they're allowed to just sit there. Tremor and plugs as a dual blades made me a murder fucking god. It's so good on hammer too. Because it gives you all those big openings to whack the head. Oh shit. gonna roar again, huh? The hell's with you! I've got plenty of arrows left for you yet. Is Mean Girls a Christmas movie? <gasps> I want to say yes, Evelyn. I want to say yes. I definitely, my heart wants to say yes it is. Ba bum 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 jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs> Brenda, Albert, assist Lamet quickly. Woo! Ouch! <laughs> I watched Silva walk into that AOE. What a silly goose. So I don't remember if I said, whoa, uh, if I said when you saw the first flashback of this mob, but I think the reason Render Ray's friends died is because in other Final Fantasy games, co cast death. I remember you saying that, yeah. Everyone to me, lend me your power. Together we will avenge my fallen friends. We've almost got him.
Tough old bugger. Everyone all right? I love these scripted solo fights. So much role-playing going on. Me too, Katie. Hardbert, I... I don't know what to say. Thank you, everyone. I'm sorry for... Trying to go in alone. And why, pray tell? Did you even try to do something so foolish? If we'd been here from the first, I wouldn't have been... Any, uh, anything even approaching a challenge. Back in the day... Oh, right, nobody knew. Nobody knew this. Back in the day, I was a bounty hunter. I've told you that much, but I haven't told you about my old partners. Together, we tracked and claimed countless notorious marks throughout Norvrant. We were the best in the business. Everyone knew our names and our reputation. They called us legends, and somewhere along the line, we started to believe it, too. And then we set our sights on Blanquits. Thank you for the Hydra Jelly. <laughs> Ardbert's group was the true D&D &D we made along the way. So true. Um, everyone knew our names and our reputation. They called us legends. And somewhere along the line, we started to believe it too. And then we set our sights on Balam Quits. I survived. They didn't. I swore vengeance, but had no idea how to go about pursuing it. Then I met you lot and thought... Maybe, with your help, I might just have a fighting chance. So you see, I never intended to keep it all a secret. It's just, you never asked. And since I'd rather not talk about it... Easier to live in the moment, you know? The next town, the next job. The weeks flew by, and after a time, I started having second thoughts. I'd lost the, those closest to me before. I didn't want to live through that again. Are we or are we not comrades through thick and thin? These bonds of fellowship between us must come before all else. Otherwise, they may as well not exist. You say the thought of losing us pained you. What of our feelings? What of our loss? What if we had not arrived when we did? You've saved our lives more times than I can count. How dare you refuse to let us do the same? And without those keen ears of yours, I'll never know what bollocks Brandon and Albert are whispering about behind me back. <laughs> and ignorance is not bliss, let me tell you. This one's worth a fortune, eh? And fame besides. I'll wager we won't have to pay for our drinks when we get back into town. Oh god, it's not another night to remember. Don't you worry your pretty head over our fearless leader's questionable constitution. Take pride in the victory, for the small folk will sleep easy once they hear that hear of Balamquits' demise, until Ardbert's drunken snoring wakes them from their slumber. And on that note, I think it's time we quit this place, and render right. I trust that the next time you decide to hunt deadly game, you'll do us the courtesy of extending us an invitation. And there I thought I was doing you a favor by keeping you out of my personal affairs, selfish as it was. Oh, fine. But if you go and die on me, I'll pay a necromancer to raise you from the dead so I can kill you out of spite. Agreed. Now then, mind cutting off whatever it is you need to take back as proof of the kill? I don't want to lose our reward on a technicality. Interesting that they were also gathering crystals, much like we did in A Realm Reborn. Such a fine crystal. Why not hold on to it as a memento of this occasion? They're collecting the first version of the Infinity Stones. 
You're my superstar. Ta ta, I have a secret to tell. Your face is cute. Frogo, oh my god, 20 months. 20 months of Frogo, are you kidding me? Frogo, I love you so much. Thank you for the 20 months. Jesus Cripes. Jesus Cripes, you sweet bean. I think it would have been absolutely hilarious if the dungeons in Shadowbringers were three tanks, two DPS, and one heal, just to fit with the first party <laughs> party schemes. That would have been so good. Uh. Wake up, damn you. Hello? What's wrong with you, huh? That's the second time your so-called gift has cost us a chance at slaying Andrea. You, you know what? I've had enough. Enough, I say. Yes, I don't need your help. I'm perfectly capable of hunting the Sin Eater on my own. But we just learned about the power of friendship. Uh, good luck with that. What? These are both... I hate both of these. These are both shit. Should we lean into the all is lost moment? Let's pretend we're in a movie right now. The all is lost moment. Let's go full on. It's past time I told you to piss off. Then we can have a sweeter makeup when we like get back together. Upon our return to Gate Town, you'll be given your final payment, and we'll be free to go our separate ways. The all is lost moment! No! Cat boyfriend! <laughs> By the way, Terry, do you want me to send you the clip I was talking about earlier? Remind me what the clip was? Cat boy with short temper. Mm. You probably heard it a bajillion times now, but I highly recommend doing um, all the role quests in Shadowbringers. No regrets here. Yeah. Uh, Katie, I have level 80 every roll. That's our plan today. We do in all of them. Is it a thing for Hydrate? Oh, the Where Were the Eels were clip. By all means. Star. Razor? Hello? Razor? Hello? Razor, thank you for the fresh organic tier one. Hello? I appreciate you. What the fuck? We'd love to see a homegrown, non-GMO, organic raised sub. <laughs> appreciate you so much, Razor. Thank you. <laughs> Clip set. Let's see it. Uh, jokes and memes, I'm assuming? Nope. Not there. Mm, Gaming Central? Nope. Not there. Where, where did you? Keo? If it's in Twitter, Keo, if it's in Twitter, I'm out. I'm not fucking loading up Twitter. <laughs> you will join the Discord and you will like it, goddammit. Oh, in Twitch? Okay, I can handle that. If it's in Twitch, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not fucking launching up Twitter. Damn, I'm not organic. You're still organic, but 20 months of it. 20 heckin' months of it. I kept forgetting to do it. Love the streams. You sweet soul. You didn't have to at all. Though it does mean the world. You know that. All right, let me see this, Kyo. Let me see. Let me see what this is about. Is a Twitch clip. Where were the heels is what this clip is called. stood inside the AoEs. There, there was like a split second for the heals to get to him. Look at this. Boom, it's first branching. hit. Boom, it's second branching. hit. Like, you would need an otherworldly healer to catch that. <laughs> Where were the heals? You stood in a fucking AoE, you dingus. <laughs> heals! Uh, it's been such a good week. Can I share some good news? We love good news here. We're living for it. Yes, please. Share away. Quinn deserved leaving 14. What? Is that who the streamer was, Quinn? Stood in two overlapping AoEs after getting hit by guaranteed damage. Yup. Where were the heals? 
He literally ignored all the game just to go for the end game. What? Nah, nah, there's too much amazing story in this game. No story, no job mechanics learned, etc. That puts a sick taste in my mouth. That's a puts a that's puts a nasty in my mouth is what it is. And then complained about it. Ugh. Ew. Ew. Uh, imagine. Quinn definitely deserved it. He said, uh, wow sto What story, dude? I am a like I am a recovered WoW player. What story? Do you know what the most interesting moment in all of WoW was for me as like a WoW player like up until mid mists was the whole Sylvanas betrayal arc in Wrath and it wasn't even Sylvanas's betrayal. Like god. Nah. Oh. That makes me heated, dude. That makes me heated. That makes me heated. What story? Warcraft 3? Great story, in my opinion. I liked Warcraft 3. Wow? No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> like, now after going through up to 5.0 Shadowbringers, it doesn't even hold a candle to 14's story. There are no memorable moments other than that one Sylvanas thing. Well, it was Sylvanas' betrayal. They just pinned it on a patsy, but everyone felt she was by exactly below. Wow, you remember. Hey, look at you. Look at you. Okay, okay. We also have some more recovering WoW players here. So I also assumed your favorite part was leaving it. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, literally. I'll try to find the 14 game awards thing though. Okay. Well, I have some amazing quests, but no, go yes, Serena, that is accurate. Like, okay. Um, I loved the story in Ice Crown. I think that was all really cool, but that was like a one self-contained. There was no overarching as much as they tried and they retconned so much as they kept, ah, Katie, oh my God. They retconned so much. Katie, thank you for the five gifted. Hello, hello, hello. I appreciate that. Holy heck, guys, thanks for the support. I literally could not be doing what I'm doing without you guys. So thank you from bottom of, of me little heart. Thanks. Found already sent, let me see. Wrathgate was uh, totally her since she was setting up the plague, yes. And later on, she does actually go through with it, right? Like in one of the later expansions. I was already so checked out by that point though, so. Why is my Twitch loading so slowly? Is it because I'm streaming? It's probably because I'm streaming. Twitch doesn't know what to make of it. Boom, boom, boom. Terry, you missed my good news! I'm so sorry. Um, things have been going really well with your crush. Last night after work, you cuddled your- <gasps> Cuddled in a car! Oh, yo, that's so fucking cute, Frago. That's so fucking cute. Congratulations on a budding little love. Quinn reacts to 14 winning game award. Oh, wait, Keo, is this gonna piss me off? I'm not in a stable mental state right now. Is this gonna piss me off? Do I even wanna watch this? Quinn reacts to 14 winning game award. Hang on, let me mute. Let me mute the beautiful music in the background from this amazing game. Ah, BGM isn't available. Okay, give me one second. We will, we will watch this, but give me one second. Honestly, I don't know why I ever placed my faith in you. You're such a disappointment. Now I'm mad for two reasons. I forgot what was happening with Lurik. Consider this the formal dissolution of our partnership. Let none ever again speak the names Reek and Sir in the same breath. Yes, never again. And with that, I bid you good day. Good day, Lou. When he was little, Reek's parents punished him for a time by withholding his allowance. Without money to lavish on his friends, he soon found out that many were only drawn to him by his wealth. I dare say he feared you would abandon him as they did and decided to push you away first. I'm not trying to make excuses for what he said. I only hope that you can find it in your heart to forgive him. Take some th time to think it over, then come and see me. Oh, and take this for your troubles. He's a 10, but he pushes away everyone that loves him. Yes, this is a personal attack. This is a personal attack on half of chat because I'm sure you guys do it. Better to push them away than get hurt when they leave, right? Right? Guys, stop the behavior. Stop the behavior. Become self-aware. Become self-aware that you push away push away people, okay? Forever who whoever needs to hear this right now, I am personally attacking you. <laughs>
Story aside, he missed out on learning skill set, boss mechanics, the most basic functions, even Quinn's mods called him over that. Jesus. He deserved to leave. He deserved Okay, this is gonna piss me off. Alright, deep breaths, deep breaths. I can survive this. Here we go. Here we go. And the game award for the best ongoing game goes to We love Fortnite. Final Fantasy. <laughs> Tonight, Final Fantasy XIV Online also wins Best Community Support. As it should! Oh, fuck off, mate! As it wow. should! Wow! Holy oh. shit, bro! I've never heard of this Best human community? before. My fucking act. What is this fucking sham of a Game Awards show? I have never heard of this human before, and I never want to hear about them again. Quinn is never to be brought up in my channel ever again. I... What a disgusting human. <laughs> like, holy shit. What? What a wrong take. What a horrible, horrible take. Jesus Christ. Hey, risotto. Nice. Nice. Blech. Blech on that human. Holy shit, dude. 14 has had retcons too, but 14 is careful with how they do it to make it work. Wow, it's just reckless as life. Yeah, 100% Alex. 100%, 100%. Uh, there are quest stories that are good. I don't remember the name of the quest line, but it was a tribute to one of the dev's brothers who had died of cancer. Oh my god, and in one of the touring starting areas, Rando, there was the, um, there was the little kid. Um, I think through Make-A-Wish Foundation that wanted to have their own quest in WoW. And they did do that, and so I can't shit on the game entirely, because that was so cute. And they were like, can you help find my dog and my heart? So fucking cute. That was actually, okay, WoW has done some good things, I will say that. But overarching, I'm still fucking mad at the game and I will likely never go back. <laughs> Uh, so good that I can't even think of any retcons. Well, the one retcon actually came when I pointed out, uh, it, it wasn't until it was revealed that it was Gaius. Um, the, the, what did he call himself? Shadow Hunter, I believe he called himself. Um, his abilities were retconned in the, uh, uh, during Endwalker, I think, like the way he attacks and everything. So when I saw him in post Stormblood and I saw the way he was moving and I saw his like X attacks. I was like, oh my God, this is Gaius before it was revealed. But that was actually abilities that were retconned onto him. And the only reason I drew that connection was because I recognized the attacks. So there's been a small bit of retconning. There's been a small bit of retconning. There's a lot of small details, uh, detail retcons in the lore. They seem minor because 14 handles them very well. Most of them are 1.0, 2.0, 1.0 to 2.0, yes. But in the instance of like the one I just mentioned of Endwalker changing uh, like the Praetorium and all that, uh, that's probably the most obvious one that I can think of. Talking about Gaius, I still can't believe you guessed it right. Haven't seen it before. No streamer did catch on. Nevertheless, based on their animations. <laughs> the only, like I said it, I was just recently editing Post Stormblood. Like I said, the video is going up tomorrow. Um, the, the only other person that moved like Shadow Hunter did was, um, Fordola, right? It's just Gaius and Fordola, and clearly Shadowhunter is not Fordola, so I mean, easy clap. It was pretty clear. By the way, I saw a quest thing from WoW that ends with something going, Pray return to the waking shores? Did they really? Is that real, Jolly? That's kind of funny. This is important information, Tara? Oh, what, what, uh, Olvara is telling me? It's okay, I'm gonna pay attention. I'm gonna pay attention, don't worry. Etherology, what happens to people when they die, the nature of the world, etc. These are retconned, but it's handled by being scholarly. Wait, eatable minions? Did I miss something? I think I missed something. I missed something, Linny. I wasn't paying full attention. Um, I'm sure you're a talented man, like yourself. Uh, I'm sure a talented man like yourself is needed all over the realm, and so I thank you for sparing a moment to hear me out. Since you two parted ways, Reek has come to visit me several times. How fast was he? Hello? I wasn't talking to chat for that long. I was here the whole time. How did... Alright, okay, fine. Uh, visit me several times. Though he is blessedly in good health, I worry for his spirits. 
I think you may have been the only friend he's had for some time. I considered journeying to the Crystarium myself to look in on him, but I find travel rather difficult these days. If you would go in my stead, it would put my heart at ease. Not Granny trying to fix our friendship, dude. Catboy! I'm coming back for you, baby! I'm coming back for you! Oh, 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 Tara, I asked what five minions you would eat. I'm gonna base this off of the minions in my current possession, okay? Because I don't know all the minions. Um, I would eat out Wind Up Graha. Um, I would also eat the watermelon. I would also eat... You know, this slime actually looks like it's pretty good. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I apologize. I apologize. I apologize for saying what I said. Uh, I expect uh, uh, an upload on YouTube with tears, crying with tears. <gasps> you guys are so fucking cute. Hello. Having a little campfire adventure. Apology with tears will be up on the on YouTube very soon. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said it. Not the gr- <laughs> Demi. Not the grussy. <laughs> Not the grussy. Tara's eating anything but food. Ah, oh, I should actually finish the question. How many did I say so far? I said three so far. Um, minion guide. So the slime looks like it would be like melon flavored. Looks kind of good. Um, I could make frog legs out of the wizard. Honestly, I think this thing would just taste like hot sauce. I think this would, and maybe sulfur. Mostly hot sauce. I would eat this. I would eat the cherry bomb. It has cherry in the name. Like sweet and spicy. Immediately from eat to eat out. <laughs> I don't think I understood the assignment properly. I'm sorry. We're comparing eatable minions we could roast on the campfire. <laughs> That's so cute. The wind up succubus is 100% anatomically accurate. Thus, if you count eating poop. <laughs> Ray, I love you so much. Luric's customary seat is empty, but there is nothing to suggest he has occupied it recently. Perhaps someone will have noticed his passing. He died? Oh, like, oh, 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 like passing is in like walking by. Oh, okay, we're okay. Looking for Master Reek, are we? <laughs> I dare say you're the only one. Word is mummy and daddy cut him off, so there's no point in pretending to like the shit anymore. Bro, fuck these NPCs. Last I saw him, he was moping about like someone had shot his Amaro. I'm sure he'll turn up eventually. Fuck you! Oh my- You're a monster! What else do you have to say for yourself? I'm upset. I'm upset. Lurik doesn't deserve this. Calusia, right? You're Lurik's partner. I was with Landbird, remember? Was. I ought to stress. Because after we left you, we headed straight to Raktika. We'd heard a rumor Andrea was there, and Landbird wanted to strike while the iron was hot. By the time we realized we were overmatched, it was too late. I saw Landbird fall, and when the Eater set her sights on the others, I fled. Call me a coward if you'd like, but my cowardice saved my life. Wicked white. I still remember looking back as I ran and seeing Landbird rise to his feet. I told everyone what had happened to, uh, to warn them off the hunt. Some listened, but a bloody few fools took up their weapons and joined the hunt glory hungry imbeciles not a one of them has returned didn't expect Lou Reek to be one of them neither I remember thinking it odd especially when I saw him leave for Raktika alone you're meeting him there I presume good luck friend I have no doubt you're going to your doom what wait I already know where he is but I still have to talk to another NPC and she was a bitch eater I mean Landbird deserved but not not Lou Reek Lou Reek the Mistel Lordling if he ain't sat at his usual table, then I have no idea where else to look. But I know! In Raktika! In Lahi Land! I can't believe he's fucking dead. <gasps> Triple Triad. No, I mustn't. I mustn't! I must stay focused as much as I want to. Do it! <laughs> no, I, I can't. I couldn't possibly. Terra Triad, honestly, I love it so much. Yeah. 
Oh, my hat's too big. I gotta take off my hat. He's depressed. He's depressed. So I sit with him until he's happy. Our depressed little friend. The Terra literally doing a triple try and matches his friends get murdered. He's fine. He's fine. He's just sad. He's just down on his spirits. All right, sir. I'm here to cheer you up. I'm here to cheer you up. Be happy. That's precisely why I don't have Triple Triad unlock. It's so fun. You're missing out. You're missing out. Play Triple Triad, okay? It's so much fun. You'll be in the middle of questing. You'll see that little fucking rectangle and you'll be like, you'll be like salivating for more cards like me. Sir, why are you here? Don't tell me you came for me. It's terrible. It's horrible. Andrea, she's... she's... <laughs> Renda Ray, if aught of you remains, then hearken to my words. You're 15 or so away from the card mount? I cannot wait. I don't think I even have a fraction as many as I should, but I want it. I have come to lay your soul to rest, alone, as you faced Balam Quits a century ago on this very ground. Who? Oh, Landbird! Oh, gods, no. Wow, she really said not even worth my time. As a sin eater. Such devastation. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me. You beheld a vision of my past just now, didn't you? I I thought as much. Wasn't but a moment ago that I confronted them. Awfully useful, that trick of yours. Though I can't understand why you kept using it every time we ran into Andrea. I can't control when it happens. The role of Amico Archer's already filled. Yeah, we don't need you. Huh? So it wasn't something you did deliberately. Good to know. Anyway, unintentional or not, at least I won't have to convince you of what I saw. She's turned Landbird and those other hunters into seniors like herself. A Hume Axeman, a Gull Gent Swordsman, a Dwarven Healer, an Elven Mage, looked awfully familiar, didn't it? She's rebuilding her fellowship. She's remaking the Warriors of Light. But for the life of me, I can't understand why. I mean, I understand why she came here in the first place. She's reliving the hunt for Balam Quits. But Renderay slew the beast by herself. The stories were clear about that. All the belts on these pants? are fantastic. I love useless belts all over pants. They're great. What? They were there too. Then the stories were wrong. God, strike me down. I've been such a fool. Why did I ever think I could do this alone? I, I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me for all the things I said, sir. I've regretted my behavior ever since the day we parted ways. It was stupid and nonsensical and utterly pointless. I'm not sure I could even tell you what I, uh, 
why I did what I did. It's fine. Water under the bridge. I didn't tell you, Reek, because I hate you. I don't hate him. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I hope it it's alright if I call you that. Yep. Right then, Andrea should be around here somewhere. Still on the hunt for Blam Quits, I expect. Not that she'll ever find it. No doubt Landbird and the others are with her too. He and I may have had our differences, but I'd not wish that fate on my worst enemy. He deserves to be laid to rest. They all do. Rendere most of all. She was, she is my hero. And if I have to kill her to save her soul, then so be it. But this is too much for even the best hunter to handle alone, and I am far from the best. The only way to see this through is together. You and me, my friend. What say you? Yith. <laughs> I ask for a word and you give me a nod. Fair enough. Before we resume the hunt in earnest, though, let us return to Gate Town and let Miss Olvera know all is well. After all, you wouldn't have come unless she sent you. What? I was going to come of my own free will. It wasn't Olvera's doing. Though she did say the words. La -hi. What do you mean together? To me, you're baggage. I'm a god slayer. An icon slayer, actually. Or have we ascended to god slayer at this point? We've killed a god king. But he was mostly channeling the power of icons, right? Or was it a god emperor? What was Thordan? I don't remember. We killed Thordan is my point. I guess we also literally killed like an aspect of death. If you view Hades that way. I mean, you defeated a powerful Asian, yes. God King Thordan. The icons kind of are the gods of tribal people, so right? Basically God Slayer. Fair enough. You make a good argument. You make a good argument. You've literally killed several entities that native tribes consider gods. Fair, fair arguments, guys. Fair arguments. There's a little difference in the lore so far between Icon, Primal, and God. Oh, one thing I wanted to, to bring up is... Do you guys remember when... Um, oh, I think it was during Belsar's, Belsar's Wall. Where they brought up... Ralgar, and I mistook R Ralgar for a primal. Um, and then you guys were like, oh, actually, Terra, Ralgar is one of the 12, is technically a god. There's a line in, I believe, the Praetorium from Gaius. One time I was bored and was actually listening to what he was saying. And he basically called all the gods primals. He was like, he was like, I forget his exact wording, but he says something to the extent of, like, all your pitiful gods are the same. Icon, Primal, Kami, Tribes, Gods. Exactly. He called the 12 gods. Yeah, and he I remember he, he calls them something like no different than the Primals. Sir, what a pleasure it is to see you again. And in the company of Little Reek, no less. Am I right in assuming you've patched things up? I still think one of the biggest, like, mindfuck moments was finding out that Hydaelyn is essentially a glorified Primal. Luisa tried to summon them, failed, and then punched a hole through bah Bahamut. <laughs> Gods equals Hydaelyn, Zodiac, and the Twelve. Like things that are not primal gods. But according to, uh, he, I don't know what to even call him anymore, Hades, I reckon. Um, according to him, Zodiac and Hydaelyn are glorified primals. Well, to Garleans, we're just as savage as those we call tribes, and so our gods are just as worthy as theirs. Fair enough. Like human gods. Right, just a different word for the same thing, essentially. Um, I should like to think so, yes? And it's all thanks to you. Had you not implored him to give me another chance, I might as well still be sitting alone in the swamps, dwelling on my myriad failings. And you, my friend. I know not why you sought her out on your own, but I am glad that you did. Miss Olvera is perhaps the only person who truly cares for my well-being, but she has no one to look after her. 
Don't be silly, Reek. I have you, don't I? And before you start blabbering about how you wish you could properly reward, sir, as I can tell you're about to, know that I've prepared a hearty meal just for him. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Nevertheless, I shall see you both duly compensated once we have claimed the bounty f for Andrea. Becca! Becca, hello. How's your day? He compares the Twelve as being no different as the tribe's primals. Everything is equally savage. Right. Right, right, right. That's it. That's the one. This is actually one of those soft retcons. The devs have changed the story over time, specifically in regards to the gods, Bullor. I'm in my Udi and watching you, so I am at peace. God, I need an Udi. They, they look so heckin' comfy and warm, and it's been fucking cold. It dropped like to minus, what is it right now? It dropped to like minus 40 Celsius the other day, which I believe if you're in freedom temperatures, I think minus 40 is where our temperatures overlap and become like very similar. Oh. I can't say more. You're technically, yeah, I'm technically not done with Shadowbringers. You're right, you're right, you're right. Guys, thank you for being so careful and tiptoeing around spoilers. The 12 didn't temper the people though. Didn't they? Didn't they, though? I'm still racking my brain over the fact that potentially we're tempered by Hydaelyn. And I'm still thinking about what Zeno said in the fact that with the Echo, he was able to bend... Well, it wasn't the real Echo, but it was like that manufactured Echo. He was able to bend Shinryu to his will. And that's fucking weird. I think there's obviously more to learn about that, but it's fucking weird. And claim it we shall, for united, Reek and Sir are unstoppable, is what I would like to say. But I know my own limitations better than anyone. It would be prudent to make proper preparations at this juncture. Proper preparation prevents piss-poor performance. You too should see to it that you are ready for the struggle ahead. It will be a mighty one indeed, but one well worth the effort, my friend. Also, Granny made us risotto. What a sweet bean. The little bussy is also surprised about Xenos's borrowed echo. Yeah. There's that moment where he's like, huh, oh, interesting. It's been high teens, low 20s Fahrenheit here the last week. Looking at five to 10 inches of snow this weekend. Oh my God, Nitro, I feel bad for you. I do hope you continue to remain good friends from now on. Me too. Courage born of fear, let's go, level 80. Sir, my friend, my partner, I trust you're ready. Good, good. That is very good indeed. For we, for before we depart to face Andrea, for what I pray is the final time I have a confession to make. I love you. I really love you. I, I may have been somewhat misleading when I intimidated the tremendousness of my martial prowess. Uh, in truth, it rather pales in comparison to yours. Uh-huh. Do tell. Do tell. Sir, I still can't deal with it. Sir, my friend, I love it. I was gonna change my name after jumping servers, but I, I think I would miss being called Sir all the time. The Resonant, thank you, Rando. Thank you for giving a name to it. You must be terribly crestfallen, I'm sure. It is my deepest regret that I allowed you to labor under the misapprehension that we were equals for so long. In my defense, I must say that when I realized what an exceedingly powerful warrior you truly are, I was dumbstruck. I struggled to conceive of how even to broach the subject. Furthermore, I must admit that great majority, nay, all of our efforts to hone our skills in preparation for the battle to come have been entirely for my benefit, that the disparity between us might not be so readily apparent. To think that my insecurity drove me to postpone this fateful, this fateful day for so long. In my cowardice, I allowed Andrea to assemble a party of followers, where before we might have only to contend with one foe, we must now confront five. And for all my preparation, I am still no more likely to be an asset to you than a hindrance. But perhaps that need not be the case. In discussing this grim reality with Miss Olvera while you were away, we hit upon potential stratagem. Recall you render Ray's greatest strength and weakness, her preternatural hearing. We can be reasonably certain that Andrea is possessed of it as well. Therefore, if you were to fashion a device that could produce a loud noise at will, you could use it to secure an advantage in your battle. What I lack in strength of arms, I make up for with guile. While it would not guarantee us victory, it will surely bring us one step closer. A thousand pardons, Master Reek. I am come to deliver a message from your Lord Father. 
Sir Terusi Bellum. Let's pray. Why are you like this? Eorzeans pray to the Twelve, but it's like tossing a coin into a fountain. Thoughts and prayers aren't enough for divine intervention. Longfall, I love that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's so accurate. Daddy? What does he want with me now? It has come to your Lord Father's attention that you have acquitted yourself rather poorly as a bounty hunter and have brought terrible shame upon your family name. He commands you to cease all such activities at once and return to the city forthwith. Guile from Street Fighter. Dun, 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 dun. Should you fail to do so, you will be stripped of your citizenship and family name. No further financial assistance will be provided. Oh, oh dear. You may tell my father and my mother the following. That I am Lou Reek, proud bunty, bunty hunter, <laughs> proud bounty hunter, slayer of sin eaters, that I have no intention of renouncing this cause, and that they are free to do as they deem fit. Tell them that if they have no son, then I have no parents, and that I have no family save Miss Olvera, who has shown me more love than they ever have. Very good, Master Reek. I shall deliver your reply to them at once. Very good. Very good, sir. Booty Hunter? More accurately, I would say. All you need is some crystals and prayers will be quickly, answer quickly answered. Ah, uh, and according to, um, 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 who is sloppy? Ilbert, immense death. Immense death is also a good solution. Right, now that that's settled, we can get to work crafting that giant noisemaker of ours. Let us consult with the craftsman of the crystalline mean at once. Bunty hunter? Like bun like bun booty? I dare say you lit a fire in him, sir. I've never thought I'd see the day when he'd muster the courage to say anything like that to his parents. I actually really like this this chess piece, dude. It looks great. I might even just like keep my monk like this. And it's surprisingly fitting with the hat? Like it looks great. Plus our little dirty face. Straight out of Bloodborne. Straight out of Bloodborne. Oh shit, I can recall to the Chris mm -hmm. Gotta love how is having a very serious moment. Uh, uh, us and the gamer chatter discussing what we would and would not eat. Are you guys still on the minion discussion? Uh, shoot, where do I go? Loith? I need to go to the Amaro Lodge. Earlier Roman Run Primals weren't summoned with living sacrifices. Lots of crystals, not much bloodshed. That's true. That is true. By the way, fun fact, if I remember correctly, Yoshi P said that Vieras are Envy. They're non-binary. Wait, I love that. Your character's so cute, I can't. Thank you, Becca. Uh, 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 it's below. Uh, it's below me? I can't jump down. Help? Oh, I think. Oh, they literally said in the crystalline mean. If only I listened. Imagine. Oop. Dude, I. Part of why. Part of why a realm reborn was so dry is because a realm reborn. Up until like post patches could be summarized, actually even through part of the post patches, could be summarized as crystals. That's it. Crystals. That that that's that's all of Aroma Born. Boom, you have everything you need to know. Even the fucking crystal tower. Hmm? What's all this then? You got something what needs making? Indeed I do, good sir. I wish to commission the production of a device that can generate a tremendously loud sound. It must be small and light enough to be carried by a single individual as well. That's literally is the that's literally what I was picturing. That the crazy alien history guy with the crazy hair. Crystals. That's exactly what I was picturing. Beginning chapters of any lore heavy series is probably going to be a bit slow, just because there's so much to go around. And as I was talking, Mer, I don't know when you snuck in here. Hi, love you. Um, as I was talking about before, never have I seen a game reward its player so much for being heavily invested in the game. This game does such a good job of making you feel rewarded for really taking in everything. It's so good. Ain't that one of the stranger requests I've heard? 
Well, if it's just noise you want, then I'd wager we could make uh, make do with special blend of fireside. <gasps> Kuiper just logged in. Hang on, I have to say hi to Kuiper. I think we've got the recipe for your needs. I'll need some choice ingredients, mind? And you'll need to go and fetch them for me. F fetch? Uh, wh what precisely is it you need? Well, this is one particularly beast... Uh, beastie native to Calusia, what's got a singular diet and leaves these massive dung piles. The fresher the better, if it please. A few varieties of grasses native to Ractica. Oh, and some iron ore from Amarang. I can give you a list if you like. To wit, I will need to travel to the far corners of Norvrent and back. Oh dear, this is rather more involved than I... No, no. No more excuses. I will do whatever must needs be done to see this through to the end. My friend, I will not impose these tasks upon you. I insist that you remain here while I go and fetch the required materials. Let's go, Lurik! Okay. Okay, King. Good shit. In lore, male and female Viera only meet up to reproduce, and then the men take men take boys away until around 10-ish. Viera don't even produce secondary sexual characteristics. They're otherwise indistinguishable. Huh, that's so cool. I think someone did the crazy hair guy meme saying Assians. That's so fitting. That's so fitting. <laughs> Otherwise, men are amongst men and women are amongst women. So romance is likely... Uh, romance likely is strongly same-gender focused. Oh, that's so cute. If it weren't because of a realm born, we wouldn't understand almost nothing about the rest of the game. So true. As I say all the time, it's dry as fuck, but it is important. It is very important. Uh, to the pendants. I love how Shadowbringers is pretty much just the 14 team flexing their evolved storytelling muscles to introduce a whole new world. It's like a Rum Reborn 2. Yeah, but way better. But way better. Pendants. How goes roll quests? They're going good. We're about to finish off the physical roll quests. Oh, I also want to say hi to Kuiper. Hoi, Kuiper! Dun, dun. He's growing up. We're so proud of Lurik. He's come a long way from throwing his money at all his problems. <laughs> Mare, that's so right. Pay attention! This will be all the tests later. All of it. <laughs> Just realized about the uh, the free the free company title space. It was a series of surprisingly harrowing experiences, but in the end, I managed to obtain the materials necessary for the construction of my secret weapon. That gentleman was rather accommodating, despite being somewhat put out that I had not any guilt to pay him for his labor. He was nevertheless willing to teach me how to craft. We're so cute. Big Brother's telling us a story. Look at, look how fucking cute. Uh, teach me how to craft the arrows myself. He said he found my industriousness endearing. Hang on. I have to counter shout. Kuiper just shouted me out in their stream. I have to counter shout them out so they see it. <laughs> For streamers, it pops up in your activity feed when somebody shouts you out. So uh, press the heart, you guys. Press the heart. Kuiper is fantastic. I love them. They're also playing Final Fantasy. I don't know if they're playing it today, but they're an Endwalker. So I mean, emotional vampires, there you go. <sighs> I must confess, despite being utterly exhausted by all this busy work, it has been somewhat refreshing. And now that my noisemaker arrows are ready, I cannot wait to put them to the proof. If all goes to plan, the explosion should be loud enough to incapacitate Andrea for a time. Let's put an end to her tale, my friend, and in so doing, write the opening of ours, that of Reek and Sir, bounty hunters extraordinaire. Come, Raktika, and glory await. Did he say gentleman slash Hildy? I don't have slash Hildy, if that's even a thing. I have slash M dance, that's it. To Rectica! Um, okay, I'm a little stressed. Level 80 monk. Level 80 monk. Hmm. Have I played level 80 monk at all? What the hell is this? Oh no, I know what that is. What the hell is this? Oh, I know what that is. What the hell is this? A knot man? Extends the duration of disciplined fist? Eh. 
Ant-Man. I don't know what that is. I'm sure I don't need it. It's fine. It's fine. No. Years of research, but no real world, no real world use found for a nat man. <laughs> it's basically stand and pose. The slash Hildy is when you flex, but it hold, but it holds and has a tooth flash. That's what I've seen you guys doing. I love the little. Ding. Genshin lost best mobile game to whomst? Who beat it out, Jolly? It's a pause for all your buffs while there's a downtime on a boss or whatever. Really? Hang on, I want to quickly test this. Let's put on Discipline Fist. A Nat Man! It fully refreshed Discipline Fist. It was at one second. It was at one second, and it went back up to 15 seconds. Ah! Is that still like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that... I... You moved. You need to send... What in the useless garbage? Kuiper says hi and good luck with the roll quest. Tell Kuiper I love her. I mean, she knows already, but just tell her. <laughs> what? Okay, listen. When Usually when the boss is untargetable, you're avoiding AoEs and other mechanics. I am- I cannot stand still. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Technically has one use, the boss jumps. Bruh. Bruh. All right, all right. I mean, it technically does have a use, but what the fuck? There was a rotation in Shadowbringers Raider, a uh, rating that used Ant-Man in the opener to build Chakra, but it was later made less useless, less useful. Weird, weird. It lost a Marvel snap. No more free mo gems. If I make one small request before we begin, please. For the love of gods, please try not to succumb to any visions of people's pasts. This really could not be a worse time. Item level 420? I think I'm like item level 418 or something. That's my adventure plate. Oh, I'm 453. Okay, we're good. Good for downtime for bosses that leave and don't do AoEs and just big attack. True. But the sitting still thing. I, I like always pace back and forth while I'm waiting. Well, are you still with me in there? In the here and now? Yes. Adventera play? <laughs> Kyo. Excellent. Then we can attend to the task at hand without worry. Let us lay to rest our fellow hunters and grant Renda Ray the peace a hero deserves. In the here and now? I don't know how to focus. Focus the healer! Huh? Huh? Are they defending her? Damn it, we'll have to deal with them first. Yeah, that much is obvious. Oh, I didn't use this or this. How embarrassing. Woo! I'm dying over here!
Guys, Monk is hard. <laughs> Monk has a lot of buttons. Oh! Right into the fire. Oof. It's not going well for me. Hi, Mac! Hello, might I have one crumb of healing, Lurik? Would be much obliged. That's gonna hit me. Oof! Two bone stacks. I'm collecting them. I heard you gotta catch them all. All the bone stacks. That's it. Only two more to go. Monk and Ninja are quite busy jobs. If you keep clicking all the time, it's great. I saw somebody call uh, Monk the ADHD job because you have so many buttons to press. How did he step out of the arena? Lurik? Excuse me? Sir? Get your bum back in here. Now's our, now's our chance? Doesn't feel like it's our chance. Monk is a busy job. You made it for eight years. Holy heck. How would you feel? Or how would you feel? How would you say it feels now? Because I know it got changes in Endwalker, right? So coming from what you're used to over eight years. Woo! Holy Jesus. Come on, finish your thing. There you go. Monk now feels super smooth and easy to pick up. It was a necessary change. It's very busy and I drop my rotation a lot, but it's not bad. Terra, I need heal please. Also Terra doesn't use his healing ability. Listen here you, listen here you. Holy Jesus. She's just casually limit breaking? Why does nobody respect the rules of limit break? Where were the eels? <laughs> Me, literally. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Lurik. You're eating that AoE by- Oh, holy Jesus. I probably shouldn't make him eat AoEs alone. Did somebody show Terra where were the eels? Yes. Kyo showed me where were the eels. And then I said that man is never allowed to be brought up in my channel ever again. Because what a garbage human. Ass back here. Ah! 
Hey. I was midway to typing bloodbath too. <laughs> Bunch of backseaters, you guys. <laughs> I'm kidding. We we won. Even seeing it and saying it, it hardly feels real. I don't know if there was any extra dialogue. I was playing Monk, okay? When I play Monk, my eyes are this. Bad, my fucking action bar. Can't focus on anything. Then again, that was my first time, I think, really using level 80 Monk. I usually play level 50, because roulettes. Huh? What's that you got there? Collecting the infinity stones, I am. Wicked White, you're... You're Render Ray, the real Render Ray. I should have never betrayed your trust. Never again. I swore, never again. Balam quits, the Shadow Keeper, the Flood. Come what may, we would face it together, no matter how hard it got, or how terrified I was. That's what it means to let someone into your heart, knowing full well that nothing lasts forever, to welcome the fear and the pain, the sorrow. When I lost my parents, when we laid the Keeper low, you felt it too, didn't you? To place our faith in a desperate, hopeless attempt to save everyone, and to see it amount to naught in the end. What else could we do but offer up that tiny remainder in a final, futile effort, even knowing, deep down, it was worth but a few moments more? What is this? You gave me fear, and that fear gave me strength. Wait, there's so much I want to ask. The real question is... The real question is, was she just sort of spouting out her last feelings to Ardbert there? Or was she talking to us? Given what we know now of Ardbert and our nature. I never remember the name. I just know it's a downward bleeding hand. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Anyhow, whomst wishes to join the Zervan hunt? Three spaces open. Come to the Crystarium and join our culinary minion discussion. Uh, these were their last thoughts as they gave their lives to Minfilia. They're gone, that's a memory. Ensconced in their crystals. Ah, oh, Muller. It's like after death monologue. Oh, that's so sweet. I don't understand. What was she talking about? It's not right. It's not fair. Heroes sacrificing themselves for nothing, becoming villains and being forgotten. Thank you, sir. I could never have gotten this far without your help. Not nothing. Everything. Everyone. I had no idea who Rendere or any of the other warriors of light truly were. It was all ancient history to me. Why would I care who some Sin Eaters once were? I was no better than my parents, judging them out of hand, dismissing their sacrifice, not bothering to look deeper. I made it all the easier to pursue Andrea for my own amusement. I pray I've made up for it in part by helping to lay Rendere's soul to rest. Miss Olvera is probably worried sick about us both. I... We should return to Calusia and let her know we're alright. This one didn't hit me like the last two. Because this one felt more... What's the word I'm looking for? This one felt good. This one felt more good. It didn't hurt. Lucky. Do, 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 do. You'll like the last one. I dislike Sanson, but Brendan's story is good. 
People said the tank one was really good. Yeah, it's good. Still deep though. Yeah, it's still good. Still very good. But it didn't. It didn't cut me. It didn't emotionally hurt me. Cause I just kind of feel good. I feel good about it. Tank was good. I'm excited. Should we do Zuren? Zer, Zervan? Should we do Zervan first? Whew. And then I think we have time to finish the tank one. We also have to make time for the Stormblood Alliance raids at some point. Those are the the Evilese ones, right? Not today. Not today, mind, but... My little Reek, sir, congratulations on a job well done. From one hunter to another, thank you for helping Renderay to achieve a measure of peace. She was a hero to me too, and it broke my heart to know that what had become of her. To have our, your legacy tarnished so, to have the world call you a villain, even still. But at least I can take comfort in knowing she can finally enjoy a long rest. Whatever others may say, we will preserve the truth in story and song. Rendere, the bravest hunter there ever was, and more importantly, a true friend to those she held dear. I can only hope to measure up to her example someday. For now, however, I say we return to the Crystarium and raise a glass in celebration. We probably should do Zerban, just so it'll stop us from discussing minion dishes, otherwise we'll probably never stop. It's very engrossing. <laughs> I still like my argument about the cherry bomb. I think it would be sweet and spicy. Ooh. Is my gunbreaker geared up enough? 409. Um. Maybe I could replace his weapon. Because 420 is the last. Um. Is the last thingy. Maybe I can't replace this weapon. Oh! Oh, this is an upgrade. 57k! Oh my god. Oh my god. I can afford it. It's fine. It's fine. 426. There we go. Do I have poetics? No, I spent them all on my monk. I have 30. <laughs> I have 30 poetics. I need to do more roulettes. Oh, shoot, I'm on the wrong class. Does Gia put- <gasps> Gia keeps their helmet off. Lally ho, my friend. Here to join me for a drink or three. Ha, <laughs> thought not. But I'm happy enough to drink in your company either way. Watch how fast I get down this ale without my helm on. It was just holding her back. It was just holding her back, dude. She's so powerful now. Oh shoot, uh, my gear got screwed up. Oh, I didn't update my, right, I didn't update my, all right. Andrea's bounty has been paid to us in full, my friend. So come, let us eat, drink, and be merry. Among Us hide and seek game mode, never. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask, sir, but I have the impression you're rather more acquainted with these warriors of light than you've been letting on. What exactly do you know about them? Uh, literally every- well, not literally everything. Literally most things. And- and then- and then when they came to my world, Ardbert had to kill all his friends so they could be free of their flesh prisons. And then they came over and they tried to make another calamity in our world. That's pretty much the gist of it. <gasps> That's when he's learning that Arbert killed his friends. Did you see his reaction? He was shook. That... That is so preposterous a tale that I have no choice but to assume it's true. Offering up their lives to first cross the rift, then to halt the flood. 
Wicked White. It must have taken her so much courage to see it through those final moments. A courage born not of a desire for glory or dedication to any ideal, but of fear and love for those whom she had forged unshakable bonds, her comrades. I won't pretend that we have anything even approaching such a powerful connection, but I would like to think that if you, in, you were in mortal peril, that I would fly to your side without hesitation. Having said that, if I were tested as Renda Ray were, if I were challenged to offer up my life for others, without even knowing if it would amount to aught, I doubt I could rise to the occasion. I'm a child and a fool who knows little of the world. I've been coddled and spoiled, and have only just tasted the bitter fruits of life that you and your countless others sup on daily. You are made of sterner stuff, sir, far sterner than me, and that is why I know I can never walk your path. Do you wish you could? How could I not? I cannot recall a time I have felt happier and more alive than when I have traveled with you. But you have countless other journeys ahead of you, don't you? For you are destined for greater challenges, whereas I am suited to rather more pedestrian affairs. Know your limits, as Miss Olvera used to say. Meeting her again after all these years, seeing how much older and more frail she'd become, made me realize how little time we have left. She shouldn't have to live out her days living alone in squalor. I've decided it will not be so. I shall return to Calusia and attend to her needs, for I would do my utmost to repay the love and kindness that made me the man I am today. Ah, wait, that's such a cute end for him. Therefore, though it pains me to say it, I fear the celebration must also mark the end, or at the very least, a tentative suspension on the glorious partnership that was Reekin, sir. Bounty hunters extraordinaire. Should you ever find yourself in Calusia, however, do come and pay us a visit. Tara's version of explaining they aren't bad people. So they tried to end my world and I kicked their butts. That just seemed really happy about using poisoned arrows on my friend. Yeah, honestly, they did some fucked up shit. They did some really not okay things. Can we just acknowledge that for a minute? As much as we love them, they uh, that was, that was poisoned arrows. It's a bit, it's a bit concerning. Actually, I still remember her bloodlust and trying to kill Alize. Yeah, not so good. They did some uh, deplorable things. Regular Alize? Oh, yeah, yeah. At least then they still have to, like, face down their opponent. I'm coming, my friends! I'm coming! What? What is this blue quest here? Lore fail? Hang on, I can't, I can't get distracted. Hello! I'm here! Are we gonna do a Zervan? Oh, I forgot I changed my seat pose. Are we gonna do a Zervan, you guys? I won't be right back. Where do I go? Where do I get the Zervan? If you're up for it, I very much am. Rocky Pasta is the first thing in party chat that I see. Sorry to out you, Ray. Logging in now, okay. Do, do, do. How many slots do we have again? Two? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, we have two slots. To any and all who want, we're gonna do Zervan. Mm. This quest will teach me exactly what pixies are. We should do the pixie quests. Tomorrow? No. What time is it? Okay, 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 okay. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Tomorrow. I wasn't sure if I was going to stream 14 yet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're going to stream 14 tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to do the last roll quests and then whatever the extra one that pops up is. And then slowly start working on pixie stuff. It takes almost a month, Tara. Yeah. So we'll slowly start working on pixie stuff. And what else can we do in the meantime? There's one other thing I wanted to do. Maybe we dip our toes into the Alliance raids for Stormblood. <gasps> Gonna sleep. See you now, Dia. Thanks for hanging out with us. I hope you have a comfy sleep. It unlocks a weekly tribe. Okay. So we'll dip our toes in. Your one hour nap turned into a four hour nap. How you feeling? How you feeling, bestie? Feeling refreshed? Ding, 
Containment Bay Z1T9. Coils of Bahamut. No, that's never happened. You don't feel real. Oh, damn, it was one of those naps, hey? Sounds pretty legendary. Z1T9 is Zervan? Wait. Can I... How do I do this? Sit, pit, and zit. <laughs> Z1, oh my god, it is zit. Ew. Speaking of alliance raid bosses, Mattias. You guys are still talking food. <laughs> Ray, I won't out you for that last comment you just said in party chat. Love ya. Um, where do I go for those again? That's in Heaven's Word. So, Idleshire? For Zervan? Hi, Princess. Welcome in. Waking, really? Waking Sands? Pray return to the Waking Sands. Do I have a Vesper Ray? I must have a Vesper Ray ticket. I do. Oh, the Mask Kid. Dude, I forgot about that kid. The Rising Stones? Oh my god. Oh my god! I got baited. Baited. Pray return to the Rising Stones. Dun, 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 dun. Guys, I think I found Echoing Peach's sibling. It's the Screaming Peach. <laughs> I have to send this to Echo. <laughs> I have to send that to Echo. <laughs> Screaming Peach is such a good name. <laughs> Powerful. I said it immediately after you looked away. I'm sorry, Rando, it is your fault. <gasps> Tataru! When should we do 5.1? Next week? Or maybe a little bit tomorrow? <laughs> Look at the way she's looking at me. She's like, hey, yo. Hey, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna get in on this? You gonna get in on this MSQ? <laughs> no, not right now. I'm too stressed. <laughs> oh, that sideways glare. <laughs> it feels judgmental. It feels judgmental. <laughs> Hello. Um, the last pillar to fall? Or the day, the deific simulacrum? No, that's Sophia. Um, the last pillar to fall. Greetings, Warrior of Light! But one pillar of the Warring Triad remains, Zervan, the icon known as the Demon. Oh, that was Sophia Extreme. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Coming from Tataru, you know it's judgmental. A hundred percent. 5.1 is lighthearted. It's meant as a- I don't trust you! I don't trust you, Buller! If you were one of the people that said, no, no, Terra, save the Shadowbringers role quests until after you've done 5.0, I'll have you know they're way more painful now because of 5.0. You're being on... Hmm. Okay. Okay, I trust you. Just this once. Just this once do I trust you, but know this. If I am sad throughout 5.1, I will be... Very disappointed in you, that's about all. <laughs> According to the histories I have uncovered, this monstrous being was worshipped by a race of Mericidian beastmen. These creatures are the key to maintaining Zervan's manifestation, and we can be sure that many such thralls will be imprisoned somewhere within the research facility. It is imperative that we determine their exact location as swiftly as possible. We dare not risk repeating the near disaster we suffered at the hands of Sophia's servants. 
As such, your fellow Scions have already begun the exhaustive search, but there are several sectors which only you, Kryl, and I can enter without fear of being of enthrallment. Let us make our way to Aziz Law forthwith and aid in the investigations. <laughs> Apparently a sassy Terra is a foot into the world of Renaissance Festival Enjoyer! I've never been to a Ren Fair. I want so badly to go. I had a friend go this year and they were just like gushing nonstop about it. They're lighthearted asterisk for Shadowbringers asterisk. Okay, important asterisk to include. Are you sure about that, Derek? No. My emotional vampirism requires that I milk you of all your anguish, but I need you to be primed for it. To make that flavor its most exquisite, most delicious, richest as it can be. <laughs> I will not temper your expectation, okay? On now for the invite. Okay, shoot, shoot random and invite. I might as well unlock this one. I don't care about the EX story. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm pressing the escape key. Escape key warrior. I didn't press the escape key. There we go. Okay. The last pillar to fall. Mac USPS is scamming me on my cards. Get fricked, pray. I'm sorry that's happening to you. Oh, the tarot cards! Wait a second, Prey. I thought you were super close to getting those. What happened? What happened, Prey? One spot left. Any gamers? Any gamers alive? Boom, 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 boom. Gulsif, are you fishing? Wishing I was fishing. Ah. Uh, huh? Oh, I stopped at the wrong spot. My bad, my bad. Should I hop over? Y'all in the wrong DC for me? Yeah, absolutely. Baduin, Dynamis. <laughs> this party chat is taking me out, you guys. Oh, Hedgehog. Edible or too pointy? I cooked it would be fine. Yeah, it's edible. It's all about what's on the inside. True, true. <laughs> you guys are something else, and I love it. <laughs> Everything is edible. If you're... <laughs> Tara outing us live? You had to know I was going to. <laughs> you had to know I was going to. <laughs> Sir, it's good we caught you. The facility has been swarmed by Imperial troops. Ah, pff. man. I hate seeing old school Uriange. 2.0 Uriange isn't real. He can't hurt you. By the standards, did we judge them soldiers of the Vith? I, oh no, Vith? <laughs> soldiers of the... Of the sixth. Listen, I was thinking about the Voth recently. The 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 beast tribe. Don't <laughs> Don't come for me. Don't come for me. <laughs> Soldiers of the sixth. I <laughs> once more doth regular Oh regular Van Hydris! Hang on. Have you guys heard regular Van Hydris' theme? Oh, it's a bob. Give me one second. It's so good. Ah, uh, by the standards do we judge them, soldiers of the sixth. Aye, once more doth regular Van Hydris stretch forth his hand to seize the forbidden fruits of Alec. And once we have our meticulous wards been swept aside like so many cobwebs. 2.0 Uriange is trying his best not to hurt you. He's too hot. He's literally. Hiding his power level, right? 
Genuinely. Uh, pray, read your tarot cards. What happened was, when you first brought up the news that they were getting shipped, was in fact just a label being created. And they hadn't even re- Bro, they shouldn't be allowed to update you when labels are created. It's such a scam. Your meddlesome wards were destroyed from within the pulsating energies of an icon. Regular did nothing wrong. Hang on, we'll continue listening to his theme in a second. Nay, put up your weapons and listen. The followers of Zuravan have awakened, and they toil to rouse their master. The demon's worshippers yet slumbered when we confronted Sophia. Could the tampering of, their, of her thralls have been more widespread than we thought? They shared co a common enemy. Tis not unthinkable that they should would seek to free all of those that the Alligans had imprisoned. Yes, yes, the cage doors are open. And whilst you stand here quibbling over who picked the locks, my soldiers are inside the facility risking their lives and their sanity. They have volunteered to face death to prevent Zervan's servants from waking him in the fullness of his power. Now, assuming you have at last understood the gravity of the situation, it is time that I rejoin them. But you cannot hope to succeed. The Icon will enslave the minds of any who draw near. Thus did I seek out those with the power to resist his influence, aid us, and mayhap my men will not perish in vain. You propose an alliance. I have delved into the depths of this place and found its technology wanting. These mechanisms have failed to hold their prisoners, and such broken artifacts are unfit to bring before the Emperor. Twice have you bested me in combat. Will you now lend me that strength and stand against our mutual foe? Twas in opposing your reckless schemes that Yazale was lost to us. You expect us to simply forgive and forget all that has come before. I expect you to put aside your emotions and use your better judgment, but of course, I am dealing with savages. I will not stand here and justify the death of the Ice Maiden. We pursued your, our ideals, and you pursued yours. Such was the result. Mayhap you might consider another point. In these endless clashes, we have all lost comrades dear to us. Yet I choose to put aside past grievances to beg your champion's aid, to appeal to your reason. Thou art willing to build a bridge of common purpose upon such tremulous foundations. Yes, literally. I, too, am hesitant to accept this arrangement, Arkhan Ishtola, uh, but the offer has been made by the Warrior of Light, and tis his involvement which shall ultimately sway its outcome. I shall buy, abide by Sir's decision. <clears throat> Sir Van must be stopped, and I like Regula. They seek to arouse the demon. That's a euphemism, right? Anakin smile. That's a euphemism, right? <laughs> Then, for better or worse, we shall fight at your side. They've been holding these primals for thousands of years? What more do you- Right? Honestly, regular? Judgmental? Mistress Krile and I are also resistant to the primal's influence. We shall aid you where we can. Then let us be on our way. I want to keep playing regular's theme because it didn't even get to the, the good part. Did we invite, uh, oh, hang on, I'm gonna type the player's name. This is Mare Bear Meadowy Bit Air. If someone could send an invite. Oh, did I spell it right? Yeah, I did. There's the name in chat. If someone wants to throw them into the party. I really like this theme. Also a fan of normal Oreos. <gasps> Here it comes. This is why I like this theme so much. It's so good. We 
Wait for it. Wait for it. Spoiler, it's the piano. Normal, regular, regular, Oreos, Hydrox, Hydros. Holy, that's a reach. <laughs> we should not lag behind. Aye, aye. See, I just call him a water boy. <laughs> oh, shit. The demon stirs. Like a suckling babe, he feedeth upon the ether siphoned unto him by his thralls. We must needs deprive him of his sustenance. Then we destroy those devices. Hold! Witness your soldiers! Oh my god, they fucking dead. They fucking killed each other. They have turned against one another. Even half awake, Zervan corrupts and converts those who enter his aura. The three of us then, sir, we rush in together and each disable a generator. We cannot give them the chance to rally a defense. Temperials. There are four mechanisms by my count. If I can avoid the icon's miasma, my blade will make short work of the last one. We, all of us, have pledged our lives to keep your lives. I would rather you tend to my fallen. Some may yet survive with their minds intact. Unu Kali. Ono Kali. Got it. Nailed it. I know not if my strength will be enough. I am no champion. The battlefield is no place for uncertainty, boy. Fate has blessed you with unique talent and an occasion to use it. Do not waste such a gift. Oh, unu call high. We strike! I love his gunblade. He's not content to just be a gunbreaker. He has to be a dark gunbreaker. I guess I should just have that theme going again with the piano part that I like so much. Since I turned off the BGM. Final Fantasy, let me turn back on BGM in a cutscene, please. I ask so little of you. Gods, Servan is... Whoop! He's dead! Regular did nothing wrong. Say it with me. Oh, right, the macro, Valura. I can bind it to my mouse as well. Although I like that it's playing his theme right now. I choose my own BGM. I like him! Hey! Hey! You leave that boy alone. I enjoy him. He slumbers once more. You saved me. Why? Mm. Monkey. Oh my fucking god, he fucking dead. He saved Unukukukli. Hang on. I need, like, sad music. What's what's sad music? I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, we need we need death music. What's the song they always play when somebody fucking dies? Oh wait, uh uh um uh, uh. Fuck I 
can't remember the name of it. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Damn it, I don't know it. I don't know the name of it. Maybe it's this? It's not this. Fuck! There's a Heavensward theme! And Love You Shall Find is a good sad one? Okay. I was trying to find the specific one um, during the final steps of faith. That's the one I was looking for. Why is this so long? Why is this... Hello? It's Dragon Song! I told you, boy. Yours is a gift too precious to waste. A gift the Emperor may one day have need of in his war upon these untamable icons. Emperor Varus, he... He raised me up from the ranks, stood against my detractors. I gladly give my life in his service. <laughs> you must, you must finish this. Slay these leeches upon our star. Kill them all. <laughs> Kill Zervan. The donk. <laughs> Dude, I liked Regula. We must needs withdraw and prepare our assault. At the cost of his very life, the Legatus hath prized open for us a window of opportunity. Wait, it's so sad! This theme is so sad, dude. I told you, boy. Kratos, is that you? Tomorrow and Tomorrow also a very good sad song. But I just like Tomorrow and Tomorrow too much for it to be, like, distinctly sad now. I love Dragon Song. I couldn't remember the name of it. Bless your heart for reminding me. No! Talk to the Sixth Legion dudes over- I'm the worst gamer. I'm missing dialogue. He's dead. Had I only been stronger. No! New game plus. New game plus, I guess. Enough of that. There'll be time for regrets after we've rid the world of Zervan. Kryl has the right of it. The demon has fallen back into torpor for now, but we must ask swiftly if Regula's death is to have meaning. Ah, yes, the Vith Legion. <laughs> I think you mean the Vith Legion. You guys are the worst. <laughs> The survivors speak of an army of thralls loose in the facility. We must assume that these followers continue their efforts to awaken the icon. Let us then continue to div uh, upon diverting them from their task. Mistress Kryl and Master Unu. Oh no, Kyle, hi. Prithee, secure the controls to Zervan's shackles and limit the restoration of his might. Arkani Stola and I shall forge ahead and strike down those thralls as would seek to harry you. Warrior of Light, thine is, as ever, the most perilous duty. Gather to thee thy trusted companions, and extinguish from this realm the fires of the demon himself. Okay, I'm finally ready, you guys. I've always pronounced it a nuke Kali. That's easier. I won't remember it, though. I'm ready! Oh, wait. Eh, eh. Where's the exit? I want to see my friend. I don't know if you guys are here. Uncle Larry? <laughs> Uncle Larry it is. Uncle Larry! Do we ever see his face? Don't answer that question. Oh, we'll find out eventually. <gasps> wait a minute. He's Xenos in a trench coat. Huh? 
Wait, the Vith Legion is still here! We will bear the Legatus' remains back to Garlemald. His favorite blade was shattered, but may your own weapon claim vengeance in its stead. When I volunteered for this mission, it was in the knowledge that my death would serve the greater purpose. We fell too quickly. Bum, 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 bum. Any weird name like that, you just pronounce it like it's Japanese? Unu, unu kalhai, unu kalhai. Oh, hey, wait, that was way easier. Unu kalhai. Easy. Bayonetta Origins announced. Excuse me? Didn't we just get Bayonetta 3? Two souls intertwined. <laughs> I just read party chat. <laughs> sorry, sorry to interrupt you guys. Banger incoming, BGM 100. There's been enough sacrifice for one day. Aye. We must take the chance we've been given and defeat Zervan now. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Do 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 do. I don't have ver rays, so nobody die, please. <gasps> Look at this, Lala. Look at this little cute Lala. All right, let's do it. Oh, I started my cast way too late. That's okay. Whoa! Um. Part of the um. <laughs> part of the arena is gone. Is this okay? Ah, is this allowed? What's gonna happen? This arena. It got a lot smaller. Real quick. Ew! Ew, I don't like his Good crotch. Evil, the war I don't like his crotch face. His crotch face is gross. <laughs> My doubt is fled. Hello, Violin. We hear you. Whew. It's Crotch with evil or no! <laughs> you cannot! Whoa, Rando got clipped by that. That looked ouchy. Oh, nice. Perfectly placed. Well done, well done. I'm really scared he's gonna have another phase change, but I'm emboldening anyways. Ah. I just emboldened. Witness to my will. I should have waited.
Excricated will. Oh, he did say bear witness to his will. This is what he meant, eh? Who the fuck is Will? <laughs> Excrecated is the opposite of desecrated. It literally means blessed. Oh, I didn't know that. Look at Final Fantasy teaching me so many different words. I can't remember if I was having this conversation on stream or not, but I genuinely believe gaming, like being a gamer from a young age. Uh oh! Being a gamer from a young age drastically wow, increased my vocabulary. Snowflake. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back. Anymore. Ah! Suffer in painless torment. Bang, bang. I don't know if we soak that. I feel like we do. I'm scared. Whoa! I don't think we soak that. <laughs> Ow! I can't remember if it's the same or opposite. Opposite then? Same? What? I was on same and died. I was on opposite and died. I died. Same. <laughs> what are they talking about? <laughs> Somebody translate. Man, this would be such a time to shine if they gave red mages res at this fucking level. Fire and ice debuffs and towers. Oh! Suffer in endless torment! Infinite ice, infinite fire. So it's. You have to match the color of the circle with your debuff. Got it! I get you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what if I don't have a debuff? I have no debuff. I think I just die. Oh, I have no mana. This is embarrassing. Oh, wait! I was gifted super ethers! For just such an occasion! Does my equivocation cost me this contest? Suffer in endless torment! Okay, now I have fire, I match the colors. Every circle needs to be filled. I am marked with fire. I'm ready. I'm ready to perform my sacred duty of stand in the circle. Here comes. Here comes. Stand in the red one. Yeah. Hey, that was pretty good. Red 
Rest in peace, everyone's eyes. Ver flashbang! It is time! Oh god, I'm about to get cannoned. No, I'm gonna play with my life! <laughs> Honestly deserved. <laughs> Honestly so deserved. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Whoa! Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm sorry. I nearly killed us all. <laughs> I like how he literally perfectly lasered me. Of anyone in the party to target, he targeted the fucking LB threeing red mage. <laughs> Honestly, I've never seen karma enacted so fast. <laughs> if such is my oh fate. man. That was fun. <laughs> the animation lock for LV3 is so long too. <laughs> You tried to pull me out of it, right? Choo -choo! Have I done the Alexander raids yet? Yes, I have. They were so much fun. The Alexander raids were a blast. Um, now, if we do the extreme, we do it unsynced, right? Right? Because that was hard. Yes, okay. Whew. Phew. Incredible as always, sir. Hopefully that will be the last the, our world sees of the likes of Zervan. You better do it on sync. Okay, okay, thank God. Every one of his thralls has been slain as far as we can determine. Our victory over the warring triad is complete. An impossible feat. <gasps> Had we not been blessed with your cooperation. Let us not forget about the efforts of Regula van Hydrus and his men. Without their noble sacrifice, the demon would have awoken far sooner, and possessed of far more formidable energies. The bodies of the fallen now accompany the survivors on the return journey to Garlemald. Tis known that the Imperials recognize no god, yet they would honor the dead in their own fashion. And when next we meet, our fleeting alliance will surely be forgotten. Twas an interesting exchange, nonetheless. They spoke of their present ruler as a man who values self-sufficiency. Varus befriended Regula in their youth, it seems, and was highly impressed by his martial prowess. Tis common knowledge that Regula's rise to Legatus was in great part advocated by the Emperor himself. Regula freely admitted his shortcomings when it came to politics, and it was Varus's unconditional support that served to win his undying fealty. One does not expect such tales of com comradeship to lurk beneath the Empire's iron exterior. Contrary to all expectations, the man died a hero. Witnessing the way you all leapt into danger without hesitation, it would seem I'm surrounded by heroes. And yet, my own actions were aught but heroic. I have not the qualities nor the character to stand at the Warrior of Light's side. What a curious thing to say. Are you truly concerned that you do not measure up to some arbitrary requirement? If you knew of the path I walked to reach this place, then you would understand why I doubt myself so. Return with me to the Rising Stones, and I shall tell you of it. But it's actually boring synced. Wait, is it really? Like, it's not even fun? That's a damn, that, that's a damn shame of what it is. Back to... Where? Oh yeah, Rising Stones. I can't believe that Vampire Survivors didn't win best debut indie. What did win, Pimp? What did win? <gasps> Stray won Best Indie! Wait! Are you kidding, Pimp? Stray deserved it. Stray deserved it. Vampire Survivors, amazing. Yes, I've burnt many, many hours in that game, but Stray deserved it. Hell no. Bruh. Bruh. Hades 2? Wait, hate. Wait. Somebody said Hades 2 earlier. And I didn't know what they meant. Did Hades 2 get announced? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's fucking awesome. That's fucking awesome. 
With your victory over Zervan, the Warring Triad is finally defeated. I am afraid, however, that my own efforts have often been more hindrance than help, and you and your fellow Scions deserve to hear the reasons behind my actions. So how does it feel to play the game with such a toxic community? <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> wait, wait, Final Fantasy XIV? <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. I promise to tell you of my journey, of who I am, of where I am from. It's also the truest. <laughs> Wrong take. Wrong take, bud. <laughs> of all the games that I've streamed in my two years of streaming, this is one of the nicest communities that I've experienced. At least in the Twitch sense. In game as well, I've never struck up as many conversations with strangers as I have in this game. So, disagree hard. Hard disagree. Especially with Sprouts. <laughs> The truth is, I am not of this world. I was born of a different star, a child whose power of the Echo was too feeble to save his dying world. Oh shit! A child who, unlike you, never became a warrior of light. This looks like... The, the face. The face looks just like, um, what's his name? From the Nilebert questline. The caster questline. I'm sure it's just coincidence, but even the purple eyes? Tainer, thank you. It looks so much like Tainer. Could be a reflection. Genuinely could be a reflection of Tainer. When all I knew stood on the brink of destruction, I was yet half grown. Had I been born but a handful of years earlier, history may have written a different tale. The seeds of other heroes that had yet to fully sprout may not have with withered and perished. The star I failed to save is known to you now as the Void. Holy shit. Though Sir knew not that I spoke of my homeland, I have explained to him before the cause of its ruin. A magic was devised to contain a defeated primal's might within a stone known as Aurasite. And the energies which bled from this imperfect vessel... Ooh, gradually corrupted the champions who... These implications are very upsetting. He didn't specifically say white or a sight, but these implications are very upsetting. Oh, corrupted the champions who wielded it. These heroes became slaves to an insatiable hunger for ether, eventually transforming into hideous fiends. None who clung to the faint traces of light were strong enough to oppose them. The demons next turned upon each other in a war which drained the land's ether, and in even greater amounts, until one day the star was suddenly swallowed in a flood of darkness, an entire world unmade in an instant. The void sent you encounter here in this realm are the twisted remnants of once mortal beings who gnaw on what motes of life force remain. Okay. Okay, okay, yep, yeah, okay. All right, I'm just gonna take it in. And as I lay dying, beaten and broken in my failed last stand, t'was a white-robed Asian who found my tormented spirit and bore me away to the rift betwixt worlds. And Lydibus has been my master ever since? Why would a little bussy 
Save a child with the echo. At my mentor's feet did I learn the nature of reality, of the existence of mirrored worlds and an eternal struggle between dark and light. Sudden and overwhelming superiority for either side will shatter the balance, and the world in question will be returned to the void by a calamity beyond imagining. As the self-appointed custodian of this balance, my master warned me that the source, first of all worlds, slips perilous perilously close to oblivion. In what spirit did this master proffer such a warning? A benevolent gesture or veiled threat? To these questions and more do I coax forth answers, yet no matter his intention, that Heidelin doth teeter on a knife's edge is undeniable, uh, uh, undeniable truth. Knowing this, what choice was given you to make? I chose to join my master and act as its instrument on this star. The tragedy that befell my home cannot be repeated. I will see this world's end. And yet I hesitated at the most crucial of moments. What right have I to stand alongside a true warrior of light? Okay, this... This has such confusing implications for Elidibus. The question is, will Terra remember any of this by the time he finishes the MSQ? Shut up, <laughs> quiet you. In thine own words, thou wert called before thy time, and I offer that thou dwellest overmuch on the question of what maketh the hero. The search for the answer leaveth thee paralyzed by doubt. Heed me, Master Unukai. Thou needest not believe thyself a hero to perform great deeds. Tis the deed itself which earneth thee the hero's mantle. Aye, the ideals you hold can be less important than having the faith to act upon them. Regula's loyalty to the Emperor guided his actions until the last, and though we did not see eye to eye on many things, his final deeds can be called le not less than heroic. Personally, I find that faith in my companions allows me to act unhindered by uncertainty. I know that should I ever falter, Sir and the others will be there to support me, or steer me back onto the right path if needed. I see. In the days leading up to my world's destruction, I was entirely alone. I never knew what it was to have such comrades. I cannot imagine the loneliness you must have felt, but look around you now, Unukai. You're not alone anymore. Was that a little wink from Kryle? Welcome to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. And we've named him a Scion? Remember when this came out, Terra? How long ago? Heaven's Word. Meanwhile, in the Garlean capital, bah, 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 bah. I will fulfill my promise to save this world. When I stumble, I shall be glad to have your hands there to steady me. My apologies. This is difficult for me. For so long have I spoken from behind a mask. We should all feel comfortable speaking without such concealments. I should hope you appreciate the irony of that statement, Orianger. It took him going to the first to finally take off his fucking goggles in his hood. Orianger slash cough, literally! And this is why I was nagging about this so much. Rando, I love you. Damn, dude, this is like... I don't like this. I don't like this because this shatters my image of Elidibus. <sighs> because it doesn't make sense for what I know of Elidibus.
There's... <laughs> Are the Asians not actually evil, you guys? Are the Asians actually trying to help? <laughs> Fuck, dude, this is... I'm so glad we did this, because this was... A fucking weird-ass revelation. Elidibus is a member of the Convocation of Fourteen to better the star and guide it on to its true course. The Amoritines weren't evil. The Asians did evil things, but aren't necessarily evil, right? Hades. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It is possible. It is possible that Hades... Hades' goal and Elidibus' goal may not have ultimately been the same. Which is fucking weird. Anyways, let's just unlock the X. I... I'm... I'm Confucian. Speaking- I fucking loved Hades, is the, the video game? I loved it. That's the lesson you're to take out of Emmett Salk. You know what's funny? You know what's fo funny, Buller? Until, literally, until this, until this moment, Elidibus was still wholly evil in my eyes. Until this moment right here with this child. Now this fucks me up. <laughs> because I understood Hades. I understood him fully. I knew his pain, that's why I fucking bawled so much. I knew his pain, I knew where he was coming from, I understood his motivations fully, 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 fully. That's why he made us walk through Amarat. To understand, right? Elidibus in my eyes was not get given the same treatment. I was still treating him like big bad evil Asian. But now with this info, I'm fucked up. This is... This is massive info that's so easily missed. Huh. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Further rewarding players for playing content. All right, well, now we gotta do, we gotta do the Alliance Raids for Stormblood at some point. There might be fucking something in there that I'm gonna miss. <sighs> Good, hold this, I will, I will. Rando, bless your heart. Ice Game Awards, oh, he's Lua, we knew. We knew. We were we were told Hades 2 got announced, which is fucking nutty. That's crazy. Yeah, we already they already let me know, yeah. I told them tell me anything big from Game Awards, because I don't give a shit about Game Awards. I just care what's announced. You need to do them to do the Shadowbringers Rally Quest anyways, gotcha. Ivalice is not yet part of the MSQ, but still worth doing. I wanna do it now, so if it ever sneaks its way into some fucking relevant God, who the hell knows? Who the- if Crystal Tower can be dug up, anything can be dug up, right? So, I'ma do Ivalice. I'ma pay full attention. I'ma take some, like, people G. I'ma take some notes. Jesus. Uh, let's go unlock the EX. Damn, dude. You have to do Ivalice to get to Boja. Oh, which is Eureka. Shadowbringers Eureka. Gotcha, you, gotcha. You. I've heard the name Boja thrown around, which is how I know how to pronounce it. But uh, I didn't know it was for relics. I support doing all content before Endwalker, 100%. The fucking... Man, that fucks me up. That fucks me up. I was perfectly content to look at a little bussy as some piece of shit villain. I don't, <laughs> I don't like knowing that he's multifaceted like, like Haiti, or I don't know what to call him anymore. I don't like knowing that, that he's multifaceted because I, now I know the more I learn of him, the worse I'm going to feel about it. Like fucking Hades. Bozia is the best way to level class is 71 to 80. Oh, Bozia and Eureka. Might be a little challenging to do in full at this point, but if you can, you should. Bet. Eureka is still active, last I saw. I w there was like full parties in Eureka. Well, Laha Bread was just evil. Maybe smile. Yeah, I'm starting to doubt that. I'm starting to doubt that. 
after, uh, I think he just took the wrong course of action. Jedi Survivor looking nice. Okay. It's all black and white now. Wait, Jedi Survivor is? People doing Eureka for the glowy armors. Yep. Man, I fucking love this game. I think you guys need to be a little less toxic, though. I've heard tell lately that uh, the community is so toxic. <laughs> a little bird told me that, and I, I agree. I think you guys should reel it back a little bit. Only a toxic person would subtly coerce me into doing content to fully experience the story. <laughs> Only someone really toxic would do that. <laughs> Where's the eels? Where's the eels? Is it wrong that I feel like that person that came in was summoned by that energy in the universe? <laughs> a, a stand for that for that human, perhaps? I don't know. <laughs> if that's toxic, I don't know if I want to be pure, right? The energy of eels. Yeah, we watched the clip and the person got summoned. Uh, we're ready for EX, if, if everyone else is. Unless we're still talking about food we're going to eat. <laughs> Me and Vadi are the toxic ones in this uh, party. Burger King mentor crowns are marker of toxic. <laughs> Burger King mentor crowns. <sighs> oh. boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Where's the eels? Man, I'm messed up. I'm messed up now. What are we doing? EX. Um, zit? Is it? Is it called zit? Uh, trials. Heaven's word. Yeah, zit extreme. Also, Sephiroth, if Terra hasn't yet. I've done Sephiroth. I think I got the mount from Sephiroth. Uh, which bird was it again? The Rose Lantern? No. Dark Lantern? No. White Lantern? No. Warring Lantern? Yeah, Warring Lantern from Sephiroth. I got that one. I love the Sephiroth, man. Literally, I saw somebody floating on the, I just want to further my argument that 14 has an amazing community. I saw somebody flying by on the Sephiroth mount and I loved the wing color so much. I sent them a, a tell and I was like, what mount is that I needed? It's beautiful. And then like a minute later, they were like, oh, it's from, it's blah, blah, blah. You can look it up on the, on the wiki and see what quests you need, et cetera, et cetera. And they were like super helpful in telling me how to get it. Toxic community, by the way. <laughs> Mother, sorry, mother, respectfully, mother, mommy, sorry. Only Sophia and Zervan, yes. What a weird ass design. I love it. It's in the 60s. We're going to destroy this thing. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> to me, my faithful. Is anyone else uh, feeling something right now? Come forth, scales Just me? of revelation. Just me. God. I would know the weight of your soul. Whoa, 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 whoa! Bye. <laughs> you guys are probably watching and waiting for that. Thank you for the raise. Appreciate you. <laughs> Bye, Tara. <laughs> you bring equilibrium where well, one does not suffice. That was hilarious. <laughs> this 
Dude, those noises got me feeling some kind of way though. I'm just being honest. I karma died for laughing at Terra. <laughs> Good! Get freaked! <laughs> oh man. No mount, Sag. Cool looking pole though. Or uh, rod, or what is this? Black Mage? Yeah, Black Mage. Cool though. But I don't want anything. We leave. Got another 16 trailer. Did we now? This Sophic stuff looks so good. It's just not obnoxious and glowy enough for me. My weapons have to be obnoxious. The Sophia crafted weapons look sweet. Are they obnoxious? Do they glow? What is the uh, mount BGM on this bird? Oh, right. Sephiroth theme. Do, 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 do. Can't see half the stuff in the trailer because it was super dark. Crank up that brightness. Watch it again. Mount first try. Here we go. Mount first try. Easy clap. Is this one time gated? This one's time gated. I'm just gonna build up my mana then. We fall! Unto the end. Good and evil. <laughs> Good and evil. <laughs> he didn't even finish monologuing. He just fucking died. Do 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 do. Sag! I am Sag Gamer. Ew. It's a bland looking rod. No thank. Sag. Never, never lucky, honestly. Whew. That's just the warring triad phase one theme. Unfortunately, not the actual Sephiroth theme. Isn't the actual Sephiroth theme like really good? Well, I'm going to bed. Good night, Keo. Have a good sleep. I also really like when Sephiroth switches phases when he just falls off the platform. Rapier of the Goddess. Ooh. Oh, those are quite nice. Not as nice as Titania. Let's be real. Let's be real here. This is clearly the winner. Just need tank roll quests and you're all set? Yeah. Which... Oh my god, it's 8 o'clock. Which I guess we'll do tomorrow. I use the Moogle one. It makes noises. I have a friend that uses the Moogle bow. It's so annoying. Because she'll run around and she'll just like draw. And then, like, put her bow away. So she's like, whoop, 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 constantly. It's so irritating. Manipulative Moogle Mogfoil. Ponto! No, you can't raid me, bud. No! <laughs> Hi, Ponto. Hi, raiders. <laughs> Help! Ponto has grapefruit juice in his eyes. Wait, actually? Wait, real? Not clickbait? Is this real? Yes, I can, smiley face. Ponto, no, I was literally about to end stream. We could go a bit longer, if you so desire it. 
Just for Ponto and the Ponto crew. Wait, actual grapefruit juice? Are you okay? How are you typing? How are you typing, Bessie? How are you doing? Look at Raiders. Hi, guys. Oh, I'm sorry there's a naked Lala on my screen. That's embarrassing. Go a bit longer! Okay. Giga Chad. All right, all right. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome in, guys. If it's your first time meeting me, my name is Tara. I'm a variety streamer. Uh, I usually stream four days a week. I occasionally do horror streams, sometimes do drinking streams. Uh, but lately, I'm just so fucking hyper fixated on this game and the MSQ and everything else. Literally, we just did a, a side bit from the Heavensward Trials that revealed some information about Elidibus and my brain is literally exploding and I need an adult. Help, help. I don't want new information about Elidibus. I was content to hating him and now I'm like, what's happening? We're used to seeing Naked Ponto. <laughs> naked on Ponto stream. Yeah, but like a, a far more tasteful version of Naked. Let's be real here. But hi guys. Hi, I'm new. Wait, you actually are new. That's the first time chatter. Hello? Wait, you actually are? Tara's just up to 5.0. Yeah, we did 5.0 last Friday, and it was devastating. You can go through my clips, you can go through the VOD if you want. It was, it was a lot. I love this game. Tara just did Zervan. Yes, I just did Zervan. <laughs> I just did Zervan, and I'm at 5.0. Don't judge me, don't judge me. <laughs> New, by the way. But yeah, welcome in, you guys. Ponto, how was your stream? What'd you get up to today? What did you do? What did you learn? Did you make any new friends? Side content is fun. I'm honestly living for it. I was content to just going through the MSQ and being happy with that. Then I had one taste of side content with the Omega raids and it was like fucking floodgates opening. And suddenly I wanted to do everything. And now I'm doing everything. I haven't even started 5.1. Tataru was side eyeing me earlier because I ran past her to get into the to get into the Rising Stones to get Zervan quest, and she was like, "Hey, you gonna hello? You gonna you, we got we got some shit to deal with here, bud." Ponto taught me how to heal. <laughs> I originally read that as Ponto taught me how to feel, cause same relatable. <laughs> Thanks for the falls, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, hi. Sage leveling and being trolled. Uh, Golsif shared with me a clip of you, Ponto, when you were doing, uh, I think P8S question mark? P7S question mark? One of the savages where somebody p pulled you off. Somebody rescued you at a very savory time. And you looked very overjoyed about it. Teach Terra how to heal, please. Listen, I did the twinning just fine, I think, on my sage. It was great. Nobody died. Did? Did they? No, nobody died. It got close a couple times, but we're good. He used Sage and gave himself Cardia. Okay, listen, listen, because I pressed the hotkey that I thought Panheima was on and I wanted to Panheima and then I Cardia'd myself and didn't notice. He's fine. Be nice to him, lads. Nah, I'm used to being bullied. It's fine. I get trolled so often. I hope people are nicer to you here. They're pretty nice. They just make fun of when I talk funny. self cardio though. Pain. Unimaginable pain. Alright, now we wait. We had an yeah, we had an actual troll in here earlier. I was kind of shook it, because I haven't had a troll in my chat in like <laughs> in like a very long time. It's been a very long time since I've had an actual troll. And they were like they were like, wow, how can you handle this game with such a toxic community? And I thought they were joking at first. And then they were like, then they continued talking. And it was like, oh, I'm sorry, what? Are we playing the same game? Like, hello? 14 has the nicest community that I've experienced in a game. An online Good game in the longest time. Mount, please. Hey! Let's fucking go. Easy clap, first try. Not even worried about it. I knew it was gonna happen. I prefer to troll the trolls. I just, <laughs> I didn't have the patience for them. One of my mods was just like, nah, out with you. And I was like, alright. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Poggers. Does anyone else need the mount, by the way? Wait, did I lose the mount? <laughs> Did somebody else win it? <laughs> I think, I think somebody won it. Fuck! Uh, they did. RIP! <laughs> Not easy clap at all. I 
I did it for the lulls. I thought I'd roll a one. No, you're good, Lynn. You're good. You're good. You're good. Whoop, it'll drop this time too. Don't worry. Here it comes. Twice in a row. No, my suffering, Tara. The difference is I'm not like, I'm not hell bent on getting the birds. I'm happy to get them while you guys are here. But um, I have my fat cat. My fatter cat. Do I really need any other mounts? Actually, the fat chocobo is pretty good. Chonky chocobo, pretty good mount. My dead decaying corpse cat? Listen. You listen here. It's cute. I don't care if it's a bloated dead corpse. It's a cute bloated dead corpse. I hate it. Never read your mount descriptions, folks. Never ever read your mount descriptions. You're gonna learn some things you don't want to learn. Also, Tara, what Zervan and or Sophia weapon would you like crafted? Um. Have you not seen my current weapon? I'm I'm good. I'm good. The next weapon I would like to get is the Eureka weapon. <laughs> Boom, mount drop. Here it comes. Oh. Fuck, I got trolled because there was four things in there. But Carapace Pog! Carapace Poggers! I don't want none of that. I don't want none of that. Eureka? Dude, Eureka's so fun. I've only finished phase one of Eureka. I haven't been to any other location, but I really want to. But I have to do fucking Aether Current quests, and I had to level up all my jobs and duty roulettes. I have everything at 80, so I could do all the roll quests. We actually did healer roll quest and physical roll quest today, and they were great. The healer one especially was really good. Eureka? Eureka? Eureka Enjoyers? Hello? I'm aware that Ponto is a Rika enjoyer. <laughs> Did it on two characters, currently on third character, on stream for viewers. Love it. Love it. I also heard s s talks of Boja. Boja, hello? Boja? I haven't even stepped into Boja yet. I have to do the Evil East raids. Speaking of side content, I've been afraid of the Evil East raids because I can't do math. And there's like some prime number bullshit going on in there. And I'm like, mm, mm, not kind of not about it. Which weapon do you want? Wait, this one's actually sick. This one? Actually sick. Very cool. I didn't really care about the other one so much, but this one is very cool. That might tempt me off of Titanium 11. Do them, favorite rates. I think we're gonna do them, uh, did we say tomorrow? No, I think tomorrow we're going to do a little bit of 5.1. I think we'll do them next Tuesday, the Evil East Raids. Tara acting like he isn't the one putting it off. Listen, listen. We just did the, the Heaven's Word Alliance Raids. They were fun. They were cool and nice and fun. Oh, God. It makes me sad that I only stream Final Fantasy, like, three days a week. Because there's so much. There's too much content. Demon weapon? Yeah, the demon weapon's quite nice. Lamel math boss. I'm not about it. I'm not about the math. Someone in your free company has an alt name Boja Enjoyer. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. The thing that I loved about um, Eureka, at least of what I've done so far, which is just... What's the first area? Animos? Question mark? But I love that it's just unga bunga grinding. Good I like training. So Wake up, enjoy Bozia. <laughs> Refuse to elaborate. <laughs> Giga chat. <laughs> but as I've stated previously, I am queer, I can't do math. But then I got shot down for that, saying that I'm queer, I can't do math. And they said, actually, Tara, not being able to do math is not a queer thing. It's a bottom thing. Digest that as you will. <laughs> Digest that as you will. It was definitely a personal attack. <laughs> Though I cannot deny it. Though I cannot deny it. It's, uh, it, was, uh, it, was, uh, it made sense. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, by the way. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> 
<laughs> right? Like, think about it. Apply, apply it, like, apply your knowledge for two seconds of that statement and go, hmm. Hmm. Perhaps. Ray, was it you that shut me up with the Alan Turing thing the first time I said that? Because, oh. Senior Alan Turing comes up a lot whenever I say I can't do math. Tara holds the ladder because he's the bottom rug. Jolly. Jolly, please. My poor heart. You can't take it. It certainly was me. Ray, you monster. Bump, bump, bump. Get me out. I don't even know how much damage these circles would do at this point. Like, it's level 60 content, right? Surely, surely I could eat the AoE. <laughs> Ariel, I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna see. Oh, it does fucking 9k. Okay, we're just gonna hit K. Okay. <laughs> That's what tops are for. Tops do the thinking. Listen, listen. By the way, Tara, I don't know if you were looking to raid out, but Kuiper is at a pretty safe spot for you to raid and run. Oh? Oh, I was planning to go a bit longer. Ponto raid, my Good heart. Evil, he has anyone on the platform to raid and very many wonderful, magnificent humans. And he chose me? How could I just toss them aside? His little gremlins. Someone's got to look after them. Someone's got to look after them and keep in check. Ponto's not there to smack, smack him on the bum? Like, what? A, how, what uh, I'll, I'll just like, I'll die. I'll die. Love my energy? No you. No you, sir. Also, what is your secret, Ponto? You said you don't touch energy drinks, right? Do you drink coffee? No, I think you're just an extrovert. Ooh. Ugh, imagine. Imagine being extroverted. Couldn't be me. <laughs> just drink a ton of water? <laughs> Wait, do you not touch caffeine at all? Are you one of those? Because I am eternally jealous. If so. Again, again, I love repetition. Put me back in. Correct, you don't drink any. You don't make sense to me, Ponto. <laughs> you do not make sense to me. Ha! Huh? You have so much goddamn energy. Uh, do you degen sleep? Do you sleep a crisp 10 hours a night? I feel like that's probably the solution. One of those. <laughs> I mainly use G Fuel nowadays. Still to this day have not tasted G Fuel. Heard good things about it, have not touched it. Ponto is a mutant confirmed. It's the aura, that's what keeps Ponto awake. He's truly cultured, that's what I love about him. He doesn't hide his degeneracy and I appreciate it as a fellow DJ. French press coffee enjoyer, Giga Chad. We had a French press. It's so much goddamn work. I'm too fucking lazy for that shit. Are you kidding me? Really good, but oh, I'm just too lazy. Let me put ground up beans in the thing and press the button. That's all. I want. Ponto's a wannabe Canadian. I'm a real Canadian. A real honest to God Canadian boy. Imagine sleeping even six hours. I usually get barely seven. And I like, streaming is basically Good my full-time thing. And yet still, I don't know how to sleep. A DJ in too late editing. And... Oh, these looked cooler than I thought they were. Uh, I DJ in too late uh, editing and playing Final Fantasy. Um, and then I don't sleep and then I wake up and then um, suffer. It's great, love it, it's awesome. Elden Ring won best art direction. Hmm, I could see that. I could see that. Elden Ring was a very beautiful game. Uh, brought one to visit my friend because they don't have a coffee maker. Did you make them French press coffee and ruin them? 14 just won best community support. Let's go. Let's go 14. Toxic community, by the way. Tox toxic community, by the way. Remember that goof in here earlier? Imagine. I hope that kid is watching the Game Awards right now. You know they're fuming while they're banned in my chat. You know they're sitting there shaking. They're like, no, no, it's toxic. 
There's a toxic community! Because I bet you one person insulted them one time. Probably a WoW player that came over. <laughs> Seething and match. <laughs> literally. Like the smadge emote. Their face is literally smadge right now. Tara, <laughs> stop saying braiding with me! <laughs> that one, Golsif. Literally that one. That is the troll right now, at this very moment. You want fists of the fiend, not Zerbanite fists. Gotcha. <gasps> Do they also have the swirly, cool magic? Ugh. Why am I hard casting Ferrero? Mount time. Good and evil. Mount. Easy. Fuck. <laughs> Not easy clap at all. Fists of the demon. Let me see. Okay, those are sick. Yeah, those are nice. Those are very cool indeed. Very nice, very cool, very fresh. I was here. Oh. <laughs> Hate, detest, fear. Wow, I cannot believe Lynn stole the mount from me. I am streamer. I should always get the thing. No, I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> I'm 100% kidding, by the way, Lynn. Don't worry. Are these kobolds? Which ones? These ones? Sure, I'll make them for you. If, okay, how much are they? Wait, how much are they, though? I don't... I, somebody already random gifted me the titania weapon. Drive-by gifted me it. I don't like abusing my streamer privilege. I don't like it. I don't like doing it. Oh, fit cobalt speech got you. <laughs> the only thing you're getting is harsh words. It's just mock. Say it with your chest. Where is my streamer privilege? Ah, ah, I'm streamer. Where's my privilege? No, I I got full full feeling of streamer privilege when I was talking about how much I love the titania weapons, and a player whose name I do not recognize ran by, opened a trade with me. Put the titania weapon in, completed the trade, and, evil. and then just walked out, and then just vanished. Like, they literally poofed. That's when I was like, huh. Okay, streamer privilege is happening. <laughs> this is it. Look it up in the dictionary. It will be this moment. Give, give streamer mount madge right now. <laughs> Wait, how do I not have madge right now in the channel? Shame on me. He says that immediately after morning, the unfulfillment of streamer privilege. I crunk. Check your privilege? Yeah, no, that was definitely a, a full privilege moment with the titanium weapon. I don't think uh, the bigger privilege moment was um, getting three million to go buy a house on Modwin. I don't think that that really was, mm, that was, that was nothing really. Oh wait, it was four mil because somebody gave me extra money to decorate with. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Literally dropped a titania weapon in my lap and walked out of my life forever. Yeah. Because it happened so fast, I didn't even get the player's name. There was like a few people around me and I was like overwhelmed at what was happening. And then I just had a titania weapon and here we are. Ray, did you try to stand in as many overlapping AoEs as you could just then? Did I see that right? Do you know what kind of makes me sad? How little auto attack damage Red Mages have. 151 crit at level 82. This sword is truly just for show. You're collecting burns. Hey, it's like me collecting bone stacks. The objective is to get as many as you can, right? 
Terra has lived off other people's money this whole time. Good and evil. <laughs> Say it with me. Say it with me. Toxic community, by the way. Well, Terry, you aren't supposed to just be auto-attacking. I know, but like, come on. Fun fact, Astrologist auto attack is slicing with your cards. Like, wait, wait, wait. Like, they pull a card and smack with it. Isn't auto attack damage based off strength or... Wait. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, it is. Strike determines Red Mage's arms damage. Huh. Why? <laughs> Why, dude? It's a magical sword. Okay, wait, before I finish saying this, I understand it's only a magical sword when I have mana, okay? But still, it's a magical sword. It's good. Yikes, when we get in, rep request repair for me, Terra? Oh. Okay. Okay, I will. <laughs> Why does strength determine sage auto attack damage? Wait, what is the sage's auto attack? Do they just punch? And then we have the blue mage who blows up. Yeah. I love walking through towns and seeing the dead players in there. <laughs> Red mages are casters that did not take weapon finesse feet. They did not. They do open palm punches? Wait, that's so cool. Lasers, I wish. What what level is what level is Ponto Sage right now? Last I saw, I think he was like 78. Has Ponto even done all the roll quests for Shadowbringers? Ponto! Nah, he might be working. 83 now! Hey, let's go, King. Let's go. Proud of you. Proud of you. <laughs> roll quest skek W. <laughs> okay, I need to complain. I need to complain. We did 5.0. I wanted to do every single roll quest before doing 5.0, right? My chat was like, no, Terra, no, 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 no. Do 5.0. Do 5.0 first, then do roll quests. Just do 5.0, then do roll quests. It's because they wanted me to suffer. It's because they wanted me to suffer. Level 74. Level 74 healer roll quests. They show me one crumb of art burn, and I choke up. Never trust chat. Is the moral of the story. Literally never trust chat. Monsters, every one of them. Correct on all accounts. They're like, no, Terra, it'll make so much more sense if you do 5.0 first. It'll, it'll make more. Good and evil. No, it'll so hurt more. Is the point. Come on, mount. Oh my fucking god. Never lucky. <laughs> never lucky. That time you smacked him with your book? Proud of you. Sage is the new kid on the block who brought a Glock and has TikTok. Not a Glock, four Glocks, not a Glock. To be fair, you also let us gaslight you multiple times. True. The Thancred one was especially devastating. You just learned not to trust chat? See, the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, I've known it all along and yet, I do it anyways. I'm gullible. I'm nothing if not simple, all right? 10 runs in, just 89 more for the guaranteed mount. <laughs> have I at least gotten a card? Oh shit, I have. Hey, Zervan card, five star. Hold up, this is important. Triple, tri I was rewarded with triple triad card? The gods are merciful. Oh, he's fucking garbage, though. Seven? Eh. Nah, nah, nah. Onion Knight, way better. And so the cycle repeats. He learns not to trust us, then we gaslight him into trust. Literally, yeah. That's pretty accurate. Oh, Bear, I forgot to request a men from you. I'll do it this time. Bum, 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 bum. Now I want to see what Sage auto attack is. Someone switched to Sage. Oh, I could have switched to Sage. Bear, come here. Come here. Fix me up. Fix me up. Uh, request repair. 
Oh. I can't. We're in combat. <laughs> My shit will just slowly die. It's fine. I'm at like half durability. That's all you really need. We're golden. Normally it's gatekeep gaslight girl boss. We are just gaslight, gaslight, gaslight. Mm, yeah. Genuinely. I love it. It's great. Wait, Ike, are you a sage? What are you? No, you're a monk. Is anyone on sage right now? Brando, go punch! I want to see punch. Commit fist. Good and evil, the war eternal. If such oh. is my fate. <laughs> it is open palm punches, got it. Mount? <laughs> Never lucky. Oh, we can do it now. Come here. Such devastating rolls. 166% while wow, apply yourself. I was expecting good repairs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> do, 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 do. Wow. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Thank you. 3% off. Nice. Wait. Did you get any of my things to nice? Oh, 170. That's flaccid. 162. Wow. It hurts. It hurts. Examine that Lala. Adventure plate. Okay. Match right now. Let me see. Let me see. Unfollow. Such toxic match. <laughs> let me see your adventure plate. Oh, seeing an adventure plate with something moving is the trippiest thing ever. That threw me off so much. Cuba. Who else have I seen here? I've seen limbs, right? Since we have all the time in the world, we might as well. Lin cute, dude. Lin Q. Oh, I almost died. How did I see Nikes? Nobody looks good in a work ID picture. <laughs> so good. Rando, is your still pain? Yeah. Fuck you. Rando, you're a monster. Good and evil. You're the, you're the actual monster. Whistle, please, please! Wow, that is a plate. You saw it, Mad? They they literally said, hey, you can look at my plate now, right after that scene. Right after that scene, they were like, hey, Terry, you can finally look at my plate. Because they told me not to, because it was spoilers, obviously. And f monstrous. Change my search engine, my plate back to what it was, since it won't spoil you anymore. Ah! Bonnie, what's this? Very cool. Very cool and nice. Dude, I love the straps on these pants. Hi, Puff! How you doing? Your plate has a small moving part on it? Wait, are you in the party right now? No, you're not. Wait, are you? No, you're not. Wait, are you? 
Did I just see a rando Hikari on screen? You did. You did, you did. I'm gonna open up their plate again. We're just gonna leave it. Oh yeah, you're Berman. Oh, it does on the weapon. I didn't even notice that because it's up like where the typeface is. Or not the typeface, the, the printing is. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave this here for damage of the emotional variety. Just pain. Just pain on the screen at all times. You go to Ponto screen and it's ass, lovingly. You come here, emotional damage. Just emotional damage. Your OG Final Fantasy character is in Randos Free Company. You haven't seen them in ages? Small world, dude. I found them. They here. You have the strength to take another step. Could you do it? You know what we need? Oh shit. Okay, if it doesn't drop this time, I'm sacrificing myself. We need a Lala sacrifice. Good and we must evil. sacrifice the Popoto to increase the drop rates. Yep, we need Popoto sacrifice. Only the blood of the Popotos will bring out the mount. Put me in! Put me in! Put me in! I must be sacrificed to the gods. Do, 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 do. Maybe if we throw a Sophia in, we'll trick the RNG. <laughs> no. We must throw me overboard. Put me in, coach! Wait, are you not in the party, Jolly? Eh. Oh yeah, we're only seven. Huh. Alright, Lala sacrifice. Oh right, I don't have Sophia mount either. Be unenlightened. That's what you guys meant by throw one Sophia in. Me, my faithful. Okay, I don't want to die this time, please. Please, I'm too young to fall off the ledge. Come forth, scales of revelation. Uh, uh. I would know the weight of your souls. Ah! We're fine. It does it twice. She can't keep getting away with it. Can you bring <laughs> Hi, Barky. She can't keep getting away with it. We're fine. He says, I didn't know she did it twice. So fixed fists. Those are kind of cool, but yeah. I have much cooler fists. All right, we threw in one Sophia. We we've, we've thrown it off its groove. There was even a Lala sacrifice. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Cat husband! Cat husband! Wait! How did you do that with your glove? How did you improve it? Because last time both your gloves were blue. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. How am I doing? I'm doing very good. I don't think it counts as a sacrifice if it's if it's accidental, so I will go willingly this time. <gasps> You found the gloves you needed. It looks so good. Take me. Take me so the mount may drop. Ah! Oh, Jolly, you're a bully. Don't res me. Don't res me. It must be this way. The mount will come to us now. Don't do it. You'll screw up the RNG. Oh, sacrifice, let's go. <laughs> I know my duty. No, I decline your res. It must be this way. Let's go. 
Couldn't find the last time you saw me. But you got him! Hating yourself would be paid off. I need to start at least doing my daily front lines, is it? Oh! Good and evil. Wait, we sacrificed the Highlander as well? No, that's gonna screw up the RNG. Wait. 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 Did the wi wait. Did the willing Lala sacrifice actually work? Is it canon? Is it canonical? You heard it here. All right. If you want your mounts to drop, sacrifice a Lala. <laughs> we have proven it with science. Blood for the blood god. That's awesome. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, maybe it was the both. Maybe it was the Thylander sacrifice, which you never like to see. Alright, let's see if the bird was worth it. Demonic Lanner! Uh, BGM? No, wait. Mount BGM? Huh. Wait, what's this music? Toss a lala to your primal, oh valley of plenty. Gotta take notes. Yep. Kata, thank you for the stretch, by the way. And thank you for the hydrate. Oh. Terra's now free. I'm free. I never have to visit, visit him again. Unless somebody else wants them out, I guess. And I'm helping. Look at Catboy, guys. Look at Catboy. Look how cute. Look how cute! Yeah. Look how cute he is. What a cute Catboy. <laughs> what is your plate again? Oh shit, I didn't have a chance to look at it. Catboy lover. How do I not have lovers? Bro. I'm gonna write this shit down. Lovers! I'm writing this in my little fucking people notes. Lovers! And the what was the other one I wanted? Madge right now. I need Madge right now. Madge right now. Yeah. Alright, I'm doing my duty! To me, my the mount will drop now. The mount will drop. For science. Dude, if we go two for two with Lala's sacrifice, I'm not gonna know how to I'm not gonna know how to handle it. Aiki, no! Aiki, save yourself! Oh, wait, how did you... You can ignore it with Surecast? Can you bring equilibrium where one doth not suffice? My revelations are lost. Mount Easy Clap. Oh, fuck, I thought it worked. I thought it worked. <laughs> I'm like shook over the Surecast thing. Arms like Surecast Pog. I was wondering why Aiki was just chilling in the middle. Eh. All right, Ray, we must try the combination. Uh, we must try the combination Lala Thylander sacrifice again and see if it works. We have to figure this out so that future gamers can reduce their farm time. They just need to hire a Lala <laughs> and a Thylander to die. <laughs> Only needs Sophic. Then you get the Firebird? Really? Aren't I missing... Oh no. Wait, let me see my burps. Mount guy. Ah! Uh, mount guy? White Lantern. Oh, I think I have five burps. I remember guys getting your head squished between thighs can be considered a ham sandwich. <laughs> Jolly, why you like this? The unenlightened come. Do, do, do. 
Come forth, scales of revelation. This woman moans a lot. Yeah, she sure does. I would know the weight of your souls. Hiya! For science. Can you bring equilibrium? If it drops, then we've hacked the system. Fuck. <laughs> Unlucky, dude. Unlucky. Well, now we know. Now we know it's not the case. We're missing something. Gotta figure it out. What else are we missing in this equation? Duh. Hello? Hello, is it a bun boy? Oh, I wanna... I'm so torn. I wanna switch to bun boy. The one race I really want to switch to is Bun Boy. Is your Bun Boy alt? He's so cute. He's so cute. White hair is also just my weakness. That's why I'm in love with like 60% of the Scions. What's the final piece of the puzzle? Who else can we kill? <laughs> Who else can we kill? Someone else must die so the mount may drop. Bun is no hats, I know. Bun literally cannot wear this cute hat that I'm wearing currently. That's the one thing keeping me off of it. Well, that in can't be a dwarf. And I do like being a dwarf. I have two dwarves now, technically speaking. To celebrate the release of Dwarf Fortress on Steam. Just kidding. Although that did happen if you're a Dwarf Fortress gamer. Also, not a lot of hair options. There's one um, on a Bun Boy that I designed. He's literally saved in like my created characters. Um, where it's a pretty short hair length with kind of longer hair, asymmetrical hair, and then he has like a little like braid, ponytail thing coming out the sides. It's so cute. It's so fucking cute. What if everyone but Terra dies? You think I'm gonna survive the rest of the fight? <laughs> the unenlightened come. Oh, I'm on Sage as well. How embarrassing. Ike already <laughs> enacting the plan. Oh god, my camera angle. Claim the balance beam, Terra. Even in death, there is no release. Come forth, scales of revelation. Oh, oh, oh. I would know the weight of your souls. I'm frightened. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the Can edge. You All bring my friends are dead. Equilibrium where one doth not suffice. Wait, I should not be on stage for this. Literally the lowest of deeps. We've made a mistake! Hear the echoes of truth. We've made a mistake! Hear the echoes of truth. I don't want to hear no echoes of nothing. We're fucking dead. We're dead! My revelations are lost. We gotta make Terra sweat. I was sweating, believe. The stack of bodies. And the mount didn't even drop! Feels bad, man. All right, maybe we overdid it. Maybe we overdid it. Hmm. What can the science here be? Let's see. Let's see. We've got. We've got. How many lalas? We've got two lalas. Maybe the problem is that bear. So maybe both lalas need to die. <gasps> I love the shy mount. So cute. There were two left alive. <laughs> Ooh. Minus that one, Terra died in like all of them. What if no one dies? You know what? Good point. That's a good point. What if no one dies? I think every single run of Sophia, we've had deaths. 
mostly me. Mo mo mostly, mostly me, to be fair. The unenlightened come. My revelations are lost. Oh. We skipped the phase change though. That's kind of exciting. Do 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 do. Oh man, I need the. Hello, Cerberus. I need the hamster. What tribal quests are the hamsters again? Is it Endwalker? Don't tell me it's Endwalker. It's gonna be Endwalker, isn't it? That means I have to do MSQ? Cringe. The Endwalker. Ah, cringe. You gotta finish Endwalker, it's not tribal. Mother fuck. My revelations are lost. Mount! Oh. It hurts. It hurts so much. Terra unlucky? I'm literally so unlucky. I you know what it is? Do you know what it is? I used up all my luck on the first run of Bismarck because the mount drop instantly. And uh, the friend that was running it with me was like, dude, Bismarck fucking sucks. There's so many long phase changes. And then the mount dropped. So that that's, that's all my luck. Surface mount is multi seed. Aw, oh, I wanted to sit on it. It's multi seeder? That's so cool. The unenlightened come. Someone just died. <laughs> Rando, no! <laughs> Not Rando jumping off the edge while yelling, we did everything we were supposed to do, and still it came to this. Brando, who made you a psychological terrorist? An emotional terrorist? <gasps> Grass back. Let me, look at your, let me look at your plane. Where did I leave the key to that tower again? Cute, cute cat boy is cute. The Lala's on Cerberus are so funny. I want to see. Wait, they sit on the different heads? Wait, where am I? Oh, there you Why does the mount driver stand? Did they... Did they fuck up and then they just kept it? Why does it... St why do you stand on it? Of all things. Oops. Tara, do you have the Sophia card? Oh, maybe I got it. No. Bro, seriously unlucky. I just have three Zervan cards. To assert dominance. Giga Chad Rider? Genuinely. Oh. The unenlightened come. Mount. <laughs> Has anyone been as unlucky as me? 254, why am I still awake? That's a good question, Jolly. Go the fuck to sleep. Go, go, hang on. Oh, 
Audible Inc. presents Go the Fuck to Sleep. Written by Adam Mansback. Narrated by Samuel L. Jackson. The unenlightened come. To their kids. The lambs have laid down with the sheep. You're cozy and warm in your bed. Please go. My revelations are lost. The windows are dark in the town, child. The whales huddle down in the deep. I'll read you one very last book if you swear. You'll go the fuck to sleep. The eagles who soar through the sky are at rest, and the creatures who crawl, run, and creep. I know you're not thirsty. That's bullshit. Charlie, go the fuck to sleep. Lie the fuck down, my darling, and sleep. Cute aura boy. Be gay, do crime, head empty all the time. The Literally same. Literally same. Grass, hun. The field mice, they make not a peep. This is just until Jolly goes to sleep. We're just gonna. Already. This is just what we're listening Jesus to. Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Go to. The sleep. unenlightened comes. <laughs> Go the fuck to sleep, Dolly! It's too fucking late to be awake, sir! Respectfully! Go the fuck to sleep. We're live tomorrow. You gotta be well rested. Mount! Motherfucking. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna make frickin' lose it. I swear. I swear. By the moon and the stars in the sky. I'll be there. I'll be there. Three more until we hit the Zervan mount. Listen. Listen. <laughs> Did I at least get the card? No. Never lucky. The unenlightened come. At least we're like absolutely bursting her at this point. Mother of fuck. How many times did we have to run Zervan? We can count, right? We can count up the uh, the items. Demon totem, 14. Goddess totem, 12. How am I so unlucky? <laughs> One more sacrifice? Yes, now is the time. Now is the time for a Lala sacrifice. 14 times on Zervan for two mounts. Fuck. Boom, 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 boom. All right. The unenlightened. Make sure I sacrifice myself in time. What happened to me? Did I? Did I die? Did I break myself? Oh fuck! I didn't die in time. The loot was already. It actually didn't kill me. I actually didn't get hit. Uh, I didn't get hit by the kill box. Because the fight ended too soon and it warped me up. That's wild. That's actually wild. I lived. I lived, bitch. And I didn't want to. One more copium. <laughs> Commence! Please God. Please God, I ask for so little. I ask for genuinely so little. All I ask for is for Titania Weapons the and Sophia Max. Jolly, take for Hydrate, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna kill myself at like 50. Right now. Please die. Did I die? I'm 
losing it. I'm losing it. I'm actually losing my mind. It doesn't exist. I'm convinced. Jolly is committed. <laughs> committed to me watching me lose a mount again and again and again. <laughs> Fun weather? Hyper electricity. I don't think I've ever been here long enough to see hyper electricity. I didn't even know that was a thing. Thank you for the uptime goal stuff. I appreciate it. This weather is hyper electricity. What does this one mean? Probably good for fishers. Hello, any fishers out there that need hyper electricity? The unenlightened come. At least you got her card that time. I didn't. My revelations are lost. I see four items. Sophic Lanner Whistle! Sophic Lanner Whistle! It happened! I was here. I was here. When it happened. Where were you? Where were you? That's the question. Terry, you don't understand the weird time and weather gates we have to deal with as fishers? I've heard a little bit about it. I've heard, a, they're like, my friends are like, I have literally an hour to catch this fish. Oh man. We fucking did it. Let's go gamers. And it's gonna go into my collection and never be used again. Rando, how dare you be on your sophic ladder? <laughs> well, what am I still missing? Am I missing any of them? I don't think I am. Uh, milk guide. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? That's all the burps? I just need one more burp for big blinding burp. Do I? Do I have the round ladder? Uh, I don't think so. I have white. Uh, I guess I could just read them out. I have Bismarck, Ravana, Sephiroth, Nidhogg, uh, Sophic, Demonic from Zervan. Oh, I'm missing Thordan, aren't I? Yeah, 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 I'm missing Thordan. Do I have Thordan unlocked even? Oh, apparently I do. Apparently I do. All right, first try. First try. First try. Can we kill him before he phase changes? I sure hope so. Tear the old man apart. He's at the pulp. I guess I could just get my last bird from the tome event that's coming, right? But I'd rather get the dogs. Because the dogs are harder to get, for sure. Motherfucking phase change. <laughs> At least the music do be banging. Hello? So bad at mount farming. Still need so many extreme mounts. Mine have all been at uh, at the help of of, uh, of the gamers in chat. It's 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 streamer <laughs> it's streamer privilege once again.
That did a lot of damage. Wait, that did so much damage. At least it wasn't an instant death for getting pushed in there. Ah. Uh. Hello? There they are. Ah, <laughs> oh, Yumi just logged in. Hi, Yumi. What the hell is this? I'm bringing this to you guys. It would be synced. The, the, the wall here? Oh, because it does 9,999 damage. Don't you have more health at that level? Jesus Christ. Ow. Ow, Jesus. Oh my god. It hurts. Aw, oh, you can't sure cast ignore these pushes. That's too bad. I shall bury you when you are released. First try? Wait, actual first try. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Maybe they felt bad. <laughs> Maybe they felt bad. <laughs> Easy clap. <laughs> Maybe they felt bad after fucking Zervan. Oh yeah, Zervan was first try. Oh right, but then Lin meme rolled on it. They felt bad. They felt bad. So they're like, okay, fine. Fine, bestie. Just, just take it. Just take it and go. Just take it and go. We did it! We have become the video gamers. Uh, there it is. Round ladder. Ooh! This one's pretty. Oh, and it plays the best part of his theme too. Thordan's theme. Now you can get the burb from Walking Atlas? I could! But your boy's tired. Your boy's tired. I think? Golsif, if you're here, is it still safe to... <laughs> the best part, yeah, e disparage. Uh, is it still safe to hang out in Kuiper's stream? Or is Kuiper in, like, Endwalker stuff? Should I raid and run? Because I kind of want to raid Kuiper. If you want to go have a little peeksy for me. Start next stream with Getsburb? Yeah. She's in the worker stuff, you could raid and run. It's a little slower part. Okay, we'll raid and run then. I'm gonna send you guys off to Kuiper. Guys, thanks for doing all the things with me. Appreciate you. Ponto, thank you for the raid again. Beautiful beans. Um, we're gonna send you off to Kuiper, who is in Endwalker, so I'm not gonna be able to hang out, but I love Kuiper. We're in Kuiper's guild. Uh, we're, we're in the same guild. We have same free company house and all that, all that stuff. Um, oh, you updated your plate. You are Kazuya? Do, 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 do. No, 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 that's not you. Which one are you? Vermin? <laughs> no, not you. Bear? Tia? <gasps> the Graha. Ah, Cute boy. Very nice. Well done. Well done, well done. If this is the end of stream, I can finally rest my eyes. Yep. But until tomorrow, 2 p.m. Central. The search comments had... All you guys have painful, painful search comments. Especially, where's Rando? This one especially. This one especially. What a psychopath. What an absolute sociopath to do this. 
<laughs> so mean. Especially being like, hey, Terry, you can look at my plate now. Right after I experienced this cutscene. Ah! Ah! All right. I'm sending you guys off to Kuiper. I love you so much. Thank you for hanging out. We'll be back tomorrow. We're going to finish off. What are we going to do? What are we going to do tomorrow? Let's save the Stormblood Alliance raids for Tuesday. Tomorrow we'll do the roll quests, the tank ones, the ones we haven't done. And people say that an extra chain unlocks after that. So we'll do that. And then we'll do a little bit of MSQ tomorrow as a treat. Huh? Huh? Does that sound nice? Because you guys have been so good and nice and sweet. Just a, just a little MSQ as a treat. You can have a crumb of MSQ, if you will. Also because somebody said that 5.1 is a little bit of a palate cleanser. So um, we'll, we'll survive. <laughs> okay, I'm sending you guys Kuiper. Love her so much. Um, you guys have, are going to love her too. If you don't, you're lost, honestly, because she's fantastic. Uh, see you tomorrow, 2pm Central, for more Final Fantasy and probably crying. So bring tissues, because real quests. So, I mean, it is what it is. Love you guys so, so much. Bye. Okay, take care of yourselves. Eat food. No, wait. Drink food. Eat water. Take your meds if it's something you've forgotten to do. And we'll see you tomorrow, 2pm Central. Bye. Love you so much. Get your bums in the Discord as well. Okay, bye.